I mean, like, why are we I focusing? Know that wait, wait, you why are we focusing? Well, on... no, no, because this is one of these, one of the pivot, talking pivot, pivot. points. That I love the pivot. This is a You're talking really good point. at it. Case, a, a, a literal racist, religious, nut, lunatic carrying an oversized Bible seized the presidency in Bolivia. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's talk about that. So, yeah. because I, I actually take issue with some of this framing. So okay. she didn't really. Oh, he's watching. Like, she was literally the next in line, who is the interim president, who is supposed to be doing new elections. No. There was a vice president. There was a president of the Senate, which was part of Morales's party, who all resigned from going to the chamber. They resigned. They resigned. Wait, they resigned, didn't they? Didn't everybody resign ahead of her? Came the, I think it's more complicated than that. She okay. she ended up being next in line. If, mm -hmm. I, I, It'd be I'm, like Nancy I'm Pelosi being president after we take out Trump and Pence, and then Nancy Pelosi's president. She's next in line. Yes. Well, yeah, if the military arrests Mike Pence... No, the military didn't arrest anybody. One. Secondly, what you just said is, yes, that's what it would be like. There is a line of succession. Yes. Yes. A lot you don't usually say the, the fourth in line of succession seized power after the other three left. <laughs> like, <laughs> We're just, forced I, I by the military. military. No, the military didn't force anybody. <laughs> what are you talking about? On the framing, because when you talk to lefties, the framing yeah. is literally that the military stepped in deposed right. the current leader and then installed her the new that's exactly dictator. what happened like, that is not what happened a lot of people resigned that were like morales like supporters basically and yep. then um spontaneously the they just all she resigned pretty fucking crazy obviously but yeah. she's only supposed to be there she's supposed to be there to oversee new elections I but she's not just doing that she's going in and changing foreign policy she expelled the venezuelan diplomats she expelled all sorts of cuban doctors she said she was going to leave these international organizations of South Latin America that are left-leaning economic cooperative zones. She's doing more than just doing new elections. Most She's acting as the interim the president. Like, sub to support you. Keep up the good work. Crazy stupid. It is. It's like absolutely fucking bonkers. That's, That's right. it. She's not supposed Betch. to be the new permanent rule or anything like that. Yeah. You know? No. And so what we have to see is, do the elections happen? And she, the, she can't be a candidate. The military literally asked Morales to resign. There's a difference between saying that and the military literally. Mar ah, actually, hold on. Wait. I'm banning you. If I think you're a fucking commie or a chapo poster, I actually insta ban you. If you're somebody that wants to be part of my community, email me and come back in later. But I'm actually so sick of you fucking dipshits that I just I'm on insta fucking ban mode. People that use like liberal as an insult or whatever, I just insta ban you guys. There are so many other shitty content creators on this site that you can go and listen to for your dumb shit half-baked fucking political takes go watch one of them don't come in my fucking community and grift here motherfucker go do something but if you're not that person i'm really sorry i banned you and email me and i'll ban you okay buddy <sighs> assuming you were asking the question in good faith well hold on fuck now i just went really hard on that guy wait bring up the logs <laughs> i might have been i might have been too mean to this guy Assuming you're asking in good faith, I would say there's a difference between the military literally strolled into parliament and was like, hey, you're out, versus the military's like, hey, maybe you should step down because there's a whole bunch of fucking violence. Like, you need to fucking chill, dude. Um, I think there's a difference between those two things. Oh, nice ads. I messaged Mike and I said, okay, I'm ready, matey. Oh, all right, I got my hot chocolate in hand. We're gonna be super calm today. I got all my rage out on REM. <laughs> Destiny, did you see this part? To the tape and get some words. Why do you? Why do you? And, and let me ask you something. Violent. Why is it? Why is it you feel that the two black people involved were the only people oh. you feel there was like a violent threat? Why, why are you making this about race when there were two people talking to Destiny about this issue, specifically talking okay, to Okay, so you can actually see the moment when the white fragility breaks. Let me just- I'm gonna nail him to the wall on these fucking insults. <sighs> okay. Wait, I am super curious. I'm super curious. Hold on a second. I'm just, I'm super curious. Are you good now, or do you are you on voice? I am uh, super good, and I'm on voice. Okay. Okay. Are you? Are I you, am uh, just medium curious. Anything, do you? Wait. I what? Sorry. Say that again. Okay. No, I can hear you. So there's no push to talk weirdness oh, yeah. going on or anything. Yeah. Okay. Good.
Great. How are you doing, bud? I'm doing great, Michael. I missed you. It's been a while. It has we been a while. We haven't, we haven't talked one on one in a long time. That is very true. Doing? I've been doing great. Just <clears throat> okay. Glad to hear it. So what's up, man? Um, I wanted to. Okay, so I wanted to talk about your conversation with Mindwave. So I haven't gone over all of it yet, but um, hmm. oh my gosh, I went over the um, I went over about the first hour and a half, and I've just oof, I've written down a lot of stuff. I'm just super. I'm super curious okay. about Mike. So you got notes ready. This is good. <laughs> yep, I got notes ready and everything. Okay, great. So before we go over the actual, the actual conversation, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's have a couple questions. Sure. Is it possible that an individual could be racist, or or that an individual could not be like racist or sexist or whatever, but still partake in said system? Are you talking about the distinction between? I'm asking. <laughs> this is a clarifying question. Mm-hmm. Are you asking about the distinction between? Personal racist to sexist beliefs, mm-hmm. invidious beliefs as we call them, or sure. like structural racism and sexism. Yeah, and like so, like the difference between like if if somebody says a racial slur to a coworker at work versus the fact only hiring ended up hiring white people at that job. There's no people of color in there anywhere, and no one personally was racist. They just never hired any black people, for, as an example, or people of color. Yeah. So is it possible for someone? Yeah, of course it's possible for someone not to be personally racist, but have racist outcomes. That's kind of like the biggest critique of what racism really means to me is that that personal racism, while obviously objectionable, is not as important as the structural racism that we see in our society. Okay, awesome. That's cool. Okay, so we totally agree on that. Do you think that okay, it's possible cool. that like, so I've heard you say before that like, all cops are racist. Can you expand on that statement? No, no, no. I that? haven't said that. I never mm-hmm. said that. Um, uh, in fact, I don't really like to use ACAB myself, uh, especially like in political conversations, because I don't think it's very effective for people. Most people do not spend a ton of time thinking about politics. Um, those of us who spend our lives dedicated to it or, or reading news and politics every day, that's we're a little bit of an unusual breed. So like something like the police, mm-hmm. like I come from a family, I'm, I come from a military family, right? Okay. So before we go too never, far into this yeah, yeah. and maybe you want yeah, to expand sorry on for, this. Sorry, no. sorry for the, for the, for the long. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you can, you, you can answer as long as you want. You are aware that in the conversation with mind waves, you said that like police officers are racist because just by virtue of being a police officer, you're partaking in like a racist system. Like you said something like I that. Think, I think what I was saying was the people that make the ACAB argument. Mm-hmm. We're making an argument. They're not saying that every single person who is a police officer is a personal racist slash bad person necessarily. It's okay. a it's a critique of the entire regime of policing and the criminal justice system of America that we have a racial caste system that's enforced by discriminatory laws. Uh-huh. And if you are OK with that, you have you're OK with structural racism. It's sort of like, well, not everybody who voted for Donald Trump is a racist. They have to at least be okay with like racial dog whistling enough to vote for the guy. Would you at least agree with that? Um, or ignorant to it so much that they're inconsiderate to such a level that they might as well almost be racist, although they aren't exactly. But yeah, sure. I think for the most part, I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then, <laughs> so then you agree then that not all police officers are racist. That's a statement that you would agree with. I mean... <sighs> I think that, yeah, not all police officers are personally racist. Of course, that would be ridiculous. Okay, awesome. Okay, second question. If there is an individual working within a system Mm -hmm. that's trying to fight against that system, but they don't achieve, Mm -hmm. like, they don't achieve perfect results, is that person Mm -hmm. still, like, racist or sexist? So let's say, for example, absurd hypothetical, every cop arrests 10 black people every month because that's, like, Mm -hmm. their black person quota. Let's say you have one cop who's like, this is bullshit, and he only arrests, like, four or five black people that month. Would you say that, like, Mm -hmm. you're just as bad as the rest or whatever, even if they're trying to fight against the established system? I mean, like, I would question their, their, like, actual... I mean, like, here's the thing about this question, this Mm -hmm. hypothetical in particular, is, like, is doing... It's like a harm reduction principle. Sure. That's what you're basically asking me. It's like, Mike, if we reduce harms, is that better than not reducing harms? Well, from the perspective that I look at the world, it is good to reduce harms, even even when it's marginal. Cool. Um, okay. So like that, that's like a reasonable point to take. But I would say to that person, is that actually the most effective way to reduce <laughs> racism? 
like to take it out of the hypothetical, I'd be like, mm -hmm. dude, how about you come forward and explain as a whistleblower what's going on in your department? And that would probably mean you end stopping being a police officer, which is a large part of the critique of ACAB people is that they say people, the good people actually leave policing when they see like the, the thin blue line, the idea of never snitching on other cops, the idea of of turning your eye away from corrupt behavior or racist behavior. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, did you see the story about Pete Boot Edge Edge, Mayor Pete's mm -hmm. police department when he fired that black police chief because there was recordings of police officers saying when he got elected, Mayor mm -hmm. Pete, that the white people would be in charge again and they could get rid of Boykins, which is the police chief's name. Wait, and oh, damn, gonna... wait. So why did they fire the guy? Or why did Pete fire him? So Pete, Pete claims that he fired him mm -hmm. because there was an FBI investigation, but there's no evidence of that. Pete and the, wait, Pete claims that he fired him be just because the FBI was investigating it? Right. Pete claims that he fired the black police chief because there was a, quote, federal investigation, but no one was indicted and okay. no one, there has been no statement. So it's kind of yep. like weird okay, so th that it just lined up. Sure. So just as, a, as an aside, that's not why Pete fired him. Pete fired him because he went to the FBI behind his back without saying anything. No indictments came from the investigation, but his police chief was absolutely talking to the FBI. And Pete felt like he was, now whether we agree or disagree with it, Pete felt like he was so blindsided by it. He was like, holy shit, like I'm fucking firing you. Like you're literally running to the FBI. And I just got like blindsided by an FBI investigation into my own police officers, like supposed like racism. I say supposed, I mean, it seems like they were. There were a lot of recordings for it but like uh, agree or disagree with pete and furthermore after mm -hmm. after boykins left it's not just like hypothetical the sure. percent the percentage of black police officers in the south bend police department mm -hmm. has declined dramatically i think it's over 50 percent while violent crime <clears throat> has increased dramatically within south bend so sure. you've seen you've seen i don't like, know if that's it, relevant to this exact pete firing it's, but like it, it's it's relevant because they said that when the white people were in charge, it's mm -hmm. going to be a good time. They named all these black police officers. Well, not well just hold on. Lincoln, Pete said that? Them. Pete said that no, no, well, the no, white no, no, people no, no. were the in No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. The, the police off. I'm sorry for being confusing. Just so if everybody's not clear. The white police officers that were recorded uh -huh. said on the recordings, it's going to be a good time when the black people, when the white people are in charge again. We're going to get rid of this black. Oh, yeah. It sounded like those racist recordings business. were really bad, of course. Yeah. Right. And, and, and so, like, that's an example where... You could say there's probably personal racism as well as structural racism. And this is oh, part wait, of the on reason whose, why. On whose end? So the structural racism was Pete firing the black police chief. And the personal racism was all those guys specifically targeting uh, and using various terms to describe black police officers and the black police chief and how it would be sure. so fun when the white people were in charge again. Yeah, so I agree that the police officers that were caught being recorded were probably racist without some exceptional explanation. That's probably true. Um, I, I don't know if I, I would say whether Pete's participation is racist or not. I don't, I don't really care as much. Um, I just want to make sure it's understood that like, Pete didn't literally just fire the guy because other people were racist. It's because he kind of got blindsided by that FBI investigation. Um, but that's not too relevant to this. Um, you're, you're saying that police officers should make like, do you think that it, there's like a moral onus on a cop to, to like quit if, if a police department doesn't change or whatever? Should they make that sacrifice? Like, let's say you're a small town cop, you're working in a whatever, you pay for your family. If you think that like there's yeah. bad stuff going on, you can't change it. You just quit your job. You just leave. Well, I mean, this is one of those very difficult questions that mm -hmm. like, I think it's, you know, if you're asking me, I would quit. Now, I'm not going to try to necessarily hold everyone to the same standard as me because I also recognize that people, it's like a coal miner, right? It should, you, should you go to a coal miner and say, hey, listen, global warming is going to cause serious damage to the planet. You should quit. Mm -hmm. And then the alternative job he would get would be minimum wage and his family wouldn't be able to be supported. You know, it's pretty, it's kind of ridiculous for me to do that. That said, I do think you have to be held responsible for the actions that you take and the moral systems you uphold. What does so that you mean? can't say... So I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. So like if you're a, a military, you're a soldier in mm -hmm. the army and you're told to uh, do an illegal order. Now, there are circumstances where maybe you're under duress and you do it anyway. And I could I could defend that because of the duress. But morally, the right thing to do is not to do it. It's to to refuse to obey the immoral illegal order. Sure. And in our military, that's actually the law. You're not allowed to use the defense of, I was coerced to make this illegal order. You have a moral obligation and a legal obligation to violate 
or to to countermand illegal orders. Yeah, of course, I, I don't think disagree. That's the way it should go. Yeah, I don't disagree that's with that. Obviously, of course, you're given an illegal order. I'm just more curious because, like, especially I'm just I'm reading your chat because a lot of people in your chat seem to be of the mind that like every single cop is participatory in a horrendous criminal justice system that is necessarily racist and that all of them should feel a compulsion to quit. But you don't necessarily agree with that. You do agree that there are cops that can be not racist, that can join a not racist police force and just exist in that level, right? Well, I mean, like you, you, the original, going back to what you originally asked, which was if you're mm -hmm. in a, a racist police department and this is your job, should you quit? I think the moral answer is yes. And, and it, I also, but I understand like there's realities of people. It's sort of like, should, what do you think of a scab? You know, somebody who crosses the picket line mm -hmm. and goes to work because of whatever excuse. My personal belief is that person is a moral, it has no, it has committed a grave moral wrong. Sure. But we're not necessarily talking about scabs here. Let's say you've got, yeah. okay, let's say that you've got like Mike from NJ, okay? Mike from New Jersey mm -hmm. is in mm -hmm. a small town. He just wants mm -hmm. to be a cop. It's like 99% white people. Maybe he's in like Wyoming or some shit, right? All white people. It's not really a bunch of racist shit that goes on. Should this guy feel like a compulsion to like leave the force because other police officers wait, around wait, the no, country? Sorry, just yeah? one more time. So no racist things goes on. He works in the Not in his like precinct or whatever. Yeah, no. I mean, like... This this is this, see, here's the problem with this. Yep. This is a hypothetical. I mean, like this this is this is not. I mean, I understand why it's interesting if you're talking about the maximalist uh, A cab position, which I don't hold. Well, I'm but. just trying to figure out what your position is because I don't know if you think that like because you've said that cops should be held accountable, whatever that means. You've said that cops should probably quit if it's not too harsh on their family. I'm just trying to figure out what you think is the wrong thing. It seems like you're trying really hard to avoid the A cab position, but then you kind of are like, well, I would ACAB, you know, I would believe in ACAB if I was a cop, I would quit. So I'm just trying to figure out like what it is that you right. actually- Right, that's why I don't wanna, that's why I'm not a cop, right? Because I think I think the system is inherent. That's also why I don't wanna to, to be in a position of defending the laws of the United States because for the most part, they're unjust. Um, yeah, but we're not, it's not about you, right? I'm not asking you what you well, personally Well, you're asking, you're asking, but here, here's the thing about, this is why this question, and I think I know why it relates back to the mind waves thing, because mm -hmm. The question ultimately is a, is a question of individual action versus collective action. Yeah. Should, and I think if you are upholding racist laws, mm -hmm. you should not do that. You should resign your position. If you should be a whistleblower in your police department against people that do are doing racist actions. And For if sure. you aren't, you're morally bankrupt and you're a bad person. Well, I don't know and, if I would go that far, but it's possible. Um, let's say I that mean, you've got a guy if that you're quiet to injustice to me, if you're quiet to injustice, mm -hmm. you see injustice is happening and you don't try to rectify them. You are complicit. So if now, you, let's say you have a police officer. Okay. Poli police officer Johnson, um, has a family of four to feed and he sees some questionable stuff. Do you think the onus is on him to pop, to risk his job and say, fuck it. Like, fuck my family. Like I'm going to call this. Well, in. if you believe integrity mm -hmm. matters, if you believe like morality matters, then yeah, you should. So the, his his personal principles here like outweigh like the well being of his children. I mean, I think, I, I mean, I think you're you're being a little bit strong. Like the alternative is that his children die. It's him taking a a per professional risk to right injustice, and I don't think that's too much to ask. Well, you, you know, I mean, that's easy, so but that's many, do you, do you so understand? So many moral systems, sure. so many moral systems say, like the reason evil exists in our world mm -hmm. is not because of the evil actors. It's that good people sit there yeah. as bystanders. Sure, Mike, That's, I understand. I but you, you heard you about understand. the MLK Jr. thing with the white moderates sure. and the bystanders. I, yep, and I have. Being okay, being okay with, mm -hmm. being okay with the, the lack of, of disorder mm -hmm. over positive justice. I'm on the side of positive justice. Sure, I understand this. I think this. That you have I, a horrible obligation to seek it. Mike, and if you I understand are just a bystander, this. it's bad. I understand this, Mike, but do you think that it's a little bit silly, like as somebody that streams, right, video games or whatever the fuck we do, to say like, oh yeah, you should 100% quit your job if it means standing up for what's right? Like, do, do you think that that's a realistic standard to set on the average citizen? Don't you think you could draw that line back like pretty far to a lot of different things? Okay, so now you're sh now we're shifting. Okay, so I think we agree that I, my position is if you see injustice mm -hmm. being done, you shouldn't 
passively sit by you should actively engage so we we agree with that my ax my axioms mm -hmm. are very clear yeah i think i so think for the about, now be, let's talk about what's effective and what's practical yeah. for change and then to be to be super okay. clear i think for the most part i think i agree with you there um I, i've just i'm not okay with the ultra strong condemnation and the delusional fantasies that a lot of people have when it comes to to police officers i guess like that makes me like a little bit disappointed um so for instance somebody and i'm, I'm pulling from your chat a lot here but somebody earlier in your chat says something along the lines like it's hard to imagine a single police precinct that doesn't have any racism ever like it's pretty easy to imagine there's a lot of police officers and police precincts that don't have racism in the united states if for no other reason because there's a lot of like 99.999 percent white districts you know if we go to like if we go to wyoming or wisconsin or or any, any other like you know super white state like there's probably a lot of precincts there that don't have very much racism just because there's not other people to even be racist against, well i don't right? know about that i mean they, they don't have mm -hmm. they don't have racism because they haven't encountered a black person but god forbid a, a black motorist breaks down in that town you know, they might encounter some racism, right? Sure. And and if you were a black person in one of those 100% white towns, you would be probably reasonable, be pretty nervous if a police officer approached you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so so, do, so then do you think that... So I'm, I'm, I'm super curious, okay? Because earlier you said, and I'm just trying to understand, I'm not trying to get you, so you can clarify as much as you want, okay? Because earlier you said it's possible that there are, like, police officers that aren't racist... But now you're making mm -hmm. it sound like no matter what would happen, like in any precinct, like, do you think that a black person is going to run into a racist police officer in every single precinct in the United States? Now, listen, I, OK, so here's what I would say. Mm -hmm. I'm not black. Mm -hmm. So my personal experiences with police are different. That but doesn't really I'm matter. Aware, That's not relevant to this. No, it no. matters. It matters because it doesn't I don't, at I'm all. explaining it. OK, because because they can't even if there are so-called unracist departments. Mm hmm. What we're really talking about is the experience of people who are people of color in America when they encounter the police. And they have an expectation that, like, you've heard about the talk, right? Um, I've heard about several talks, but I'm assuming you're going to say the one where black parents talk to their children about being careful around the cops. That's right. Yep. Okay. And so that's not something that I had to have. Maybe you did. Sure. I don't know. Yeah, my but Cuban upbringing, is... I have to be very careful around <laughs> anti-Hispanic police officers. None no, of this is really relevant, though. Like, we don't, we don't, we don't need to appeal to the to the individual experience of a black person. I'm just the thing is, is that like, here's what I'm kind of looking at. Okay, when I do messaging in, in my forum, when I talk to people, I try to be responsible so that people are taking from me like the message that I want to deliver. I would never want everybody in my audience to have this idea that every single cop, every single precinct in the United States is just rotten to the core. They're all racist fucks. That seems to be more or less the general ideas that I see from the left. It's definitely the ideas that I see. I mean from your chat but it feels like from you i'm getting a very lukewarm a very tepid response where i can't <laughs> tell if you actually have a position here that's a little bit more nuanced or if you're just i thought mine was pretty well no 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 I'm, I, I mean like i've always been kind of somebody who god we got to analogize this because for me um mm -hmm. it's like i hate to use the martin luther king thing but he he said so many really uh uh trans you know formative things is he talked about riots right Okay. Like people look at riots and they go, these are really bad. These are disorderly. Why are people doing riots? This is actually bad for the movement of black justice. And what he said that is if you understand what are riots, riots are the last gasp of an oppressed people who are responding to a system that's just so fundamentally broken that they mm -hmm. have a spasm of violence. And it's not on us to look at that riot and go, what is wrong with black people? What's wrong with their communities? What's wrong with their fathers? Yep. It's for us to examine the racist policies that happened in say Jim Crow America and dismantle them. Of course. And it's the same thing with ACAB. Most of the people, especially people of color whose things say like part of the Black Lives Matter movement or the ACAB movement mm -hmm. is that's a reaction to living in a and communities that have violent relationships with the police that mm -hmm. have no trust with their local police department. And so when they say that, it's a message of solidarity for people that are under active oppression. So I'm not going to sit here, upper middle class Mike, and go and look at those movements and go, you know, let me give you, let me tone police you. Let me tell so, you what so you So this is like, hold on, okay. This is That's a, not what I'm yeah. about. So this is a really great speech for when we're done with our conversation. I don't care about No, it's not a anymore. great speech. It, we're, it not talking about, we're, not, we're not talking about condemning BLM. Do you think I've given you the impression that I think that BLM is bad? Like, clearly I understand where these, I don't want to even call them reactionary because they exist for good reason, right? Like, black people have plenty of reasons to hate the fuck out of the cops in the United States. But I, my question to you wasn't, should black people be distrusted? 
distrustful of the cops? I think we both agree on that. The answer is obviously yes. The question is whether or not you can say every single cop is racist. And I think there's an important distinction to be made there. Rather than just the criminal justice system tends to be like incredibly racially agitated or, or, or in, like it helps racial agitation um, is incredibly disproportionate in terms of how it levies out punishments to different races, et cetera. We can all agree this is true. But the question is a pretty simple, like, are all cops racist? Um, I, I don't know. It's I, th I think the answer is obviously so not. It's the, but, okay, so it's uh -huh. a distinction between, as we said in the beginning of the conversation, yep. personal racism and supporting structural racist system. Sure. And I would say there's plenty of cops that are not personally racist. Okay, cool. But through their but but through enforcing their mm -hmm. their department's policies result in racist outcomes. I don't even think this is controversial. Not really. I don't no, think based on what you said like mo in most in, in a lot of places in the United States, yeah, of course I would agree with this for sure. And that's but 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 the ACAB thing like you're saying, Mike, do you do, do you say ACAB? And I I personally wouldn't because I'm trying to get actual progressive politicians elected. And I recognize that for normies, mm -hmm. ACAB is so world shaking, mind bending of a statement to make to them that they're going to rebel. And you know why that is? Because working as a police officer is one of the few remaining jobs people can do mm -hmm. from like a poor or middle class background where they get a secure pay. They get benefits. So they probably know some police officers in their family or extended family. Cool. So if I come up to them and say, hey, white person, a cab, I'm probably alienating people that I could win over. That's but all. Okay, telling... we both agree then. We're both anti ACAB. I, I, well, you, yeah. But yeah. I'm not anti ACAB. Well, what my point is, that's okay. a political strategy distinction. But philosophically, I know exactly what ACAB people mean when they say it. And okay. I think they're right. And then real quick, so what does ACAB mean again to you or to these people at large? I'm curious. I mean, I think the ACAB, the, the larger argument for ACAB mm -hmm. is the policing, uh, the system of policing in America yep. is structurally racist, upholds a racial caste system that disproportionately targets people of color. Mm -hmm. So if you uphold that system and you support that system, mm -hmm. you are supporting racism. That's what ACAB means to me. Now, but you don't I, think you every cop, somebody, but you don't think every you can find cop somebody else to disagree yep. with me. Find someone else who says ACAB mm -hmm. and means it in a different way. Okay, fine. Well, they like I'm just again, that. I'm just drawing from your chat. It's just like a lot of people seem to think that every single cop is a racist fuck. That that seems to be like so. There is well, no mean, way like, to be a cop same, and not okay. a bastard. Yeah, this is the same problem I have with mind waves. Sure, is. I and I know you're not responsible for everything your community does mm -hmm. and that whatever some dumb fucking chat says. Mm -hmm. I'm not responsible for what everybody in chat says. Okay. And, and as I said before, I know what ACAB means. I use sure. that analogy of the riots with Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Jr. when he described what it is. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people who say ACAB has had personal experiences of seeing racism and oppression in their own lives. So I'm not here to pass And a lot of people that. that hate black people have seen personal experiences of black people committing crime, but we wouldn't excuse that any more than we would with somebody stereotyping a group of police because, officers. Because, now, obviously, reason, being a police oh officer God, as an there's occupation There's a is difference different. between an occupation... Yeah, but of course, there is. In, but, it, but for the purposes of this... Sure, but for the purposes of this conversation, stereotyping something from a personal experience isn't really... A, a, it's not a deductively sound way to arrive at a conclusion. But here's the thing, Destiny. We yep. have both the personal experience and it's buttressed by the yep. fact that black and brown people are mm -hmm. disproportionately targeted by the police and for our justice system both yeah, from Mike, the enforcement that's not side I, Mike, and from the why incarceration side. Why do you keep restating side. stuff that I agree with and act like you're, you're making an argument? I'm not asking because, you if black people because face... Because you seem to forgot that you agree with no, it so we have to remind everybody. I haven't forgotten anything Mike so listen very closely. I obviously agree that black people face a disproportionate amount of trouble from the criminal justice system. I've never disagreed with that. All I'm saying is I don't think every single cop is a bastard or every single cop is a racist. That's what the discussion is about. Not an individual black man's experience with criminal justice, not the statistics that say black people are disadvantaged in the criminal justice system. Both of these things are true. The conversation is on whether or not we think every single cop is responsible for the criminal justice system and the racism in the U.S. That's the conversation. I feel like you said you don't think that, that not every cop cop is, is, an, is an actual bastard, is a piece of shit racist. I can't tell. You kind of seem to go back and forth, but it seems like you agree. I, know, I, I thought I was pretty clear that okay. I said that. Personally, yes, there are plenty of non-racist cops, but the structural system that we have... Okay, cool. All right. We is agree. That's a it. racist yeah. system, but you agree sure. with me on that. I do, so of course. Yeah. Not okay, every, okay. okay, Okay, cool. All right. Perfect. Sounds good. Okay. So we agree that not all cops are racist pieces of shit, but that the police institution as a whole seems to uphold a, a racist system in the United States. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, <clears throat> here is a question that I have for you. When you're looking at like a, like a podcast, okay, 
if you're looking for uh -huh. something like accurate representation, how do you measure mm -hmm. if something is an accurate representation or not? Well, I think that's actually a really interesting question mm -hmm. that would require some deep thinking. So there's so there's two things that we could look at. We could look at what are the demographic demographics of Twitch. Yep. And we could try to match the user base with the streamers on Twitch. Okay. That would be one method. I think that would be a shit method because I think right now, and I think you agree with me, and I think it actually hurts Twitch, mm -hmm. is that this is perceived to be a platform for white dudes, young white dudes. Yep. And it is very difficult for women, especially women of color, people of color to succeed on this platform. It doesn't mean they're foreclosed, but okay. they face a hell of a lot more like harassment, negative uh, community attention. And there's a lot more barriers to them succeeding on this program, on this platform. Sure. And so what I would want to do is I would want to encourage actively, especially if you're on the left, mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going to mandate this as a law on Twitch like a god. I'm just saying if you want to be on the left, we should be making extraordinary efforts to bring on more women, more people of color. And it doesn't mean that we're going to get the goal every time. But no, it should be a stated goal of ours to try to platform more people and more diverse people. That's like praxis. We're taking what we believe and actually bringing it into the real world. And when somebody, when we have, we end up having a podcast that's all white dudes. Mm -hmm. And somebody comes to us and says, that was fucking racist as hell. Or that was sexist as hell. As he had no fucking women, no people of color. Now you could flip out. And get all cry about it, how you got called a racist or a sexist. Or you can go, you know what? That's actually a good point. Can you help me out? <clears throat> okay, you cool. can make so it an effort. Okay, so let's... Um, so accurate representation. I just want to focus on this real quick. Accurate representat representation doesn't necessarily mean like a 50-50 split of representation of say like, we'll say women and men, for example. That like, even though women are, I think, 52 or 51% of society, you don't necessarily have to have a 50% um, section of women in a podcast for it to be accurate representation on Twitch because the, the population of women here is a lot lower. Now, we could probably agree and argue that whatever the demographics are on Twitch, or especially Twitch politics, we should probably have a greater representation than that to try to not discourage so many women from joining, but it doesn't literally have to be a 50-50 split for it to not be sexist, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Um, okay. And then my final I'm question. I'm pretty, pretty mm -hmm. reasonable on this stuff, which is why it's funny mm -hmm. when people start crying and belly aching mm -hmm. when they when they talk about this with me. Oh, I'm only asking you, know, you like, questions now before we get into the actual content of what you said, because almost every single thing you said to Mindwaves disagrees with every single answer you've given me tonight. That's have, literally not true well, at all. That's great because <laughs> okay. I've time stamped literally everything and we can okay, walk through can't the wait to it. See yeah, it. that's fine. So, can't but wait don't worry. See the but I have, yeah, I've got clip so, chimping. Yeah, can't wait to it, see well, it. Well, we can call it clip chimping. We got the whole VOD to look at if you want to. So don't worry. We don't have to clip chimp anything. So, uh, my final question for you, is it possible to refuse a person of color or a woman on a podcast and not be racist or sexist for doing so? Or do you uh, think it, it is really always depend. racist or sexist if you refuse? No, no, it's of course it's not always racist. I mean, that would be ridiculous. This is, I mean, but it would depend. And I think it would be highly contextual. And if somebody is, say, you know, a known scab who breaks confidentiality. And I think that's important to you, right? Like if somebody promises to keep a, com a conversation confidential mm -hmm. and then they go and blab about it publicly, mm -hmm. say they leaked a private conversation, you would probably think that person's a piece of shit. And so you wouldn't necessarily believe their protestations of being a, a good guy, right? Um, you would say, hey, whether or that not guy's somebody, a fucking no. leaker of private conversations. We and he also mischaracterized no. what happened. Whether or not somebody Sounds is like leaked. he's a fucking piece of shit. So, no, Mike. Whether or not somebody's leaked a private conversation or not wouldn't really make me know whether or not they're sexist or racist. No, absolutely not. Oh, no, no, I didn't mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to uh, uh, say that that just because they were like a scab on one thing, it means they're bad in all ways. But comorbidities are high, right? Like if you are a piece of shit in one area, it's much more likely you're a piece of shit in another. So you get less of a benefit of the doubt from me. Um, I, I guess that's like something that's not even really worth saying, though. I don't know. I wouldn't say that like this guy leaked something, so he's probably racist. I don't think that abductively or inductively or deductively follows. Um, I mean, I, I can understand not liking the person more for sure. But um, OK. Oh, no, no. I, again, I don't think I, I, I don't think I uh, necessarily made a causal link. But I did say if you're if you're asking me to, sure. to trust this person's judgment, I'm probably not going to lean in that way as much. Sure. That's fine. 
Um, okay, so, and then the final question before we jump into the actual of what was said. Has anybody sure. besides Bad Bunny said that Mind Waves has ran his podcast in a sexist manner? Has any other content creator before Bad Bunny complained come out and said anything? I have no fucking idea. I'm not Mind Waves manager. Okay. I, you know, like, and I don't, I don't care who the person was who mm -hmm. said it. Like, who you gives don't a fuck? Well, it's interesting because you spend this entire conversation telling Mind Waves that he's sexist, but it seems like you don't know who's accused him of it. You don't know the circumstances by which he has platformed or not platformed people. And you seem to concede that it is possible to say no to a particular person and not be sexist doing it. Why are you so hard on on condemning Mind Waves as being a sexist then with all these things, I guess, out in the open? I mean, if you have a clip of me saying you are a sexist, I'd be I'd be happy to take a look at it. But I think, from my my memory, which could be wrong, we've t talked for a long time. I believe I said if someone critiques you for being sexist, it doesn't mean that you that you have to take it personally. Don't and you think calling somebody sexist is a personal accusation? And this is the this is the distinction we've been talking about the whole time, which is if you enforce, if you help reinforce the status quo on Twitch, which is all white dudes, uh -huh. and somebody says, "Hey, that's fucking sexist," and then you get all fucking personally butthurt about it. Okay, wait. And do you, you know, not oh, you're realize, calling me personally yeah, yeah. sexist? Do you not realize that calling somebody sexist that's a personal attack? Do you recognize that, or do you not understand that? We can talk about that if we if you need us to. Okay. First of all. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Again, this is a this is a meaningless distinct. I mean, it's, this it's absolutely it not meaningless. Like, of course, of course, it of course it matters okay. if you are if you personally harbor invidious fucking opinions and hate women. Okay, that is bad. But also, if you have a podcast that says you're on the left and you exclude all women, that's fucking bad too. <clears throat> Does mine, it's hard but, but to mine, tell the mine, difference? Mine, mine waves, no, it's not because mine waves has not excluded all women. In fact, I'm pretty sure he told you several times that he's actually invited a great number of women on the podcast, and he's tried to get even more that haven't come especially on. Especially after he was, like, critiqued on it. No, not especially he after he was critiqued more on effort it. Into First it. of he all, he put more the, effort into no, it, didn't he? No, that's not true. The only person that's critiqued him on this was Bad Bunny. That's the only I, person. I'm pretty sure that, like, other people, nope, like, Izzy, nope. and I get on the line, have nope. said that Izzy has jumped in. With... Izzy, being the worthless piece of shit she is, has jumped in afterwards to jump in on the train. But no, nobody criticized Mind Waves of being sexist Why the fuck am I Bad supposed Bunny to have did. some... Well, first of all, he complained uh -huh. to me about this shit. I didn't come to him saying you're a sexist piece of shit. He kept complaining to me that to tell, tell chat to stop being mean to me, Mike. And okay, it's like, so of all let's... people to come and bitch about chat being I, well, mean to them. I don't know why you're coming we're... coming to me? I don't know why we're talking for, about... To cry on my shoulder, Mind Waves? Grow. Okay, so oh. I, I linked you. So I linked you this at 42 minutes. Um, we can listen for like maybe 30 seconds. All right, and we'll see right, if it feels on. like you're saying that he's sexist. Okay. Let okay. me know when you've opened right. it up, and then we can start at the same right, time. Which okay? one? It's the 42 minute one. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Right, we'll, we'll do we'll do a one two or whatever the yep. fuck. All right, hold on. I hit pause. Let it let it load in with my shit internet. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. All right. Uh, for, wait, wait. 40 shit. Fuck. What was it? 42. Yeah, 42 minutes on the dot. 42 minutes on the dot. All right, I, I played forward a little bit. God damn it. Let me just, all right. Let me, let me mute this. Let me just play it up. Okay. In three sec. so three, two, one, unmute. In the middle of some discussion that I wasn't a part of and try to figure out what one person says. I'm just not doing that. Uh, but, the but the second thing is, uh, I think there was a, I've seen a number of episodes and most of them are just white dudes. So that's the way it is. Um, okay. And the second thing is, like, you know, there's been a there's been a kind of worrying trend on this platform for people to be very hypocritical on the sense of, you know, what people did many years ago doesn't matter. Oh, by the way, this is what someone person did years ago or six months ago or whatever. But look, I'm, I'm not I'm, I'm not asking you to like defend bad well, buddies how, take. Well, I'm asking you, you do you think <laughs> I just keep on that one episode? It's fair All to right. characterize me. As a sexist. I think if you look at your body of work, you would say that there's a gender balance problem, wouldn't you? I would say... So pause for a second. I'm at 4253. So he explicitly asks you, based on that one episode, is he sexist? And you pivot to, well, if you look at your body of work, you might be. Um, we can continue watching if you don't believe me. Later on, he... I didn't call him sexist! I said, if you look at your body of work, there's a gender balance problem, which he agrees. How is that me calling him sexist? That's me saying you have a problem. If and it's somebody... not necessarily just you, sure. it's also the platform so, itself. My question this is This is what I'm talking I'm sorry, this is some crybaby shit, folks. 
Even Destiny's chatters, man. Really? This is me so and I'm sexist? Really? Fucking really? So I don't know if you have a problem with social convention or not, but if somebody explicitly asks you, um, or maybe even I've seen you and Bad right, Bunny on, have you, clips you, on stream, okay? Oh, shit. I, 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 I effed. Fuck. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Did I? Did I? Well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm like all fucked up. Hold on. My Discord's fucked. Chat. Am I still with you? Oh, God damn it. All right, hold on. Everybody, my stupid fucking Discord. He's disconnected from Discord at the minute. Hello, hello. My Discord took a shit right when I right as I said, really. Yeah, Sorry, no I missed everything. You said. My Discord just <laughs> fucked. Okay, so do you not understand that when somebody explicitly asks you a question and you refuse to answer it over and over again, how it might leave the impression that you have a different thought in your mind than what you're saying now? So if I ask you, do you think I'm a piece of shit? And you're like, well, you know, you hang around a lot of piece of shit people. Well, okay, but do you think I'm a piece of shit? Well, you know, there's a big... Do you understand how it, it seems like you are saying that? Do you not understand that? You're playing kind of the Jordan Peterson game here? I mean, I get... I, okay. Uh huh. Let me say, let me say this. Sure. Um, I could see how you got that impression, but you can't then say Mike called me a piece of shit. You could say Mike implied that I was a piece of shit. Now, in the beginning sure. of this conversation, mm -hmm. I heard you called mind waves a sexist. And I was like, I don't remember doing that. Now I said to him, dude, if people critique you for being a sexist, cause you don't have any fucking women on your show, you can't come and cry to me that chat's calling you sexist. So later on at 50 minutes, you literally say, you say that it's bad to call you sexist, but then you admit that the critique is right. So why get so defensive if you actually agree with the critique? Well, if the critique is him being sexist, it kind of sounds like you're saying he's sexist, no? So, see, okay. Prior to me going to Austin mm -hmm. uh, uh, with, with Bad Bunny, hang out with my friend Lucid Fox, um, I did a stream on white fragility on my Twitch channel, Central Underscore Committee. Sure. All you guys come on over. And... It was it was on white fragility. Now, what what is that's an academic term. It describes the behavior of people when they become aware of their white privilege and they get very defensive and they go crazy. They get really mad and they start they forget the critique. Now, if someone says comes up to you and says, hey, dude, you, this you were sexist when you did X. If you pivot to how your brand is being hurt and you cry, baby you're actually not addressing the critique. So what I was saying to him was, stop belly aching because somebody from an oppressed group comes up to you and says a problem exists. Stand up, be an adult about it, listen to the critique, and try your best to deal with it. So do you now, not you're see call the yourself on the wait, left, wait, wait. So do you not see do the, that. Do you not see the frustration if you've been actively taking a stand against a particular issue and then somebody that you have a problem with comes up and isn't included on your show for something that has nothing to do with that issue and then cries and hides behind a banner that it, it, it claims like a support for minority groups or whatever is saying, oh, you're sexist because you didn't invite me. Do you really think that that's a critique that somebody like Mind Waves should be forced to bear that he just needs to take that? You don't think that it might be right that he might feel a little bit miffed that other people are jumping on that he's sexist bandwagon when literally nobody credible has ever levied that critique at him before? You don't think he has a okay, right to well, be a little bit miffed? Okay, well, who's the credible determiner? You? <clears throat> well, I mean, no, like, I mean we can, so to quote you, we could look at a greater body of work. He's had multiple podcasts where he has not only had multiple women on, he's reached out to multiple women. The only person that has ever levied this claim was Bad Bunny. And if you know Bad Bunny's history, there's a very good reason not to ever want her anywhere near a fucking podcast dealing with progressive issues. So when somebody like that sits back and cries sexism, you don't think it's okay for mind waves to be like, hey, hold on. This is all a right, little uh, bit bullshit. Like, okay, I don't think it's fair to call me all, a sexist. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I think every single, I think it's, it's laughable. Yeah. Honestly, for people on Twitch to try to be holier than thou, okay? I don't know what the, like, how that relates to this, but okay. Break. Give me a fucking break, okay? 
And wait, what is that? What are we talking about right now? What do you mean holier what is than that? Now? What does that mean? Like saying someone's oh, someone's credibility is bad. Oh, if, if somebody and this is this is what I've always said because I'm not par, I'm not a canceler. I don't cancel wait, wait, wait. people. What are we? In fact, what are we talking I'm, about right now? We're talking about what you just said. You just said the person wasn't credible. So I'm going. I'm going through your your because uh, because of her history. So I'm I'm dealing with your. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying you just no, no, made. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not saying her history doesn't make her credible. I'm just saying that she might not be the kind of person that Mindwaves wants in a progressive podcast, especially if he's looking for representation of good women in politics, that maybe that's just not somebody that he would choose to have on. Yeah, but he has fucking actual dipshit right wingers and like people who've said the N word publicly and shit on his show. So like him to to be like, well, this is the one I'm going to hold back on. It's pretty. You interesting, don't think he's don't ever. Think? Well, not really. Are you <laughs> implying that you don't think he's ever denied a guest join his podcast before? I mean, it was pretty small before, like, you know, me and you went on it. So I think it was probably pretty desperate for guests. But. You know, he is pretty much being upheld. So you have no idea. You, so oh, there's people. Sure. No, so no, you're, what I'm you're talking around it, but without, you really have no without idea. Without my community and mm -hmm. your community and other people like Eva that have communities going on his podcast, he's have a, he about have 40 viewers. So like, what does that have to yes, do with anything we're talking about? What I'm about? saying is, do you think he would really deny someone who averages like 300 viewers on his podcast? Eh, I don't think so. <laughs> so you think I that, don't think so. Yeah, but you don't think that you, you really think it was because of sexism. But we have no basis by which to say that he's had other women and trans women on his show. Why would we assume that he's not doing this one because of sexism? OK, well, now I'm going to need you to show me a clip of where that actual claim was made. Of of. of that basically the that you say that it's was, bad to call you sexist. No, 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 no. This is what you just said. Uh huh. That Nicole, and this is interesting. You want to talk about what other people say instead of me, but it's fine. We'll deal with. Well, because Nicole is up. the one that you're standing in this entire conversation. So how I ain't mean, standing for shit. I'm standing for myself. Wait, That's why wait, I'm here. So it's you're my the conversation wait, wait. With so mind waves. you're personally accusing mind waves of being sexist, but you're not a woman. I literally never said that. You never said, I said you said that so there you're were not letting me finish the statement. Now, well, here, you this, said that there this, were critiques of him being bad sexist. Faith, Steven. It's not this bad, is bad faith. faith. OK, go Steven, ahead. You're being bad faith. OK, Mike. My point was, uh huh. Show me the clip where where Nicole says, mind waves, you're sexist for never inviting me on. Maybe she said that. I don't know. Maybe she did say that. But I find that highly like unlikely. Um, OK, so. Um, I would have to, I would have to go and search because I don't have this. Does anybody have the tweet? I think it was, did Nicole tweet out that she thought that there was sexism involved with not being uh, invited? I don't, I don't have this. I didn't know that this was going to be an issue of contention. Um, I'm actually, I'm super confused. Who were you arguing on behalf of here? Because no other woman on Twitch has come out and said that, uh, mind waves is sexist. He brought it up as a hypothetical to me. I have no idea who's called him a sexist. I don't give a shit. Wait, if you don't know if anybody's then, called him a sexist, then how do you know me, that critique is out there? Because okay, he just said that to me. He said it to me in the conversation. And furthermore, he actually said that chatters and communities, and I think he actually did cite Izzy in the conversation. Can we watch this My clip for a second? 100% perfect. Let me, know but, when, let me know when you're ready to watch this clip, okay? Jesus Christ. Uh, see, the thing is, people come onto your show, mm -hmm. and they complain about what other people's conversations with you were. I just talk about myself. You're not just talking about yourself, though, Mike. You're lying when you say this. You're not going on to his sh to, to Mind Waves' conversation to, com to claim that he's being sexist without having some reason for saying that. I don't know why you're saying you're making I don't even think I said that. You said that I implied you that. You literally talk for an hour and a half about him being sexist. Do you want to listen to the entire hour and a half? I did. It was painful. We can listen to the oh, whole thing if you want. We listened to him not understanding the basic distinction between personal sexism and and well, and structural sexism. no actually and if anything he gets, when he gets critiqued about it and somebody calls him personally sexist but what they're critiquing is his actual show for not having any no women so on so it. What, what no it's no, no not that's not true what we actually listened to was you not understanding the difference between systemic or structural sexism versus like an individual being sexist in fact my i'm ways, literally being gaslit right you're now. not we, we we can listen to the entire <laughs> conversation you want i took notes on all of this um so for instance at, um, at an hour and six minutes mind waves literally says people still levy the criticism towards me that i am sexist not that i contribute to it right like mind waves continually in 
this conversation tries to draw a distinction between him being personally sexist versus Twitch as a whole maybe being sexist. And you refuse that distinction over and over and over again. I said the distinction doesn't matter for the product on the screen. But the distinction does matter. Whether it's motive why? Well, no, it doesn't. If it's mo motivated by personal sexism or it's motivated by structural sexism, the result is the same for the viewers. The there result might be the same. The Wait, but the result Which might- Which is the important- I thought you were a fucking consequentialist. I am a The point is, it's the women on the screen. Sure. So, Mike, so I am a consequentialist. So my action, my, my question would be, which actions can maximize our outcomes? And calling an individual sexist when he's actually somebody fighting against a system who's still working within a sexist system wouldn't achieve those outcomes. Mike, do you understand that? Oh, so now you're making a strategic argument. Now you're making a, a practical argument. We've pivoted from what we were talking about before to now we're talking about a strategic argument. We haven't Maybe pivoted you, so, from, from anything, so no, no, actually. We, so no, not saying, at all. Mike, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I think this is what you're saying. I think what you're I saying. Mean, I can tell you what I'm saying, but go ahead. No, no, no. Well, I just want to characterize it. Tell me if I'm wrong. Go for it. Mike, the best way to persuade mind waves to spend more effort on getting women on the screen is not to call him sexist because you're going to make him react in a negative way. No, that's not my take at all. Down. No, that's okay. Not, well, no. what it okay? What my is my take? take is that we don't have enough inductive evidence or abductive evidence to say that he is sexist. We, we don't really have that evidence at all. So we shouldn't make that claim. Now, if you want to talk about political strategy, I would agree with what you just said. Um, we kind of sort of got into it here um, because you brought up consequentialism. And I explained how my position is not anti-consequentialism. Uh, but no, my overall claim is just that there's nowhere near enough evidence to make the claim that mind waves is sexist. So it's strange that you would like hammer him on it for an hour and a half when you admittedly haven't even seen many episodes of his podcast. You're literally just parroting a, a complaint made by another content Well, creator. I know. Okay. Okay. No, mm -hmm. no, no. I mean... He came, okay, so what he was bitching about, ugh, Jesus Christ. Or wait, can we listen to this Bad chat, Bunny clip and then we can? Chat and community, sure. Yeah. I mean, okay. why not? Let me know when you're ready for it, okay? Just keep in mind that this is everyone being bringing clips to me. Yep. So let me, me know when you're ready. knock them all down in order, but let's we go. We haven't knocked on anything, but let me know when you're ready. Wait, did you already start? Oh shit! Sorry, let me okay, let me back, back that. Up. Well, do you do you want to count? Yep. I'll All do right. It three, two, one. Three. I'll do it. Three, two, two, one. Go. I haven't invited you because of any like malice intent or like like, I don't know like. When you see all the variables, the exact all the same variables are kept like the same viewer count, the same like time in the platform, the same like irrelevance in the political circles, the same connections, and all of them are men and I'm just magically not included, and the only difference between us is our gender. No, 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 Bad Bunny. I'm gonna push back against this again because you're trying to paint my podcast as if I've only ever invited men just because the only podcast of mine that you've seen is the last one where oh. it just happened to this be- This is what I mean when token, to, to, when, when pe women or people in, in certain groups are, to are tokenized. I'm not tokenizing you. I, I, I can understand why you might feel that way because other people exclude you from these spaces, but that's not my intentions at all. I feel like you're trying to like, you're trying to like put me in the same box as other people. I haven't invited you. Is that it? Yeah, so she is levying the claim at him that he's being sexist. Do you disagree okay. with that characterization of that clip? She she said mm -hmm. the only only variable I see for why I haven't been invited is my gender. Okay. And he didn't say no. That's not true in your case. He just said, I've invited women. Because that's directly contradicting her statement that the only variable is her gender. That's clearly not the case when there are other women on the podcast. And then she said, wow. So, and then she, her response was, so you've invited a couple tokens, but I don't understand why I haven't been invited. And he didn't have an excuse because he said. Well, that's because that's, agreed, that's he because. He agreed with no, her frame, no, no, dude. No, 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 he just said, no, oh, it's right. Other Michael, people have excluded no, you, but I am not. No, I am Mike, not excluding the you. Problem is so that then why she is made, she not the, on? No, Mike. The problem is that she made a claim. He, de he made a claim that the only variable separating her from the other guests was gender. And then he countered that claim and said, that's not true. I brought on other women. And because her argument got shut down, she retreated to, well, those women don't count. That's not an argument from her. 
That's her conceding everything and then trying to back it into some weird tokenism position. How does she know those women invited on are only tokens? That's an absurd claim. And it's actually dehumanizing to the women that are on that show. If you actually cared about sex issues or sexism on Twitch, it seems like you would push back against that more than anything else. I mean, unless I you are prepared, I, unless, 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 wait, unless you are prepared right here to defend her statement. It's a saying, 60 second whoa, 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 whoa. clip. I have no idea what the context is. Okay, you're, asking me, to, you're asking me to take We can watch this if you want. This is a, okay, sure. So this is, this is, this is, Sure. So this is some a, elaborate. Sure. Okay, sure. Claim so this is a, we can watch this if you want. What the fuck are you talking about? We can watch this if you want. This is a four and a half minute video revolving around the same clip. Would you like to watch this whole thing? Do you think the context will change? From who? From Bad Bunny. That she's not trying. And also, I don't know why you would need more context there. I don't know why you think it's acceptable to hand wave off some women's presence as tokenism. You're you're dehumanizing the fuck out of those women. I literally don't know the context of the whole conversation. This what is context do you need? That why would am I this? talking about this? Has nothing uh -huh. to do with me. What the fuck? If you want to talk about these, <clears throat> talk to these two about the con conversation. Go for it. I'm well, not going to spend my you're time the defending one, other Then why did you spend over an hour trying to claim that Mind Waves was a sexist? When the only person that's made that claim is Bad Bunny. Are you prepared to walk back never those made claims? That claim. And the clip that you gave of me making that claim didn't even come what did close you, to What did you guys talk about for an hour and a half? The difference, the distinction between. Mm -hmm. First of all, okay, you want to know what we talked about? The first is he admitted that he broke confidence and that he was a piece of shit and he burned bridges over that. So that was nice. The second one was uh, him regretting, mischaracterizing the conversation that we had as a conspiracy against you. He acknowledged that I pushed back. In that private conversation that took place, one content creator brought up the idea of trying to mass report you anytime there's a marginal thing that's on your stream. And I said, no. And I pushed back against you, that. The, the, him, said, there's no way we're doing that. Hold him, the fuck on. That's what the conversation was. And then he no. went out there and said there's a big conspiracy against you. So and then him, his evidence of the conspiracy against you yeah, so he was conceded, that we were yeah. going to reach out to people that got yeah. targeted by DGG and so who he, are yeah. small content creators. So, that was his evidence of a sure. conspiracy. Mike, Give me a fucking break. Mike, calm down. Your white fragility is showing, okay? Calm down. So <laughs> he admitted all of this about my whiteness right in now, like so two or three minutes. You had an hour and 20 minute conversation about him being a sexist. Not only that, you uh, literally- We literally didn't. We had, a you literally, we had a discussion about the difference between him not understanding mm -hmm. that the critique of his show being sexist- Yes. Is whether or not it's motivated by structural reasons or personal reasons is immaterial and that he has a responsibility as a content creator as a as a white cis dude you on this keep platform, trying to, if he wants yeah, to be on the left, I understand, Mike. You you keep trying to he have both on the of left. these positions. You need to just own one of them. You literally in this conversation what? specifically bring up Bad Bunny as an example of him being sexist. You brought it up, not me, motherfucker. At one, what so we can listen about? to the vod if you want. At one hour, one minute, and thirty seconds, you say Bad Bunny complained about not getting invited on leftist podcast. You contacted her the next day, and then Nicole questioned the timing of why you'd. Never never invited her before. So we can listen to this exact quote if you want. You literally are representing her position for this hour plus conversation on sexism. I don't know why you're pretending you're not. Uh, like, this is, this is the boringest fucking conversation I've ever had. Is this literally what we're going to talk about? Literally? You have an Whether hour and a half conversation. He's sexist? It's not. Well, because it's not about that. Was. It's just the idea that you were an incredibly bad faith interlocutor when you're talking to Mike about him being sexist. It was. Being, I actually. Being, I came my, out of this conversation. Name is. I don't actually don't even know. My, is it Mike? And mind okay, wave? Did I say Mike or mind waves? Yeah, you said you said mind waves. So yeah, mind waves. So like, I I oh, actually Mike, yeah, coming yeah. out of this conversation, I wasn't even sure if you knew what structural sexism was because you seemed incapable of making the distinction that it's possible that mind waves isn't sexist, but he's maybe partaking in a sexist system, right? Like the Twitch as a whole might be. You could never make that concession to him. You could never say like, oh yeah, I don't think you're personally sexist. You dance around it perpetually and then you continue to bring up other examples of him being sexist because you're not capable of just saying, well, maybe you're not sexist, right? You bring up white fragility. You bring How the up, fuck would I know if he's sexist or not? I don't know him enough. Why not All say that then? Is... Why not just say that? Well, I don't know if you're sexist. Maybe you're not. Maybe you are. Why not just say that then? You never do. Because I was trying to educate him. I was trying educate to him, to him on what? That the difference between the two doesn't fucking matter. He, but it, it does matter. matter. Oh, okay. From the point of view 
of what this platform is really about, which is influencing audiences. We're Whether not talking is... about the point of view from an audience, Mike. <laughs> We're talking about the point of view from Mindwaves, the guy you're having a conversation Who with. Who gives a shit about his point? You I mean, should like, okay, because fine. you brought up earlier fine. Praxis. Praxis was how you change things in the real Praxis. world. Praxis. Going up to yeah. Mindwaves and saying, you're a sexist, by the way, doesn't seem as likely to change his mind as saying like, hey, dude, you're making an effort. You could do a better job. By the way, at the end of that conversation, you said you were going to send him and suggest to him some women creators that he should have had on his podcast. You never did that. Do you not care about it? Do you not have suggestions for him? Or, Well, I've decided yeah? that based on his behavior, that he's not the type of person that I personally want to promote at this time. Gotcha. So you don't care so about like women. That. So whether or not you personally want to promote him is more important than whether or not you have well, more I representation on his program. Oh, for women. Well, this is the thing. I came mm -hmm. into the I came into the conversation wanting Tim to apologize for his breaking of faith, which he did. He did that before you even him. talked, yeah? Uh, I don't I, if he did, I never saw it. Okay, yeah, he did. Um, but go ahead. Okay. So he apologized that he uh broke a, the conversation. He apologized for mischaracterizing what happened and including me in some sort of grand conspiracy, which is just hilariously he, This is you're, you're, This is two minutes of the hour and a half conversation. I, I know you're like really big on going back to this, but this really was a very small part of the overall conversation. And, and, it's, and it's part of a worrying, and then him, and then I did, I did call him out for his incentives of joining in with creating this with a, with a uh, narrative that comes from your community that you're in some sort of like conspiracy and he joined in so he could get clout and he kind of admitted that he regretted doing that. I don't know if he necessarily joined in to get clout, but yeah, again, we all agree on this. I don't know why you keep bringing this up. He agreed that it was wrong to leak those conversations and that he mischaracterized them. So ultimately th what this conversation comes down to is you want me to call him a sexist or not call him a sexist as opposed to trying to talk to him about how he should stop being so concerned about whether chat calls him sexist and just work it's not on about making a show whether better, or not which just was my point it's not about whether or not chat first of all he's already working on making his show not sexist he has been doing that since the start he's had plenty of women and trans women on his program so he already has been working on that you haven't done anything if anything you you've you've moved it backwards because you won't even give him any of the suggestions you said you would about inviting women on the show. Why um, do I have a responsibility now to support his stream when I think he's a bad faith actor and not someone who's trustworthy? It's not about supporting his stream. It's about getting great. Why should I, why should I recommend content creators go onto his show and put their communities in his hands when he's a terrible moderator? So you're going to go okay. forward and you're going to, you're not going to say that he's sexist anymore then because you're not even going to try to help balance out representation on a stream. Oh, and then the other thing is I also uh -huh. talked about his moderation habits. That was another problem I had with his stream is him taking sides and shouting people down. We're not down talking about his, his moderation habits interest. right now. That's a separate conversation. Was, well, the show was about, the conversation was about his show and why I We're, we're very, we're not, we're not pivoting away. We're very specifically we're talking pivoting. about, well, you are right now. We're, we're very specifically talking about whether or not he was a sexist. Do you think that there is enough evidence here to, to claim that he is a sexist or are you willing to walk that back? That maybe he's not a sexist. Maybe he's just taking part in a sexist system and he's not doing enough Again, to Again, I don't even think I claim that he was a sexist at any point because of lack of information. Okay, cool. So you would agree with that then. You don't think that mind waves, you don't have enough information to claim that he's a sexist. You're comfortable saying that. I would say after his reaction, yeah, his extremely fragile masculinity under attack reaction. Wait, is it fragile uh, masculinity or white fragility? Which one? Or do you just really like saying fragile? Well, well this we're not talking about we're not talking about racial dynamics here. We're talking about uh Okay, so you think that uh, if you call somebody a sexist, sexist and they're not a sexist, mm -hmm. and then they take mm -hmm. issue with being called a sexist, that means that they have mm -hmm. fragile masculinity? Uh, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, oh, Jesus Christ, this is so... I don't know why you're failing to understand this very simple idea. Well, I understand it pretty well. I think you're trying to navigate between I, two contradictory positions, and that's why the conversation is so difficult for you. But go ahead. There's no difficulty for me. It's just mm -hmm. you, you keep running into the same wall and not understanding. No, I it, understand this to very me, well. The distinction between go ahead. him personally being sexist, if that's the motivation for his show, not having women on it, and, or if he's just plain upholding a structural problem within Twitch, the outcome is the same. And if somebody okay, you seeing keep, keep, that outcome, okay, hold on, don't hold on. let me yeah. finish. This point is very simple. It's, you've made this but point I, 20 I've been times. interrupted you're, every fucking not, time. You, you, every fucking time I make this point, I get interrupted. Go ahead, which Mike. is from the from the side yep. of the from the people observing it, mm -hmm. which is what I'm concerned about. 
you're concerned about mind waves ego, which is important to you. That's not what I'm concerned Fine. about, but you can uh, explain this incredibly simple concept again. Go ahead. Uh, it makes you feel better. I said to him, from the point of view of the person watching, it yep. doesn't matter, dude. Okay. So if they call you sexist because you have nobody on the show that's a mm -hmm. woman, woman, you have to say, hey, you know what? This is what we're doing. I've heard this critique. This is what we're doing. Okay. So that's it. Yeah. So what you're explaining not very high bar, is it? Sure. So what you're what you're trying to explain is you're explaining the difference between intentionality versus effect. Obviously, we can agree that intentionality is irrelevant when we analyze the effect. Okay. So for instance, voter ID laws didn't specifically say, you know, no black people are allowed to vote, but they targeted mm -hmm. so many areas that the impact ended up being, and especially in North Carolina, you know, well, black people didn't vote, right? So the intentionality is removed from the effect there. So of course, I agree with that. But we're not talking about an affected person right now. We're talking about somebody that is doing the action. So would you have a conversation the same way? Let's say you have one person who's like, you know, um, I don't have anything against black people. I just, I think they're all really lazy versus another person that's like, black people are subhuman and I want to hang and kill them all. Do you think you would talk to both of these people and address their racism the same way? Or do you think you would take a dramatically different approach? I mean, obviously I would take a dramatically different approach. Then you agree with me that point. there is, it is incredibly significant because right now we're talking to mind waves, the person you are accusing of taking part in a sexist system. So you need to have a conversation with him, not as though he's a sexist person that hates women, but that he might be somebody that's taking part in a sexist system. And that distinction is actually incredibly important. If you're trying Which to communicate. Which is exactly what I said during the entire hour It's and not half. though. You, you continually. thing together if you want. Do you, you really want to? We can go through thing. so many clips if you want. Yeah. Do you, do you want to do that? That where, 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 where all of these times where, where you kind of like go like, well, when other people call you sexist, well, you know, you know, you're, you're, other people are saying you're sexist, you know? Like he literally, he literally cried because chat was calling him sexist. And he said, the problem the isn't just the effect was mm -hmm. I, I was supposed to stop chat from calling him sure. sexist. So the problem, and you, this is so strange. You're making the gamer bro argument. I see this a lot. I used to see this a lot. So you, you're making this argument that you have no responsibility over chat, but I just watched you do this earlier. And I know you're going to retreat on everything you said earlier. That's fine. But like earlier, when I tried to get your position on cops, on whether or not all cops contribute to racism or not, it feels like you, you really want that credit from your chat. Yeah, Mike hates all cops. Fuck them all, blah, 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 blah. But you know, I, maybe deep down inside, there is a reasonable brain and you're like man that position that's pretty untenable i don't think i can really admit that in this conversation because it makes me look crazy but like you're gonna go back to your chat and be like yeah fuck all cops fuck them all so ACAP, is, guys okay right? so mm -hmm. this is the bad faith steven coming up no it's is not bad faith at all continually no. accuse me of having mm -hmm. positions that i've never espoused because you're worried about attacking my credibility as opposed to what i actually say and this is mm -hmm. a bad problem this mm -hmm. is a bad faith actor move sure because i i don't say that Sure. So I also the, the, don't support the, the Chinese Communist Party, yet the phrase Mike from CCP, where did that originate from? Well, because you were too much right? of a coward to take a stand to side oh. with the Hong Kongers. Wait, do wait, you, wait, would wait, you do wait, that wait, now? You sided, yeah. you sided with the Chinese government when they ban when they got them to ban the uh, the Hearthstone streamer. When did so I who side was with the Chinese? Wait, when did I side okay with the Chinese Blizzard, government? Wait, was, you said it was okay when Blizzard and Tencent, which is owned by the Chinese government, banned uh, Blitz, uh, Blitzchung, or whatever his name is, from the Hearthstone. You took the position that was most favored by so, the Chinese government. And I was the one saying that that's a bad fucking... Do you, you were the one supporting the Chinese. Do you, then you asked me about wait, the wait, Hong wait. Kong protest. Do you think and that... I told you, yeah, do you think that, humbly, do you that think I don't that, know enough to Mike, take a strong enough position on it. Mike, do you think that Blizzard is China? Or do you know that those are two separate entities? Are you aware of the connection between Blizzard, the equity connection between Tencent, and also the fact that there is inordinate pressure placed on Blizzard if they want to operate within the Chinese uh, market in order they have to conform to the Chinese government's decrees? Like, this is a very simple fucking concept, and I know you it's, know it. So, I understand that, but you understand that me saying that I understand why Blizzard would act the way they do as a company is not the same as me saying that I agree with China or that I'm siding with China. Right? Or do you not recognize the distinction? Well, you sided with Blizzard. You thought it was appropriate. Yeah, but I well, yeah, I thought that their action. So here... in effect, you you sided with China, but you side you say you side with Blizzard. You just accidentally, coincidentally, sided with what the Chinese government wanted. So you That's think that by me? So that when and then uh, wait, wait. So you mm -hmm. side with the Chinese government wishes on the Blizzard on the Hearthstone situation, and I'm the one that won't stand up to China. That's an interesting pivot that you've done for yourself. So you know it's entirely possible for me to say, hey, I recognize that Blizzard is going to act this way as a company. I would expect them to. We should take action against China as a nation, though. 
You know that those aren't contradictory positions. You did right? you actually say that during the? I don't remember you saying that during the stream. That well, was my no, position. because during during the that stream, that was the, my position. Well, I think no, you're your position was that we can go back and watch the video. Your position was that you didn't know enough about the protests to side with the Hong Kongers. That's what I roasted you on. That you later tried to say <laughs> what that you I roasted said was me on. My yeah? incline, uh, and then I'll correct you. Sure. I said my inclination is to support the right of protesters and to side with them against oppression. But I don't know enough of their inst of the mm -hmm. actual demands and the situations in Hong Kong yep. to give a to give a depth in depth nuanced take on the pro protests. Sure. But my my impl my instincts and my support is for the right to protest. And do you remember what I, I said right for the best way? That. Do you remember what I said the best way to apply pressure against China was? It was multilateral trade agreements. That's my. <laughs> That's right. Multilateral yep. trade agreements. That's yep. what you said. I remember that. There you go. I remember so you saying that. That wasn't a um, pro China position. Pressuring them to do other actions via multilateral trade agreements is not a pro China position. Well, that's because you're magicking your idea that the multilateral trade agreements are going to achieve that, even though we've given China most tra favored trade status. We have uh, allowed them to join the World Trade Organization, and we have given them, and we, the argument that you're making- Of course we have to let them into the WTO. The, the Wait, making, the we have to let making. them into the WTO so we Steven, can bring okay, WTO suits Steven, against them. Of course, Mike. More than, okay, if you follow politics 10 years ago, you would know that neoliberals made the argument that when we are 10, 15, 20 years ago, that if we opened up China's market we, and they got economic freedom, okay. that capitalism would necessarily lead to political freedom and social freedom and civil rights. And civil liberties. Oh being fuck! Respected. He is pivoting and really hard. Okay. Fact, so in fact, I, I, we haven't seen it. Sure. So we I haven't seen it. Well, you pivoted has, to your stupid trade agreements, well, and I'm saying no, no, no. I didn't work, pivot. I was buddy. answering. That's you. an argument yeah. from 20 no, 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 years no, no, ago. Shit, sorry, you guys are right. I let him pivot really hard. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so um, I, I don't know what how what neoliberals said 10 years ago has to do with the idea that using multilateral trade agreements to pressure countries into acting a certain way. I, I don't know how those two are. Well, what would the mechanism be by which we use those multilateral trade? We would go. We what? We would arbitrate. We who? Yeah, you'd have third party arbitration to settle disputes. Who would sue? The Chinese government and Blizzard are like, so you're saying Blizzard would sue China and say that you're not respecting my First Amendment rights in China? Like, what's the mechanism? Like, what the fuck? So are you Blizzard about? would bring a not suit. Part of the multilateral, so multilateral, Blizzard, multilateral trade agreement. Yeah, so this is literally just gobbledygook. You're saying. Okay, are you done? Are you okay? So, firstly, any multilateral trade agreement to pressure China wouldn't involve taking them to court because China wasn't going to be a part of our multilateral trade agreement. The Trans-Pacific Partnership did not include China. The point would be to rally with other countries to embargo China or to tariff China if they didn't respond in certain Wait, ways. Wait, we're going to tariff China over them banning a Hearthstone tournament guy or them pressuring this? Like, come on. This is just, this is nonsense. You think it's nonsense to suggest that we might tariff a country? It's not just about like... It's not just about like a, a, a Hearthstone player. A Hearthstone it's not yes, about a I blip of a Hearthstone player. It's about having a broader strategy. You, we have a lot of problems with China related to things like IP theft or how we have to act in that country. This isn't an isolated instance that only impacts Blizzard. Literally, the NBA was dealing with this just a short while ago. Why are you pretending this is only about Blizzard or a Hearthstone player? Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. This is actually... Well, you a, you a, just said it was, though. Why are you acting like it wasn't? Well, okay, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. So what you're saying is, is that as a result of... China's continual attempts to use their economic position to coerce pro-Chinese positions. Yep. We to get the capitalists in America are going to put aside their profit motive and their 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 puppets in the government are going to go in there and they're going to tariff China over them like respecting civil liberties? Well, yeah, the idea is that an increased liberalization in the Chinese market is a greater overall benefit to the profit motive of these companies. That's how liberalization of trade works, Mike. Well, there's yes. liberalization, yeah, there's liberalization of the market, but that doesn't necessarily translate into liberalization or or respect of, of uh, fundamental freedoms in other aspects. Fundamental and freedoms and increased liberalization of said freedoms often goes hand in hand with increased economic but that's liberalization. The thing that, well, well, that, that's the argument that's 20 years old, which you said was irrelevant. That argument Argument has That's literally true. been borne out in multilateral trade agreements. When people do analyses of what of what countries companies like to set up We're businesses in, they often choose Stephen specifically okay. China, which is the second largest economy in the world. Have they seen enhanced civil liberties? That's, or are that's they not, backsliding? Whether or not they have seen enhanced civil liberties right now is not relevant to the idea of whether or not you can use multilateral trade agreements. How to big pressure... is their economy going to grow before the civil liberties? Oh kick my in? God, I don't know, I'm just, Mike. I'm that's just wondering. But what is the alternative, Mike? We go to war with China? No, we don't go to. What's war the with alternative? China. We can we can put pressure on how? Okay, I'll give you an example. Yes, for example, if you look at Blizzard, 
the vast majority of their revenue comes from Europe and the United States. Only 6% of their revenue comes from China. But the reason why they're so attracted to the Chinese market is not their current revenue, but projections of growth. Which in capitalism, as you know, is the major imperative. You can't just tread water in capitalism. You've got to grow. Okay. And so if the United States and Europe, we currently have the advantageous position. We can leverage against them. In the future, China's market will be much too big for us to do that. What, what, do you, what, do you, what is your policy so what I'm position? Saying what is, is your prescription? What do we do? My policy prescription right now would be to, um, to prevent and ban Blizzard from doing those kind of behaviors. Not permit them to do that by, I, I don't know providing some sort of so your policy is position difficult. is to just pull co pull companies out of china uh i mean like listen like we have to this this is a so you have no situation. position why not just say that why not just say like well i would no, just no, say we should asking uh, me to formulate wait wait you're asking me on on the fly to formulate my position on how we should deal with china imposing their geopolitical uh, uh propaganda on the rest of the world okay i think this is a very difficult and thorny problem yeah but you attack the this fuck the at like if i'm an egomaniac and i just come up with something off the fly that's bullshit well when you were so incredibly critical of my position i thought that meant maybe you'd thought one out for yourself my maybe i was mistaken yeah, there but pressuring countries to act in a certain position. way via multilateral trade agreements is a very common practice. It's one of the reasons why the European Union is so successful. It's one of the ways we forced worker rights out of some countries. Because believe it or not, companies actually like to set up in stable countries where shit isn't going fucking crazy. It's how we pushed a lot of like workers' rights in like Vietnam, for instance, when they thought that they were going to be part of the TPP and other countries as well. Like, yeah. So yeah, I do think that using multilateral trade agreements to push countries towards modernizing a little bit in terms of joining us in terms of civil rights and whatnot is usually like a decent way to go about things. By you the want way, to attack did, did, that. Did that's fine you, that's fine you but you can't you counter people on the left yeah. are against multilateral trade agreements have you been have yeah you generally been they are yeah they're against the current model of corporate dominated trade agreements. of course okay. they want they want what's known as fair trade agreements of course where they where they explicitly deal with these issues as a centerpiece of trade as opposed to putting non-binding fucking statements in them what is non-binding about something that can be enforced via tariff or, or via well, third-party arbitration? They're, okay, but but they're not in but actual reality. But they are in can actual you show reality. Me an okay, I'll give you an I'll ask, I'll ask you, Okay, Jesus Christ. Well, now we're off on the fuck. We're way off the top. You're the one that wanted to pivot here. We're not pivoting at all. This was you. You brought the, I brought this up because I said this is bad faith Stephen calling me Mike from CCP, even though I'm the one who took the anti-communist China position. Oh, wait. So on and that position, you you'll say, so you'll, you'll, wait, so you'll say argument. that you actually support the Hong Kongers then? I've said this I don't know how many fucking times. Okay. That I support their right to protest <laughs> against the authoritarian yeah. fucking Chinese government. <laughs> So you support That's the Hong the, Kongers? That, I mean, if that is that supporting the Hong Kongers, it figure like it out. It. Yeah, I don't know why you're so scared to just I say figure it. out the right to protest. Well, okay, then you cool. so you mischaracterized me after all. Do you support Hong Kong declaring their independence from mainland China? I mean, that's such a geopolitically authority. I mean, that's what I they're no protesting for. What does it mean I, if you I mean, protest? What if you pro if you protest? But has there been a democratic plebiscite? Has there been actually a, a is there a democratic legitimacy for that demand? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just curious like, if you support self determination or not. I support their right to protest for whatever the fuck they want. That's that's a pretty simple. Well, I mean, if you support principle. the right to pro, that's like saying I support like Martin Luther King's right to protest, but I'm not in favor of civil rights. Like if the Hong Kongers like protested, they're being part of. China. Are you OK? So let yeah. me ask you a question. Are you do you support the Hong Kongers? Maybe you do. Maybe you do. Yeah, you I do. Yeah, I do. Demands? Yeah, okay. I think if that's Hong Kong great. wants to declare its independence from China, I think they should. Have well, yeah, 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 yeah. But you're but what's Hong Kong? Where are you getting this legitimacy from? I know you like. Where are you getting? Just because Hong Kong, the special uh, administrative region or whatever of China, whatever. What do you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. where, 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 where from do you say Hong Kong was? Because there are protests there. What are you that asking? Equals that Hong Kong wants like. What's your mechanism from saying that Hong Kong wants independence because protests are taking place? I mean, millions of people. I guess I don't know. Maybe have they had like a uh, have they had a democratic referendum that on I'm, whether not or not? that I'm aware of. I oh, okay. support a democratic so, referendum. Oh, so I support if, a democratic sure. referendum, that'd so, be great. Okay, cool. So if, if Hong Kong took a democratic referendum on separating from China, you would support their right to be independent from China? Yeah, I believe in the right of self determination. It's pretty simple. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Okay, it's pretty simple, right? <laughs> um, yeah, great. I think we like agree on all the points there. So. <clears throat> 
Okay, so, we, man, we pivoted away so far from the original conversation. Well, no, no, because it's part of the bad faith. So now what you need to do is start banning everyone who says Mike from CCP because God forbid you're not policing your chat. Um, I could. I'm okay with those attacks for now, actually, though. Well, I see. There, there you go. <laughs> so I guess I'm okay with someone calling uh, Mind Waves a saxist. Wait, what does Mind Waves have to do with my characterization of you? <laughs> no, this is all goes back to you saying that I'm doing being a gamer bro because I'm not enforcing. I'm not. Enforcing oh no, because you seem to take requires. no responsibility for your chat or whatever. So like I absolutely that. do. If somebody says something racist, transphobic, mm -hmm. um, uh, etc., in my chat, they get banned. If okay, they do so bad shit, I was actually they get banned. if they so, harass people, they get sure. banned. Sure. So I was super curious about this. Um, at an hour and eight minutes and fifty-five seconds, you said this is why you have a liberal brain because you don't understand the sexism is structural. It's not just you as a person. Mind waves counters that your chat has been literally berating in the entire time, and you say I don't see anyone saying anything problematic. I actually dug through your logs for your chat that night. The word sexist was used 234 times. Fragility was used 100 times. Racist was used 276 times. You never saw anybody in your chat levying any of these insults at Mind Waves? I mean, I guess I didn't see anything I, I saw as problematic. Okay, so them calling <laughs> him sexist or whatever, that's not... Who gives a shit? You don't think... Okay, so back to this again. You don't think it's right for him to be a little bit miffed if he's being accused of being sexist? Oh, he sexist? has the right to be miffed. He has the right to be miffed. Oh, well, but then I what's your him, problem with him? Too bad. That's chat. Deal with it. But his problem wasn't with just chat. His problem was with people like you parading their communities around and basically allowing them to have free reign on calling him sexist. I mean, I, I find this really funny coming from you of all people. Wait, how? I take a lot you of responsibility your, of my chat. You allow your community to do whatever the fuck they want. No, I don't. I'm actually creators. incredibly stringent about how I police my community. Probably one of the most on Twitch in terms of oh, the content really? creator on my oh, side. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, people accuse me of all sorts of things that I've never done. And like most what? Of it's source from your community. Isn't that weird? Wait, like what? If you like pointed supporting communist China. Oh, I think for the most, I think you're a secret tanky. I, I, I do think that. Don't you still have like all that? Like your name is Central Committee. Don't you still have all like that Soviet shit or whatever on your fucking stream? There's literally nothing Soviet on my stream. There's literally, literally nothing. The only actually that's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. Correct correction. As a meme for this entirely ridiculous mm -hmm. attack, I created a T seventy two emote, which is a tank. T seventy two is a Soviet tank. Are you saying that the 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 uh, the, the the font? Is so Soviet font? none of the font and memes, none of the color red? memes. You don't think there's any similarity there? Who, Would you accept who it if cares PewDiePie? About, wait, wait. Red and yeah. gold is now means I support the Soviet Union. You're making now. the PewDiePie argument. That's what you want to go with right now. You can if you want. I, I mean, Hassan does it. So, I mean, like all I gotta say is, if they think that's some sort of conclusion, you have failed to achieve an actual conclusion. So you have an inference you can make. Well, of course, because we can only inference to dog whistling. That's the whole point of dog whistling, right? You understand that, right? Well, yeah, but the thing about dog whistling is that there's a common cultural currency where we've all established that doing this thing mm -hmm. is actually a dog whistle. Like when people say 1488 or whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. that's a dog whistle that they all know what is dog whistle. So Me if I were to Google like Soviet text and I were to go to images and I were to compare that to your stream, do you think I'd see a resemblance there at all? Or is that just all a big I mean, coincidence? I look at it. I don't have no fucking idea. I no it. idea at all. You just randomly settled on these colors. You, have no, you just randomly settled on all this stuff. You had no idea that any of it... Okay, so I have a question for you. Do you yeah. have a problem with red? Do you think red is communist exclusively? No, I get uncomfortable when there are communities of people that relentlessly shit on the Hong Kongers that claim that all the information about China Never happened um, in my community, killing the so Uyghurs and story. all that is all made up for all of the people that like, you know, side Wait. with that say like Maduras is I... this amazing okay, person. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, What communities? Um, I see it happen a lot on Hassan's community. I see it happen a lot on the socialist and communist subreddits. I'm pretty sure and... Hassan did a whole video. Uh, uh -huh. Watch it. He did a whole stream where he covered the Uyghur situation. Sure. So you're actually lying about Hassan right now. Um, you, you're telling me that I haven't seen that in his subreddits before? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So here you go again. Yep. You have somebody, something exists in somebody's community or subreddit, and then you use it to paint the person 
which is fucking ridiculous. So I guess I'm just looking for like a little bit more of an honest take on the influence that you can have over your community. Like the idea that you would name yourself Central Committee and put up this type of iconography and then act so indignant when I say it kind of looks like the Soviet Union is just incredibly spineless to me. I don't know why you wouldn't just own it. Like, no, 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 no. You could no, no, use no. the you argument that say. like, I don't think that iconography is bad or I don't think that the Soviet Union is necessarily this horrible place. Like why not just own it? But you call you spineless it? just because this, you think this is a dunk. But the truth no, no, is- I'm not, I'm calling you spineless because you just won't I've own said. you won't own any positions like you won't own the I fact absolutely that, have owned every position in this okay so do clearly. you think that all that your name central committee and all the ad mm -hmm. use do you think that bears a resemblance mm -hmm. whatsoever to the soviet union i mean if i wanted to i'd call myself politburo or something so if, if mean, you I don't literally Agitprop, go if you don't I think agitprop i think you have a bigger problem with Hassan than me i think agitprop is more of a direct uh, callback to to left mu movements than than what i've done and here's and then the, but ultimately i don't really have a problem with communists necessarily i have a problem with marxist leninists i have a problem with stalinists i have a problem with people who uh support the the atrocities of the soviet regime or the chinese regime but i don't really have a problem with communists i hang out with anarcho-communists and those people i think they're fine but I personally am not a communist. Do you think it's possible that somebody could go by your stream and see the type of iconography you use and say, like, this guy's probably cool with tankies? Does that make you uncomfortable or do you not care? Your name is literally um, if, Central Committee. If, like, if a tanky came by my stream uh -huh. and they legitimately wanted to defend the invasion of Hungary or something, I would tell them they were a fucking idiot. So you only go to these most extreme examples, ignoring all the nuance that goes into these communities. Like... I know you How understand this because I know that if you were to look, if you were to open up a PewDiePie video, he would be making all the arguments that you're making right now, but you wouldn't let him slide on it. Why do you think it's okay for you to make the same arguments that he does? Or do you support PewDiePie and that like, oh, well, I, sometimes I've accidentally had I mean, like, if whatever. there are any tankies who want to sub, I mean, we have a T72 emote, so you can, you can be a tanky. But do you think no, you have any tankies in your community? I mean, I can't think of any. I mean, looking at my Discord, I can't think of a single person who's made an honest to God tanky take. So this is this is and the reason why we're having this conversation is mm -hmm. because you're so eager to find some sort of like disqualifying you can put me in a box as a crazy lunatic tanky so you don't have to actually have legitimate nuanced conversations about say like the progressive movement in the United States and you can pretend like you know Bernie's people on the internet they're all really crazy far lefties who want to like you know think the kulaks deserved it or something and so, that's literally not what we said. Not really. That's So that's not what this conversation was at all about. The conversation was initially about mind waves and why you insisted on like not letting him have the idea that he's not sexist. Why you had to make that such a central focal point of your conversation, that he was a sexist. That, or, or you say that you didn't say that, but you heavily imply it over and over and over again. Why like, are we okay? We can pivot mm -hmm. back to mind waves. Well, we're not I'll pivoting back. This. this was a central point. And, like, and you I do this a lot. Do you remember when you you literally told him? So at an hour and twenty minutes, you say, and it's funny because like you're telling me all this about like, well, I can't hold my chat accountable. Blah 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 blah. At an hour and twenty minutes, you literally say you need to get rid of people in your community who push these racist and sexist tropes. Mind waves respond saying, "Are you saying my community is racist and sexist?" And you literally respond with a, "What? No, that's not." Not what I fucking said. Get a fucking Q-tip. Like you literally are full Jordan Peterson here. Why is holding Mind Waves community accountable so important, but yours isn't? Or why does it matter if you look at his chat, but I can't look at yours? I mean, okay, okay. So I think ultimately we just have a, a agree to disagree moment here. You think that if somebody's called a sexist, mm -hmm. that it's some sort of like emergency that everybody has to rush to defend them. Stop making it hyperbolic. What I'm saying is if you call somebody sexist, it's a personal attack. That's what I'm saying. Do you disagree with that? Um, I mean, I guess it's a personal attack. Can you, you can you give me a, and could you actually like a man, can you man up and give me an answer on that? I know you like to <laughs> Wait, use this that. Is toxic I know, masculinity. I know, yeah, I I know you like, I know you like to use five that. threads in your, yeah. I better see yep. five threads. Woke I, I, I've seen, I've seen you use this thread. terminology a lot. So I'll speak to you in mic terms. No, no, okay? we, well, uh, as Corman team yep. said, we were talking I, wait, wait, about no, no. I, I want. I want to speak to you in mic terms, adult, okay? Guys. As as a male, <laughs> as a man, as an adult, sure, sure, which is something sure, you sure. said. Can you tell as me if you call somebody sexist? I say that's a personal attack. Can you answer me without saying, "Well, I wouldn't consider it," or "Well, I don't know about that," or "I wouldn't say"? Can you tell me? Would you consider? It depends that on the context. I mean, honestly, it depends on the context. But you know what? Can you give me a context uh, where you call somebody sexist and need, it's not a personal need, attack? Because you need a point and call this a pity point. I'm fine with it. You know what? If someone calls you a racist or a sexist. Yeah, that is a personal attack. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Also, somebody is telling me that Mind Waves lied. He said he had to invite Nicole because she seemed impossible to get and she was too big for him. So he lied about the that was the initial reason. And she was like, what? Oh, wait. And so, so do you do so, want to talk specifically about Nicole? Now, I mean, or? I mean, well, you can. But this is what my but we got it. We got it. Hey. You yeah. have this narrative about the whole mind wave situation that this is what my chat you, you, is. It's entirely these, possible these that he didn't invite researchers. It's, it's entirely possible that he didn't invite Nicole because he just didn't think she'd be good on that podcast. That's a totally fair take. Well, why didn't he just say that? Why does he have to be like? Maybe he didn't want to start. Maybe around. because she has a penchant for starting drama with anybody, she gets into a disagreement. Oh, here maybe we go again. Here we go again. We've got to see. So here's the thing. Who gives a shit? I don't really want to hear your takes on different people. Fuck, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? Who, who gives, gives a shit? What shit? You think? Wait, who gives a shit what you think about Bad Bunny, Hassan, or anything else? We're not talking about Hassan what I think. Fucking what you personally think about them. Wait, who we're not talking shit? about what I personally think. We're talking you about literally what... just slipped it in, and I'm telling you to shut the fuck up about it. No, and what I'm telling you is it's possible that <laughs> Mind Waves thought that Bad Bunny wouldn't be good on that podcast. It's not about what I think. I don't think she would be, but that's not what we're talking about. Because here. she brings up a lot of drama. First of all, you love drama. What do you mean? We're not. This isn't about that's me. Like, that's like a top motherfucking way of. Getting views. I, you know Mind what? I do. I do love drama. That's why I platform the fuck out of Bad Bunny on my stream multiple times. Thank you. But this isn't about me, Mike. This is about mine. So waves. you're to blame. You're to blame for for all the drama. Then ultimately, how am I to blame for what? You plat. You you didn't platform the right people. I platform um, whoever the fuck I want to platform. <laughs> that's the set. It's the same way I feel. Why are we? We're running away really hard. So this isn't about whether or not I think Bad Bunny would be good on the podcast. It's about the idea that maybe Mind Waves thought that Bad Bunny wouldn't be good on the podcast. He's okay, allowed to have that opinion without being. Before you, before you You're the one that had an hour long conversation with him, accusing him of being sexist. I, okay. Did, as I've said before, yeah. I don't think I ever said that. And I, I've been mm -hmm. waiting for your crack researchers to find it when I called him sexist. I, I think this is the agree to disagree part. I just don't care if someone called him a sexist or not, and you do. Then why can't you just say that to him? Why can't you just say, well, I don't know if you're sexist or not, or like maybe you're not. That's not the conversation. Like I you literally I did say that. No, I think you, I actually you did don't. Say that. You literally I, said, I don't care if chat calls you sexist or not. No, you, to, you literally yeah. keep saying to him, like, when people criticize you, don't get defensive. Like you call him out for gish galloping after we tried to explain this. He talked for a whole thirty seconds and you said he was gish galloping. I don't know if you just learned the phrase or what like <clears throat> okay um so the original question um oh god wait what did you pivot away from he didn't answer fuck it was about him being a sexist uh oh if you call somebody a sexist would you consider that a personal attack yeah i say sure i mean not in all contexts but sure okay just, cool if i called you a sexist mm -hmm. and i wasn't it wasn't in the context of uh of, of a structural critique sure you might interpret that as a personal that attack. Fi that <sighs> Doesn't Which is actually good? what I doesn't said. Doesn't it feel good to have a position, that, Mike? Ah, oh, but that's what I, I said. Thank that's you, what Mike. I said in the fucking stream. If you call somebody a sexist, <laughs> that is a personal attack against them. Sure, one hundred percent. I agree. That's literally what I said in the stream. I said sometimes people will will they'll, they'll it'll be a concision. They'll say you're a sexist, but what they mean is when I look at your show, all I see is dudes. And that's fucking sexist. But the thing is, that's not the only people on his stream. He has a lot of women on the stream as well. You just hadn't watched okay, those do episodes. You have, do you, okay, okay. Yeah. Now here's what we need. This is an empirical claim. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, you have your belief, and I have my belief. Yep. And maybe our beliefs are based on faulty information, which is Mind Waves had, had brought a ton of women on the stream. They've been relatively balanced. And when people saw a stream, for example, when I went on, all I saw were dudes. And that was just that one time. And I got a misapprehension or other people got a misapprehension. And that's not really true of his stream. It's much more balanced than we thought. But ultimately, what it would take is somebody would have to go back, and I don't begrudge anyone this time, and actually go and say, this was Mindways for podcast. Here were the guests. Here was the gender balance. If somebody wants to go and do that. The that problem is great. that I'm you not should have to. done that before having an hour-long conversation with him about how he was sexist. But you keep saying, you keep categorizing it as me saying he was sexist when the conversation was about the appropriateness of people critiquing his stream who have seen it and they don't see gender balance. And then he acknowledged that there's a problem with gender balance. But that's not, so in he, fact, no, no. He acknowledged that his, his stream was structurally sexist. The only problem he had was being called sexist. How long and ago, wait, how long ago did Nicole, it doesn't matter. How long ago did Nicole file this complaint? Do you remember? <sighs> Was it months I ago? I don't or? fucking know. I don't care. 
Well, it's kind of important. I'm sorry. I literally just went through like real quick and I brought up two episodes here from two months ago. On the second one, he has two women and on the first one, he has two women. Not that bad considering the state of politics on Twitch. Um, I could go through more if you want, but don't you think it would have been important to do this before like making these big accusations about him being sexist? Again, you keep care. And this is and this is Mm -hmm. where the bad faith comes in. You keep saying I called him sexist, but ultimately we don't have a clip of me saying it. So that's just a false accusation you're making. You're saying I implied it or that I didn't have a problem with people calling him sexist, all of which I agree with. But ultimately, I didn't say, mind waves, you are personally sexist. You Do you I have said, any idea how much like a conservative you sound like now? So like you, this is Jordan Peterson. Why are you analogizing a away from what actually took <laughs> well, place? Well, because like why you're literally saying like, I, I didn't like say I didn't anymore. say he was sexist. Now, I might have said that other people said that he was sexist and I agreed with their critiques and I told them that he agreed. But I personally didn't come out and say you are a sexist. Like this is literally like a, like a conservative talking about racism. Like, this is insane. Like, you really think okay, that you're wait, not, wait, wait, like, wait, wait. heavily so implying? Saying, wait, wait, mm-hmm. wait. Okay, okay. And this is, this is, so you're saying, me saying, Mind Waves, your podcast has a problem, I think I might have even said, with structural, structurally with the gender balance. Another word of saying that is, I don't know what your intentions are, Mind Waves, but it looks like your podcast is a little bit sexist structurally. But you said that, know, but you don't know don't that know though. Why. You didn't look at any of his podcasts. How did you even know that? Why were you even making that claim? I made that claim because of my own experiences. Which was looking at and one he, episode? Do you think that's a good no, way to I'm, collect or gather no, data not, before? Le- no, 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 because oh. I've been on multiple episodes. I've been on either two or three of, of, his, of his shows. And I don't, I think, I don't remember if there were any women on any of them. So my personal experiences led me to believe. And then the, the, the here's the kicker for your point of view. And here's the problem you have. He agreed with me. He That's didn't, why he asked for help. No, you cited that. You cited that in the past. He agreed already. You he, agreed. You no. thought this was a dick on me, which him saying to me, Mike, help me find women. What do you think he agreed and with? Wait, I wait, wait. Said, what do you think he agreed with? That there was a gender balance problem. Of course. On his podcast. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about characterizing him as sexist. He Holy agrees God. that there is a gender I balance problem. I can't believe, I literally can't believe that he managed to get you to bring me on your stream so that you could defend him from an accusation of personally being sexist, which I didn't say, from chat. That's what we're really talking about right now. Of all the things we could be talking about, so of all the interesting things. For, so this is what you want to talk about. I don't give a fuck about mind waves. I don't care about his career. I don't give a fuck about him at all. We're not. We're barely friends. We talk a little bit on Discord, but that's it. I just like to have these conversations because I like to demonstrate how much of a bad faith interlocutor you are because you do a damage to the work that I try to do on this platform. Okay. People for like example, you, for yeah. example, like what? <laughs> Like the fact that when people think of lefties or progressives, they think of dishonest f- fucks like you. It really hurts what, what I try to do. What is dishonest? This can't, entire you can't conversation name, has been almost dishonest. the fact that you're Jordan Peterson. You can't yourself, highlight one dishonest point. I can. The idea but you that, call me dishonest, but you, the, you can't the idea, do it. The idea Again, that, with your bad faith criticisms. Sure. So the idea that you say like, well, I didn't call him sexist. I just said that other people You're called him sexist. You're saying I did. You fucking said I called him you sexist and I didn't. Heavily, <laughs> That's a factual you are, claim. When you bring up other people calling him sexist and then you defend their claims, that's an implicit, if not an explicit endorsement of their messages. Also, one of the episodes that you were on, by the way, was with Patricia, Gushin, and Sarah. Okay? Two women and one oh, trans woman. Okay. So, I remember, oh, I remember. shit. So it sounds yeah. like, Mike, sounds like you don't really give a fuck about any of this at all. You're just simping for Nicole. If you could just admit that and then oh move the fuck God. on. That really, look at how look at how really, easy really look at how much easier with. this conversation squad, would be. Why don't we get squad W's in the chat? Why don't we you, you know, know how much easier squad W's in well, the I chat? Mean, like, so like <laughs> let's look let's look I mean like squad let's W's. look at to quote you, Mike. W's. Let's look There's at the body of W's. work. Where Mike, are the squad W's? Mike. Let's look at the body of work. You didn't give him a list of women that you wanted on the show. You didn't care about it. You're claiming now it's because he's a bad platform or whatever. You don't even remember being on the show with women. You've never even checked to see if there are women on his podcast. And you have a personal relationship with Nicole. To quote my good friend, Ben Burgess, if we were to inference to the best explanation, what do you think we'd Uh come up with for why you were so motivated to grill him for an hour about sexism on a show that you don't even watch? Well, first of all, 
I this is this, so here's the thing with, with Ben Burgess and when he owned you with that it was pretty funny. Oh wait, but, you're gonna pivot away now? <laughs> no, no, I'm getting I'm getting right I'm getting right to the heart of your argument. Your heart of your argument is Mike, you're motivated because you're simping. Mr. Questity himself is is actually who platforms people with blackface is gonna come on here and pretend like that I am. Are you talking the about? Are things. you talking about my friend like, Emma? Really? Come that, on, you're talking come about. On. You're talking about my friend don't Emma. Don't hate the player. Wait, wait. Man. Don't hate. Don't hate the sure. player. So like, come on. Come firstly, fuck on. firstly, okay. I was just on a podcast, okay, arguing with my black friend about whether or not I could say the N word. So the idea that I compromise my fucking personal beliefs for any friendship is hilarious. Secondly, the woman that I bring on that did blackface, that was in a telemask that she wore when she was 14 years old. So maybe now earlier you said you're not a fan now, of wait, 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 wasn't she a frequent? I mean, listen, I don't want to yeah. talk about somebody else. You brought it up, Mike. If you want to pivot there, we can. I'm very I, familiar with all the issues it was involved. Just, it was a meme because I'm laughing at you for you, for ah, you of all people okay. doing this. Well, for you, you for of me all of all people. people. But the problem is when you try to like, cite me, on. Benning, you want, you know what's funny? You want to know the number one person I got attacked for, for bending my beliefs, for simping for? You know who it was? We shit. We, you know that? what? We're brothers in arms here, Mike. It was fucking Bad Bunny. It one of the people. It was one of the, it was, it was one of the people that I got attacked for the most for defending their point of view when she said that she'd never date a black person because she thought black people were nastier when she thought that um when she tried to defend Sam Harris okay, or all those other things I right mean, like, sure but I'm just saying shit, I'm just like, saying that like the idea here that I'm simping for women because I like to fuck a lot I do but I don't compromise my beliefs for them and I sure as fuck what I'm belief not have I compromised the like, idea you that you think that you're levying a legitimate criticism at Mind Waves for being sexist he when you're just trying to do- no he agreed no with he me. didn't Mind Waves yes, agreed Mind Waves agreed that a gender balance problem exists on Twitch and that he could try to do a better job at combating that which he is didn't- structural sexism yeah is it not? but he didn't agree that he- the so, charges against him being sexist were so valid basically he didn't agree right, sorry, with that sorry for that chat I, I missed the mute button um. So what you're wait okay so he agrees with me that st- structural sexism exists on the platform yep. and is exemplified in a lot of his episodes but not all he explained that he's put a lot of effort he's put that he's put a lot of effort uh huh into and I said great that's that's great and then he said please stop your chat and and mean people and communities from calling me sexist and I said well. Uh, I can't do that, and you just need to get over it, dude. <laughs> it's it's so. Why and, would you just say and then that? So wait, 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 wait. wait. Like, would you accept cares? that? Would you who ex- fucking cares? Okay, I still don't know why. That's fine. Cares. So if I'm playing a video game or some shit, and people start spamming try hard every time I like break into a store, who cares? It's just chat, right? Or do you think we wait, have a wait, responsibility? Wait, wait, wait. Do you think we have a responsibility to try to make sure that our chats conduct themselves in a manner that's somewhat congruent with our personal beliefs? Of course we do. Then if he's asking you, hey, but it's not incongruent with my personal beliefs that, that he's somebody, a sexist. Somebody calls him sexist because uh-huh. he doesn't have women on the show. It's not incongruent with my. Okay, my but you beliefs. earlier you agreed that calling somebody sexist is a personal attack. So you think those kinds of personal attacks against him are okay if he hasn't been demonstrated to be a sexist person? Are we against personal attacks now? If they're not true, I would think generally, yeah. Oh well, then you've got a lot of problems with your community. Then why are you pivoting? Because this is exact. It's funny because you're being hypocritical. Sure, I might be. You that have a different. Sta- you have I a might different wait, wait. For I might be hypocritical. Try to levy on me, and it's sure. funny. I might be hypocrite, Mike, and you can attack me over that. And we can have a conversation about whether or not I police my community. Right? I'm totally open to that. I've, I've done a lot of changing how I police my community. But you're the one sitting here telling me that you don't care if your community levies false personal attacks at another creator that's trying well, to no, exist no, in a no, leftist space. False isn't be the beholder, which is exactly the point. This is what. This is why we're never going to come to an agreement. Okay. Because. Ultimately, I don't have a problem with people from uh, oppressed communities going and critiquing mind waves. But it, so I you don't, don't have care. a problem with somebody from an oppressed community levying a fake attack against mind waves. So somebody says if mind waves, fake, you're sexist. If yeah? it's fake, it's fake. But I've had experiences where there were all men on the show, and I found it annoying when it was eight me- white men talking about the left. You say that, but you don't even remember the like, experience you had with three women on the show, Mike. So how the fuck am I supposed to take you seriously there? Clearly, you don't give a fuck. You probably only remember this because somebody pointed it out to you. You didn't even remember you on the show with I'm women. Not, I mean, I'm not infallible. I know it seems like that. Okay, well, you sure about. do I'm have a good infallible. selective memory, Mike. I mean, everybody's memory is selective. That's what memories are. Yeah, that's why we don't rely on them much when we're making arguments, Mike. That's why you probably shouldn't be citing it like you care a great deal about it when it's pretty obvious it's just a passing No, no, I do care about it. He asked me a question, and I asked him if he felt like he had a gender imbalance. Oh, hold on. Did I lose you? Nope, I'm here. Oh, no, sorry. Um, 
Oh, hold on. We got a we got a ban. We got for some reason. Whenever I interact with the community, swastikas start getting banned, spammed in my chat. Ooh, um, nice implication there. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> it's just a weird coincidence. Um, mm -hmm. All right. So so ultimately, where were we? The the question was whether or not we can rely on our personal experiences to offer a structural critique, which he agreed with with me. That's why I felt very comfortable why do you because keep he saying gave in. This? How do you, we're not talking about a structural critique. We're talking about calling him sexist. That's not a structural critique. And That's then I explained attack. how that is a concision of a structural critique for a lot of people. But you just literally told me that calling somebody sexist is a means, personal it, attack. It TLDR, everybody. Like when they say, hey, mind waves, you're sexist. What they meant was, at least the interpretation I have is, what they meant was, you are not bringing enough win women on your podcast. But you, you literally, we literally just women. agreed that the intention of something like that doesn't matter. It's the effect on a person. If you have an all white podcast over and over again, whether you intend to be racist or not, it's probably not good. And it's probably contributing to racism. If you call somebody sexist, whether you intend for that to be a structural critique or not, we should probably look at the impact of what that charge carries with it. When you call somebody sexist and they don't take it as a structural critique, as Mindwaves clearly didn't, we should probably look and see, well, is there a better way that we can phrase this? Okay. I mean, ultimately, this... Uh, I mean, if you want to talk about something else, I think we've literally just repeated the same things back at each other. I sure. don't feel like I mean, this is good for now. Like... I just want to... I've only gone over the first hour and a half. I'll read the, the rest of it. I mean, um, we could do more. I, I, I legit watch. haven't watched I mean, the rest like... of it. I mean... Oh, you, got, you took an uh, issue in here with him saying... Um, what was it? Oh, do you deny that James Cole was making weird, like, black nationalist references on that show? <laughs> and homophobic references? Oh, oh, wait, you're talking about the Yakubian stuff? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know you have a lot of black friends. So, I mean, it's kind of like a meme that people, it's a, it's a joke. Okay. I mean, do you really? But sure. No, I, no, that's fine. You, no, 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 that's oh, okay. No, no, this is okay. I, this is the PewDiePie defense. That's fine. So when he said, like, your no, heart. No, no, when, no, when, wait, 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 Yeah, okay, go ahead. I don't want to. It's just a meme. Do you Mike, actually believe you mm -hmm. actually believe that like anti-white racism is like a significant threat in our society? No, not really. No. So we're gonna really woke scold over like a Yakubian joke. I'm not woke scolding. I just don't want people like, to use really. I just You're don't want say it's PewDiePie. What is whoa, PewDiePie whoa, 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 whoa. defending? What is PewDiePie defending here? I don't. I don't want people to use. Race. Wait, wait, wait. What is PewDiePie defending? It's not Answer relevant the to the conversation. Uh, yes, it is. You keep bringing him up. What? Is, you PewDiePie will hide. Back. PewDiePie hides behind the argument of it's just a meme. Anytime you try to hold him critical for for uh, for what, doing what? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, in the case of PewDiePie, it's usually for platforming some fucking crypto fascist shit or some stuff that's oh, probably got a okay, bad so reason. You're, mm -hmm. So you're okay. So you're saying it's the PewDiePie defense, but what PewDiePie is defending is fascist and far right stuff. And what I'm defending, we're is not talking about the color, subject of what of PewDiePie. Color we're not talking about the angry subject that there is that there is a. The some sort of belief that using the N word with white people is uh, acceptable, and saying this is Yakubian energy to to in a reaction to that, and then when I get mad at black people. I don't call them the N word in an argument. I wouldn't yeah, expect a oh black my... person to use a racial slur against oh, me in an argument. Wait, oh, why okay. do you think that's a legitimate okay. defense of that, Mike? Are you serious? Okay. okay, okay. I mean, like, on it. This wait, is, wait, wait. This is do you realize how now. much? You, do you realize how much agency you stripped from black people in that statement? Like, well, sometimes black people just get mad and they let one slip. You know, maybe, maybe here you could be, and you know, he got <laughs> mad. Oh, wait, Are you wait, serious? So, okay. okay, so you think that? Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. So you anti-white slurs are something that you worry about a lot. What do you think of mayo? I, personally, like I think that those types of slurs are that this type of like woke dipshit nonsense. I think is stupid. I get rid of all of it. But like a community saying wait, wait, it. So you would ban so you think it's racist to say mayo? I mean, it. I mean, it. It really depends on the context of what we're talking about. If I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and they call me mayo as like an insult, then yeah, of course it is. But in terms of like having a greater impact of society or black people or some marginalized group as a whole, um, expressing some sort of oppressive this power is, on white people, yeah, then of course yeah, yeah. not. Of course not. Uh, that's that's why I call it a lib take because like. My you take is literally the academic intersectional take. Which part did you disagree with I, there? I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting to you. I'm responding to you. Because you, you think that in, a con, in the context, that context, 
which is literally a bunch of white people yelling about how it's okay to use the n-word in private no stop the context no 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 hold on hold on that's not the context the context was the context that is racist that's oppressive towards you first of all even if that was the context yeah that would be racist but no that wasn't a bunch of white people that was basically me getting ambushed by two black people that were so excited to have that conversation don't try to victimize them don't rob them of their agency they were super fucking hyped to have that conversation with me they were really excited for it don't take away all their agency and say they just devolved into calling me weird black nationalist shit as a result of like the conversation we had you're infant infant infantilizing them to an absurd extent there mike i i mean i just never thought i'd actually get someone to say that mayo is too spicy for them we're not talking about mayo we're talking he also made a homophobic slur against me as well is that okay i i'm he said my heart pumps kool-aid no 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 no, no. okay 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 hold on Uh okay hold on yeah here's here's what i'm gonna say okay if you want to talk about these conversations, mm-hmm. I recommend you bring those guys on and talk to them mano a mano. Sure, I yeah. will, but you defended uh, them in mean, the conversation against Mind Waves. Mind Waves piled on, and he took No, 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 no. You specifically, you were calling into question the idea, so I'm quoting you, at an hour and four minutes and 30 seconds, the idea that Quarantine is some kind of black nationalist, or James Cole Cash, dot, 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 and then Mind Waves cut you off. But yeah, you were defending them. Do you, know what, do, you know what a mind, do you know what a black nationalist believes? Um, I don't know. I've seen different. The what people point me most often towards like that Nation of Islam stuff. Yeah, but what is Nation of Islam? Like, what 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 does Black nationalism mean to you? Like, you're talking about whether or not he's a Black nationalist, but you don't know what the fuck Black nationalism is. Generally, no. I mean, like the only stuff I don't look much into Black nationalism. I don't think it's like a massively relevant political movement in the United States. Um, right, I know they were... which is why when someone calls you a Yakubian, there's no threat associated. There's no oppression. Mike, it doesn't no, have to be a threat, Mike. A it doesn't have. It's not a joke, Mike. As opposed to when a fascist says, "Hey," and they use these racial slurs, there's a long history. Okay, black, cool. Black so, people. do you know what the N word really was used no, for? No, I don't care about this podcast. No, no, no. Right I know now, you no, don't no, care. No, 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 no. I let's don't talk care. about what the N word is. I was don't used care, for. Mike. Was Why used do we have to what? virtue signal so hard? Your audience what? likes you, Mike. They're not going to not like you. They don't think you're racist. Don't worry, dude. We don't have to go down this road. But what's the, do you think know, it's okay? I, do you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay to just use whatever slur you want towards like a, a, a majority group then? And so, in a conversation, you can just call them whatever the fuck you want. You can just throw out like mayo side, whatever, all that shit or whatever. You can just say whatever. What the fuck is this conversation? even mean like again, i'm just curious it's, all, it's contextual okay it's so like, in the context of him saying i feel some you be an energy you in here do you think that's okay you should get, uh, in the context of people defending the idea that the n-word is okay in private conversations if african-american people or people of color get angry and call you a mayo or a yakubian i don't think they're racist Okay, that's cool. So, so if they're so having a context, conversation, they, they, sure. They so, in the context of if you're talking about like racial issues or something, and they disagree with you, then they can start calling you whatever white slurs or whatever they have. That's fine. That's the that's. The I mean, in the, in the context of you mm-hmm. of you defending the use of racial slurs of black people. Cool. Okay. And what I mean, about it's the probably it's probably a okay in that one. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Um, what about the heart pumps Kool Aid comment? Do you think that's defensible as well? Can you use homophobic language I against me? I have literally no idea what that even means. Okay. I'm gonna have but to, you do I'm know what the Yakubian energy thing means. I mean, yeah, because I, I know what black nationalism is. So, yeah, I do know what EQB. I don't know what the heart pump cool it. Guys, I'm going to have to just say I don't know what that means. Okay. Well, it's a homophobic slur, but that's okay. <clears throat> um, okay. Well, I mean. Man, when did you learn that? Um, I learned a lot of stuff from what that guy was calling me. Did you like search everything he said and be like? No, I, I didn't even know the Yakubian shit. People had to point it out to me. I don't, I don't keep up with all the, the weird fucking random shit on the internet sometimes. And you think that you think the Gusano attack, you think that's okay as well to echo quarantines? Uh, I mean, like, I'm not from like a Cuban background and I don't know enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I understand is it's not recognized as a racial slur. Really? It is used in slur like ways against certain populations. What does Gusano like, mean to a Cuban? Uh, from what I understand, mm-hmm. and you're, you're Cuban, so feel free to give me your point of view. But sure. for certain Cuban exiles, especially supporters of the old regime, uh, um, it is. It's basically a a way of calling them a reactionary, a, a conservative, basically like a scum. A worm is what it means. A scumbag. So you don't think that that might be like a little bit like racially motivated to say that like you're. But isn't that? Didn't Cubans come up with that? Like, does that matter? Used... Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, is that relevant? It, it, it does. Like, if Cubans call like if I call uh, say Trump supporters rednecks, right? Is that a racial slur? If if I do that. 
Uh, redneck is different because it usually. So isn't this implies... fair? Isn't this just? Isn't just this? Well, hold on, hold on. Red, red, redneck Cuban doesn't. Redneck? redneck doesn't. Isn't this just the Cuban redneck? I don't understand what the problem here is. No, be because redneck doesn't necessarily imply a, a race, although it can. That gets a little bit more hairy. But like there, no, could it be, does. It, it implies a white. Guy. Usually, it's so white, but white not hair. necessarily. Um, it, it can, but not. But 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 yeah, we could argue that it is a slur. Sure, I don't know how that's relevant to this though. But like Gusano is literally because somebody like for in my instance because I have Cuban ancestry, people feel like they can call me a Gusano as a way to attack me. Okay, okay I feel okay, a little bit racist, okay. maybe. Okay, so so here let me ask you the question: Is the is the is the is the insult intended to be targeting you, your national origin, or is it intended to attack your class position, call, sort of like calling you a rich fuck? Well, I mean, it wouldn't really make sense to call me a Gusano if all of my background was from Europe. So yeah, it's pretty nationally oriented. So okay, so it's nationally oriented, but it's uh, okay. So it has partially a national origin, but par but I've, I've, some people are telling me, and I don't know. Again, like I'm not the per person to talk about this. Then why do you defend it? Why would you joke about making? Because no, 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 no. Hold on. This is crucial. Okay. This is the this is the dance that Mike does. Okay. You'll sit here and and you'll you'll be a little gusano here and you'll say, well, I wouldn't defend this. Well, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Me, I, so if I but a few you, but a few, right weeks, ago, a few you, weeks ago, a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, you're joking slur. about how I'm gonna make a worm emote for my chat. So why do you feel no, no, confident? No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. That's yeah. fine. Well, let's go. Let's go back to it. Well, it's fine. Sure. So, so why do you feel confident enough to make to make an emote about it? But now you're gonna tell me here personally. Well, I don't really know enough about it. I'm, I'm confident enough that it's not recognized as a racial slur by any authority. What does an authority mean? We, we need an authority to recognize a, a, like a racial slur? I'm sorry, wait. What is the authority that recognizes the F slur word as a racial slur? Like, what does that mean? Well, these there's... Okay, so there are groups that support LGBT rights. And we also know the history of the F slur. I think that's what you're talking about, right? And it's been used to oppress LGBT people. Now you're arguing that Gusano has been used to oppress Cubans, Cubans people of. It Cuban doesn't ancestry. need to be oppressive for an individual to interpret something as a racist attack. Much the same way that if I call an individual. Well, I mean, you could interpret something as a racist attack. That's a far cry for saying that the word itself is a racial slur. We're on you know, levels of semantics that Jordan Peterson could only this dream is not, of right is, now. Is, that he could only dream of. Semantics. This is not semantics. You're making a claim that something is a, in and of itself a racial slur, and we should recognize it as a racist. Well, attack. nothing in and of and itself is a. Nuance. I don't know. Hold on. Th don't don't ascribe to me such stupid descriptive language beliefs to me. Nothing in and of itself is a racial slur. Even even the N word, I wouldn't say. All of these things are exist inside a greater cultural context. So, for instance, if somebody calls somebody that's like, a, so a, show me the context where Gusano is a racial slur. Sure. If I say this is my stance on, say, some country in Latin America, and somebody says, huh, of course you'd think that, you gusano. Like, we've heard, like, what your mom says and shit about, like, coming from Cuban shit. That's, okay, fuck. Like, I'm literally getting attacked because of my fucking ancestry. How is that not a racial slur? Um, I mean, I, I guess it would depend. Like, a lot of Cuban exiles are people that are conservative right-wingers who praise Batista, who support Donald Trump. Wait, who are why right do you think a lot of them are right-wingers? Because the Cuban population is like very right wing. Why? Because they're the people that were dis that, that got their slaves taken away, and they're mad about it. Wrong. <laughs> the reason we, we why a wrong. lot of Cubans are right wing is because the United States abandoned them during the fucking Bay of Pigs. The United States turned its fucking back on a lot of the Cuban fucking people during that invasion. Like, a lot of Cubans have a, a lot of bad sentiment against political parties in the United States as a result of that. That's one of the so reasons why wait, Cubans so are one of the is, only people that have, like, a uh, hard right lean is because right of wing, that. Right, right wing, so right-wing exiles who fled the government, fled Cuba when the revolution won and who got the support of the superpower tried to do an invasion and then they had no popular mandate and then the superpower didn't come in with big troops because they were scared about the other superpower brushing them back. And the Bay of Pigs invasion failed because it had no popular support. That's why Cubans in America are hard right. I don't understand what your what is your point. I'm explaining the Bay of Pigs to you. I don't know if you know it, but I'm explaining to you the Bay of Pigs and what happened. What, what does this have to do with an individual Cuban's feelings about the United States when they feel like they were abandoned, like during that invasion? 
The Bay of Pigs invasion was a U.S. puppet move to try to overthrow the legitimate government of Cuba. Whatever you feel about it, they had the popular support. And the United States tried to set up an exile invasion, and they do, failed utterly. Do you realize? So, do, do you realize that by characterizing some Cuban people as being wealthy landowners or whatever, that you're, you're essentially trying to say, like, well, it's okay to use this racial slur against them because, like, some people were involved. But it's in not a racial slur. It's based on political views. It's based on class. It's not based. I'm sorry. Nobody knows the political view of my mom or me. They just know that she's Cuban. All right. Well, I mean, if they're dumb, you could say, hey, that doesn't apply to me. I actually support the Castro regime or whatever. So if I call a black person lazy because I think most blacks are lazy, is that OK? Because statistically, I can probably find just due to class would, position okay, or whatever. That is that OK? Racial, that would be a racial attack based on their skin. So, color, so, right? so calling so, so calling somebody a gusano based on their Cuban ancestry when you don't know any of their family's class position or anything, that's OK? I mean... I just think that's a dick thing to do. I don't. Why can't you just take a real do. position on this? Why? Why are you? But so it's not scared? a racist slur. This is this is what you don't understand. I've, I the position you have failed why, to demonstrate. Why, why? Okay, so my demonstration is that it's based on your ancestry. And by the way, it's not racist. Cuban is not a race. It it is a national origin. You could say it's biased against a national origin, which is also not permitted. Okay, cool. So we agree that Trump's not racist because he's only race. You're making Republican arguments. You understand that, right? Mexico's not a race. M Muslims aren't a race. That's just that, like that's a that's a nation. Mexicans not a race. That's a nation, and Muslims is a religion. So you agree then Trump's not racist, right? You're literally like spoon feeding me Republican arguments right now. It's unbelievable. Okay, first of all, oh, Jesus. I mean, do you not understand the distinction? I mean, it's I understand the distinction. If somebody attacks me but over my is, national Trump, heritage, okay. and then Trump to pretend is, that like okay, why Trump is racist mm -hmm. is not just based off of his Islamophobia, which is biased. Yeah, bias what has Trump done religion? that's racist? Go ahead. Wait, wait, do you think that Trump wanting to ban Muslims is because of racism? Like he wants, he's no, anti No, dude, Muslim, people, that's he's Islam. Anti, he's no. Anti the religion of Islam. Yeah, Islam, that's just a religion. So he's it's not, the religion. if he wants mm -hmm. to, if he wants to, so like you're getting, you're flipping out about a semantic argument, which I mean, Trump no. isn't, is, is a racist. Wait, how is he Islam racist? What has Trump done? Bigot. What has Trump done that's actually racist? Uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, while he was a, a landlord in New York, he was cited by the Department of Justice twice. Oh, hold on. Okay, hold on, dude. That, 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 shut, 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 shut. All right, don't, uh, don't do that. Um, okay, when he was a landlord in New York, he was cited by the Department of Justice twice for not renting to black people in his apartments with his How father. long ago was in this? Fact, this was in the 70s. And the okay, 80s. don't. This then, is 50 years then, ago. During his presidency, no, no, has no, no, Trump... No, 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 I'm going... I mean, there's a long list of behaviors. Well, no, no, I'm curious. Okay, get, start, start with his That's presidency. That's why we know he's racist. Start and with the presidency. Also, start with the presidency. Oh sure, there's a whole bunch of stuff. The yeah, what's he done? Families. Wait, wait, when? Did, wait, wait, wait. On, when did he separate? Which national, families? Which families did he separate? He separated uh, Latin Latin people, Hispanic people, Hispa not just no. Mexicans. Not it was, just it was it was it illegal was immigrants. He didn't, no, no, it was illegal immigrants. That's not racist at all, Mike. So what's the next one you have? Next example. He he said a judge mm -hmm. couldn't be couldn't be a fair. Fair judge. I think that why might not? Have been during the campaign. Wait, why not? Because, I'm very familiar with this case. He was a, because he was Latin. No, it was because his parents were Mexican. That's a nation. So try That's again. This, what's the next uh, one? Okay, but, uh, dude, literally, literally. <laughs> yeah, what's you're, the next you're, one? You're 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 sli you're slicing hairs. I'm but not slicing hairs. I've already I've already Mike. given you examples of him being explicitly racist. Yeah, in For the seventies. No, no, no. In the nine, I think in the two thousands. He, uh, uh, a former president of the Trump, uh, Trump Taj Mahal came out and said that when mobsters went to play on the casino floor, mm -hmm. Trump would say, get all the black people off of all the black dealers and, and uh, roulette wheel, uh, I can't remember, what, croupiers or whatever it's called, off the floor because they didn't want black people there. He also said he didn't like to see black people counting his money. All those type of shit. He's been, he's been stuffed. He's been caught saying racist shit his entire fucking life. And he's also done it personally. <clears throat> that's why we don't I want to know as this. president if he's done anything racist or not you're saying that as president he hasn't there's just this collection of stories from earlier when he ran businesses well and, and by the way mm -hmm. by the way he's motivated by racial animus how do you know he talks about shithole countries shithole countries he's those are literally nations about, no no those are nations Mike try again he's talking about he's talking about the racial dynamics he's talking about no heredity. he's not 
No, he he's not. Wait, 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 wait. In what quote? Time. Mike, I'm f I am super wait, familiar. Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. So, I have a question for you. I have yeah. a question for you. I'm super familiar with every example you bring up, by the way. That's why I think it's really funny that you're bringing these up. He, he doesn't mention race. It's usually done in the context of nations. When That's Mexico why, sends okay, immigrants, but, they're not okay, sending their best. Okay, that okay, judge okay, that yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah. about, it's because he's of Mexican descent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. And the shithole countries didn't mention any race. Let me ask you a question. Yeah, go for it, Mike. Do you think this is racist? What? Just like what, what? All these examples. Yeah, of course, obviously. Yeah, of course. Of course, but why are they racist? Because it's clear that he's using Mexican or Muslim or shithole countries as a placeholder for basically non-white people. That's exactly right. So you have to establish. So why is this? This isn't relevant to the Gusano conversation. It is because when somebody calls me a because Gusano, a they're person. doing it because of my Cuban ancestry, not because I. They, because no, I. No, they're not. Really? No, they're not. They're. Well, I mean, yeah. Like, okay, Why are they so doing it then? Is, do, do people okay. know that so my who, family who, were slave owners in Cuba, Mike? I take your. Oh, hold on. Am I losing you? I think you broke up. Oh no. Hello. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. sorry. So, do people okay. know that my family were slave owners in Cuba? That they own land, or that they were like fucked up? Well, they by might. The... They might interpret that from your right wing views on. Really. Something. Okay. So, cool. So I might interpret somebody's views on like their black parents or something based on how they act. That's okay for me to do that. You realize you're giving a justification for a racial but, but, slur right now. Okay, 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 okay. So let me, let me. Why can't you just understand. call it a racial slur? Me, Why are you so married to it? Yeah. I'm not married to it. I'm just trying to understand how you formulate racial slurs. Because somebody's attacking me over my country of ancestry. That's it. So, There's no okay, merit. Just to... Okay, so just country of ancestry is racist. Yeah, I would say in this case, yeah, for sure. Okay. It's, and it's racist. So if, if a Mexican, say, called you a gusano, would that be racist? Depending on the context, if they were saying that like I was the only reason I had my political views was because I was a gusano. If I another Cuban, family, Cuban yeah. called you a gusano, would that be racist? Sure. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So that's really interesting that you you have that position. So, okay. Wait, hold on. So if a, if a person, black person called another black person the n word with the hard r, is that racist or yeah. no? I mean, I think it's pretty. So, what what's the mechanism by which you're saying that's racist? So, one black you person. Could say, you could, maybe you could say it's like colorist, but that's not really. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, let's make this real easy for you. Ben Carson, okay, our wonderful mm -hmm. housing and urban development guy, okay, comes on stage mm -hmm. and he's like, you know what? These black N words that are ruining Section Eight, I hate them all. Would that be racist? That black guy saying the N word there, or is that not racist there? Or would you call that colorist? Or if Candace Owens came out on stage and said, I'm tired of all these lazy N-words ruining the, the, the black population in the United States. Is that racist or just colorist? Or if Jesse Lee Peterson called Obama the N-word, is that racist or just colorist? I mean, like, I think they're they're feeding into a white audience and they're feeding back racist tropes into a, for a white audience. So when somebody calls clear, me a gusano that's online, that's who's reading this? Do you think it's a majority Cuban population that's posting in your subreddits no, no, or no, your but chat? This, this, but here's what's interesting about it is there is no history of of oppression against groups based on this. Why does the history really of oppression not. have because to be a requirement context, for something to be like context, a slur to somebody? The context in history matters. Okay. Well, like, I, I disagree, see, I and I mean, I, I don't think that... What do you mean? What do you mean you disagree? I don't think that I need to have oppression against me or a, a, a history of oppression against me for somebody to, like, call me a slur based on my ancestry and say, well, it's okay because there's not, like... This is this is your brain on, 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 I don't know, class reductionism? I don't know what this would be, but this is an insane level of class analysis that totally misses how an individual interprets an action against it. It's literally... I mean, like, the, the, the word itself was used to describe a, a reactionaries opponents of the of the regime okay that's the history of it what if it a bunch of white what if white people slur by by white people to identify and target cubans within our society to racially oppress them Okay, so since Cubans have so faced, what, since so Cubans have it, faced no oppression, more or less, I would say, in American society directly, whatever, we can say broadly Hispanic, does that mean that any racial slur somebody can invent about Cubans they could use against any Cuban because they don't really experience oppression? No, but you're saying this specific word that was used in the context of calling you a right winger and a reactionary is a racial slur. Yes. That's nonsense. Why? It literally nonsense targets matters. my ancestry. No, it's targeting your political views. No, my political views would be right wing. Absolutely, my political is. views would be conservative or whatever dumb shit you guys claim my political views are. When you say you are a, P you have a bad views because you're from Actually, Cuba. I think this was, that, by the way, this is about. I think this is about mind waves. Who isn't even Cuban? So you're saying that. So okay, Wait, what? No, so this, this is, is about. Part. No, no, this is this about. This is hilarious part. You're bringing up Cormantine using Gusano 
to describe mon mind waves and saying that it's a racial slur against Cubans. Is mind waves Cuban? Mind waves is not Cuban. But we're talking about the defense. Oh, of so it's not a racial slur because he was using it against mind waves, calling him a fucking reactionary worm. Do you For think some that, reason, I thought he was using that, it against you, you in think, which case there may be more problematic elements, and I was trying to listen to you in good faith. But in actuality, now I remember, no, he was actually talking to describe a white dude. So no, it wasn't a racial slur, because he's talking about a fucking white dude. So if I describe another white dude using the N-word, is that okay? No, because of the context of the N word. What do you mean the context? Actual... The context of the Gusano word is that it's a used, it's a word used to attack Cubans for their ancestry in Cuba, saying that you're only having this position because of uh, of your family do you heritage. You actually have whatever. a single, a single citation that's not like a. Sure, like a here we can read this together if you want. Blog. This is from LatinRebels.com, and and, I've, and there are other sources <laughs> as well that we can talk I about. I knew you were gonna use this. This is not who the fuck is Latin Rebels. Who the fuck is this guy? This is ridiculous. This is some guy cr complaining. It is insane to me. The only people, right the only people that have ever like clamored this fucking. It's funny because like you make fun of me for my my stance on private language, but you're trying so fucking hard right now to hold on to a slur that has to do with my ancestry. Do you have any idea how fucking disgusting that is? On, no, no, no. You are trying so fucking hard to make this work, and then you'll make fun of me for having what that because I say things like, because I say private jokes. Like you're trying so hard to hold on to this, and you can't just say like, yeah, you know, maybe we probably do shouldn't use. From, do you have any? Anything from, say, the Southern Poverty Law Center? Do you have anything from so from somewhere that's like that deals with racial prejudice that you could come out and say, hey, Mike, this is an example of how it's being used racially, like in any kind of structural way where I could go, OK, you know what? I feel free to have my mind changed on this one. I'm not married to this and I don't use it. Okay. But like you're saying I, so that it was you. I'm going to I'm going to go through I'm going to go through the Southern Poverty Law Center later and any insult that I find cuz I know a lot of transphobic insults as long as it's not on that website then I'm all clear to use them. That's what you're saying? That's literally not what I'm saying. That's literally saying, what you just said. You're saying a person saying that somebody is a worm because he does have ca Caribbean heritage. Cormentine does. So when he so he has the context that he was using it in the political fashion to a non Cuban. That's just because he so, so wait, is so, that racist? So can That's I wait, wait. So can I call other people gusanos then because I'm Cuban? Is that how that works? It's okay then? I mean it's not a racial slur, so have at it, Haas. Okay. Do you have anything <laughs> else you want to talk about? I mean like I, I Oh, the only people that have I ever defended this no, is, no, no, is the only people that have ever attacked me over my Cuban heritage. It's never been conservatives and it's never been liberals. It's only okay, been it's only Fredo? it's only what's been it's Fredo? only been well, Nicholas Fuentes did it to me in a debate, and then you people on the on the Nicholas lefties. Nicholas Fuentes called you a gusano? No, but he made fun of me for having a Cuban ancestry. Only him. Oh, he's, well, he's and, a fucking Only scumbag, him right? and people. On, yeah, but I mean, hey, look who the company you're keeping is, right? Only him oh, okay, and then well, people on the, the extreme left have done Why this to me. Why are you trying to horse actually? It's I'm not trying to horse shoot theory anything that's just my personal experience i have never dude i am the whitest motherfucker i've known i've never even thought about my race before the only people that have ever attacked me over my ancestry are nick fuentes and then the lefties online and you're sitting here well, defending it that thing, actually no, blows no, but, my fucking mind he didn't call you that so here's the thing this is uh, by the way dude like if you could if you can inform us that this actually has a racial history. I already have people. Happy, wait, people know it does. That's do that. why it's used. That's why people call me or call other people a gusano. Of course it does because it's effective because it because it shows that oh look like we know that he's bad because he probably comes from a rich family in Cuba, which by the way nobody fucking knows. I mean, I I mean you're you're free to talk about your family history or not all you want, and I I don't think you have the obligation to do that. Um, but this is a this is a a term a pejorative. For people of a certain class and political position. No, not, it's not. That's what it was created to do. It doesn't ma matter. And, and fine. And people use the N-word to describe slaves. So we should be able to call normal black people the N-word because they're not slaves anymore, No, Mike? no, no. Because the context of the N-word, and this is something you didn't want to talk about earlier, but I'm happy to do it now. It was used to enforce Jim Crow and the subservient position of black people within society. It's an implicit threat. If a white person says to a black person the N-word, what they're saying to them is... 
it, you are I, stepping you outside are of so, your social position. You are and if you so, don't go back in line, we can kill you. That's what lynching well, was for. All right, man. This is why I That's do what, what I do. Is and this That's is why, why you think this it's okay why, to use it this is because why, you don't know what the N-word sure, history is. This is why you will only ever preach to the choir, okay? You are so <laughs> fucking lost for how normal people think about anything. Like this absurd. Like what? I can describe what systemic racism is and, and what racism meaning power plus oppression or whatever. Like I can, I can explain these terms. But when you're going to sit here and talk to me as a Cuban and tell me why I shouldn't be offended when people make an assumption about my ancestry based on my mom's fucking Who national origin. Who called you it? Who Every called you fucking it? Hassan's fucking fan base does it all the fucking time. Your chat has done it all the fucking time. You joke about putting a fucking warm emote. Quarantine called it to me and other people called me as well. Like, I, like people do this because it's like when? a fucking meme. When did he do that? I'm pretty when sure it was in one of the clips. I'd have to bring it up. That's not part of the things that I fucking documented on this. Okay. Okay. Listen. I know, I know but you're like, fired up here. You're like, I'm, you're not, fired no, up, I'm not fired up. Call. Mike, you're yes, the you one are. that looks bad in these conversations. I don't think you understand that. I don't come out <laughs> looking bad here. You're the one that's been, lo Alpha Mike has been losing his shit, backpedaling like Peterson, like so I fucking hard. I have backpedaled on a single fucking The thing. whole I conversation, listened. listening okay, to you on. try to oh, squirm yeah. out of saying like, well, I might have said that other people said that he was sexist, but I didn't say that I did. Do you understand? I literally didn't say he was sexist. I know that exactly. And we were, you were proven wrong. You're doing the Peterson. I was I not though, Mike. You're doing the Peterson dance right now. Well, I didn't explicitly say it, so I think it's okay. <laughs> okay. Ask like, okay. look at your chat. Like, I just controlled left Gusano. It's there 22 fucking times in your chat. But of course, that's not your fault. That's not your community. That's not your problem. But that's not going to keep you from screaming about mind but waves it's community. It's not a racial slur. I okay. mean, it hasn't been established. Okay. What, what would I, and I, and in order to establish that, I need to write a letter to the Southern Poverty Law Center to get him at, to get it added to the website. I mean, listen. That's that was uh, your qualification earlier. That was the bar that you no, said. No, no, I, I gave you, I gave you an example. Like, hey, do you have any context where it actually is being used to oppress Cuban Americans in any way? That can you show me the racialized history of it? And then, in that case, I would be happy to listen to your critique because, because guess what? I'm I'm okay with changing for a friend. You know, if a friend came to me, you've come to me and said, Mike. Stop using Gusano because it hurts my feelings, and I and I hear you. I like how you try to position. And I wish. This. Wait a minute. I, I like how you try to position. The same. <laughs> I wish you had extended the same courtesy to your friend Trihex when he said to you, "Hey, Destiny, you defending the use of the N word is hurting me." You don't understand and the difference. I wish you don't you had understand. Done the same. Now I'm listening virtue to you. Virtue signal hard. Talk virtue, about the Gusano. This is not virtue harder. signaling. Your virtue this is me signaling talking so to you as hard. a human being. Your virtue this signaling. Is me Mike. talking to you as a human. Being, my dude. Mike, me and talking saying, to you as a human being is me saying, hey, your chat calling me a gusano is pretty shitty. I have never in my life said that my chat should be publicly using any racial slurs towards black people, ever. <laughs> the fact that you would draw that comparison, that my stance on jokes I think are, are appropriate in private are different than those are in public is the same as you publicly saying it's okay to call me a gusano is fucking hilarious. I have never seen anybody virtue signal for social credit harder than you. It is Embarrassing in this conversation. Christ, you couldn't remember a podcast where you were on with two fucking women and and also no, a no, trans remember, woman earlier, and you were trying to say that you've never even seen. News. It. You I thought, thought it was a different. Podcast. Oh, really? Okay, my. So you clearly okay. don't give a fuck about any of this. It's all just a game, which is funny because you even told Mindwave several times that you didn't care about your brand or you didn't care about any of that I don't shit. Care but about you sit my here brand. and scream and and, and and kick up a huge commotion when you think you're making a good point, and I'm literally and you're literally what trying to sit here. You're sitting here and you're trying to bringing up this. You're bringing this up because you're trying to signal that there's hypocrisy here with Cormantine. There's sure. Well, yeah, I think there's a lot of strange stories. behavior the that they've engaged time, in that you seem to not care at all. He's using the N-word. He's yelling at me for the you and the N-word, but he's actually using a racist slur himself. What a hypocrite. We well, can who's ignore yelling he's at saying. who for using the N-word? What? Well, he was mad at you because you, you, you admit to using the N-word. In private. In private. You use the N-word in private, and he was saying that that's just as harmful, and he gave you studies where it showed He didn't give how. me a single study. That uneducated yes, dipshit has never read a study in his fucking life. And yes, he can come he back on my stream anytime he wants to to go over any wait, of those wait, wait, studies. Wait, you don't think, you don't think yep. there's any studies showing that, that white people using racial slurs among themselves causes like reinforcement? It's possible there are, but he didn't bring a single one up. And if he, he brought ever, studies. He didn't. I looked at he every study. I looked, at, I, looked at, I, looked at, I looked at every study that he cited to me 
Not only did he not even know the terminology used for the studies, but they did not support the argument that he was making. If he ever wants to come back to my stream and have that conversation with me, spoiler alert, he won't because he's a fucking uneducated coward, okay? But if he wants to come to my stream and have that conversation with me, he's welcome to any time of the day. But he okay, won't. All, he None of those studies. books. He's the only one who did. He didn't he's bring me studies. Did. We read those studies on stream, Mike. One of the studies had to do with describing a black person's, uh, describing a black person's, uh, um, uh, how he performed during a debate and using a racial slur to describe him. This was a far cry from engaging in racial humor. It was way different. And then the other studies he had had to do with You're parents. You're making a distinction that may or may not have a, a controlling effect because you want to stick so closely to the defense of what you're doing because ultimately Mike, you know if you don't you're understand exposed. how social sciences work maybe it's better that you just I do not know talk how about social them. sciences work then you should know that are are they are do you actually have a distinction here that, it, that you have confirmed as as significant they're talking about the use of racial slurs to describe people. Which we is can what you're bring doing in your private any humor. social science person from your chat on. If they want to come on, somebody with at least just an undergrad is all I ask. And they want to tell me, you know what, Destiny? <laughs> I think that a study where somebody characterizes somebody debate performance using a racial slur, that probably is about the same as whether or not people use racial slurs in private as part of humorous jokes. If you want to bring on a social scientist that's going to back that position up, I would be fucking astounded, Mike. What instead what they would tell you is, well, you know. Wait, so, you, so out of the only studies you'll accept, Except, let me get this straight is if it per if it it's it's directly on point yeah that's how studies work mike direct it has to say using racial slurs between white people is is that's the so you went from he brought no studies to well we looked at the study and i think that there's enough if of a you go back and you look at the clip it. what i said is he didn't bring <laughs> studies supporting his argument mike go back and listen to the clip if you want <laughs> That's not what you said. You said he didn't bring any studies and uneducated. I said he didn't obviously, bring any studies that supported his the, argument. The, the, the no college degree could tell the black PhD student that he, he is he, a He's educated. a PhD student? Yeah, he has a master's already, I believe. <laughs> he so has like, a okay. master's and he doesn't know what a confederate is in a fucking study mic? Bullshit. That guy does not have a fucking master's. You didn't master's. know what a confederate Absolutely. was. I didn't, but that's because I'm a college dropout, Mike. But at least I'm honest about my background. I don't come on here with a bunch of books that other fucking undergrads have read with bookmarks in them and throw a million fucking books at somebody and tell them to read anybody. I'm incredibly honest about my background. I don't lie about what I do. Like saying I'm a lawyer, for instance, when I'm actually not. Okay? I, I don't lie that. about... You well, did. That's no, why you got kicked out of that election, Mike. It's because you no, lied about being a lawyer. Yes, you did. <laughs> okay, well, this, this is another thing. Sure, we don't have to go into it. That's is, fine. No, we don't no, we have should, to. We should. We okay, should. Sure, go for it, Mike. Just because, because you've made this accusation before. Go for so it. It's very easy to clear up. Okay, go for it. When I was recruited to run by the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. they put it on my petitions in the professions section. At no point did I claim it, which is why I won at the Commonwealth Court, because it was never used. I never claimed to be a barred attorney ever in my life. And then the Republican Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, a partisan's court, threw me off the ballot. And guess what? The Democrats of my district were so outraged, they wrote me on, and I won Okay, please, 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 be, be, fuck, shut up. Um, sorry about that. So they threw, the, I lost the, the Supreme Court case because they wanted to throw me off. I got written back on because it was all bullshit. And you know what? Those Supreme Court judges who voted to throw me off, they lost their jobs. They had to resign in disgrace because they were making N-word jokes and racist jokes What does that private. have to do with your And it case? came out, it came what out that they were using do? racist jokes in private and they had to resign their Supreme Court seats. And ultimately, that was so good because the Democrats won three Supreme Court seats in Pennsylvania. And so what goes around comes around, motherfucker. So guess what? I never claimed it. None of and that no one ever said that relation. I claimed it. No one ever, no one ever said that I claimed it. And I've never claimed it on stream. Simon, you know that was a mistake a staffer made. Simon's many camp years ago. accused Bayer of lying about his profession. Yeah, you it was never, on the profession sections of the petition, dumbass. That's oh, what it was. Okay. It was a very technical argument oh, that a staffer okay. made a mistake. Oh, okay. A staffer made a mistake when I was recruited to run in the Democratic Party. Okay, that's all it was. And you know, I've never claimed to be a lawyer because if if I did, the clip would be everywhere. But I never did because I don't care about that shit. Sure. I don't want to practice law. Why did you go to I'm law school then? Well, this is actually very common. I know a lot of you guys never went to law school, but actually mm -hmm. many most people who go to law school end up using their JD and they go in other areas. They do other things. They go into policy, they go into politics, which is the which was the path that I ultimately took. And it, and frankly, I'm very happy that I did that. You know what? Someone made a mistake. 
it, uh, in my campaign. It was an all volunteer campaign at that point. So it's hard for me to get all that mad about it. But it is and pretty said, well, rich you... when somebody will try to use it to attack my credibility and you use literal lawyer... Republican legal arguments that ultimately didn't matter because the Democrats of my district wanted me on the ballot anyway. Okay, so can we watch this clip? Can we watch this clip? It's 60 seconds long. Oh, which clip of what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. And Three, then we talked about two, the specific one, argument. Go. Oh my and they said, well, you can Jesus put Christ. lawyer in there because lawyer just means somebody who's engaged in the study. Yeah, okay. So this specific context, I already know what we listen. The law and traditional and they said, well, you can put lawyer in there because lawyer just means somebody who's engaged in the study or practice of law, who's learned in the law. And traditionally, people with JDs are considered to be lawyers, but they're not attorneys because they are not members of the bar. So because I had just spent the previous uh, section of my life in there, I went along with it stupidly. And honestly, um, technically, if you go by the dictionary definition, that's what lawyer means. And so when I was sued by the Republicans to try to get me thrown off the ballot on this profession section subsection. I won my case. Um, and then they appealed it. And then the appeals court, I won again. I only lost when they appealed it a third time to the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, which at the time had a majority Republican Supreme Court. And those Republican judges wanted to bounce out, frankly, a Democrat. And they did. So it doesn't sound like it ended up there on, as part no, no, no. of a clerical error. It sounded like you agreed with it because, well, technically, Juris Doctorate means lawyer. No, 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 so no, no, which no, no. one oh is it, God. Mark? It's both. Here's what happened. Do, okay. okay, I'll explain to you how it works to get on the ballot in Pennsylvania. Sure. Which is not very, depending upon your, your whatever office you're running for, you have to get a certain number of sig signatures. And on and there are all these technical retirements on, on how the signatures are. They have to be of people that live in your district that are registered with your party. Mm-hmm. And there is all these inf there's a short informational section that's on the top. And so we had already collected all the signatures and we went to the uh, Democratic Party headquarters in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, because we were turning in the petition signatures so we could be on the ballot for the primary. That's what you get petition signatures for so that you could appear on the ballot for the primary election. And I looked at this um section and i said you know i'm not a barred attorney and i'm concerned about this i went and talked to the democratic party attorney his name is adam bonin he has a twitter thing so you can go ask him about it mm -hmm. and he said you know what mike this is not a problem this is what lawyer means and i don't think it and no one has ever had their petitions challenged for the profession section so don't worry about it but there was nothing i could do at that point so i turned to my petitions and ultimately they sued the republicans funded a legal challenge against me because they that's how the way they roll they want to have an uncontested election okay. right and then ultimately the commonwealth court of pennsylvania which he heard their thing agreed with my position i don't know why you're going to go through they won the third appeal you can just say that you don't have to run yeah, through the whole story but, the, but, the point but what is, you're they, describing they is a far cry appeal. what you're describing is a far cry that's exactly it's a clerical they they made the mistake and then i was concerned about it and i asked an attorney about it and he gave me a position so that's exactly the context that's the incomplete context mm -hmm. now if you okay. actually believe that i go around calling myself a lawyer at this point you're just being a fucking troll sure. and okay. you're lying about me, which is which, you know, it is what it is. Attacking credibility is part of the game. Sometimes I don't like to do it, but if other people do it because they don't want to do debate, that's fine. And it's ultimately it's an annoy. And, and you know what? Mm -hmm. When you are when you're advancing these Republican talking points and they could and they were happy they had that talking point because they could use it against me and say I was dishonest. Right. And that's a great thing to be able to say about someone. But ultimately, that's the full context. And there was not a single voter who said I claimed to be a barred attorney. There was not a single witness. They had no one saying that I ever did that. All they had was a subsection on a form that somebody else filled out for me. And then ultimately, they fucked up. And I, I'm ultimately responsible because I'm the candidate. So I bore the brunt of the mistake. That's on me. But ultimately, like, if you actually think that I'm going around making claims... That's ridiculous. And ultimately, it's bad faith. It's bad faith. And it sounds like it would have been a great this, this sounds like it would have been a great explanation on. to give before being pushed on what actually happened instead of saying it was just a staffer. 
Sounds like this would have been a really, but I mean, I guess that's kind of the nature of what we do here, right? Is we say one thing. I mean, do you want me to go? I mean, you harder, guys call me Gish Gallup find... Mike, and then you want me to you want me to be quiet, quick, and then when I'm quick, you want to try to get me, and then it, it none of this, all this I'm fits trying to together. Get you. I just want you to. I just wish you could answer a question. Like it's really, really hard, and I notice this for a lot of people on the left because you you play this. And by weird the way, game. I never took the bar. Just in case anybody was Will you try to cater? Yeah, you're trying really it. hard to both cater to your extreme leftist audience while not sounding like a batshit lunatic when you talk to somebody like me. And I understand the difficultness of it. It's just really frustrating what? for me that like after all of these conversations, I know you're well, gonna run back can, and uh, do you I know you have clips. I know, do you have actual I know, clips of me doing that? Like yeah, so like this. So like, I, I guarantee you that within the next month, and may, you know what, man, if I'm wrong, dude, I will eat these fucking words. I hope I'm wrong, but I guarantee you that in the next month, you're going to make some comments about how all cops are part of an unjust system, and all cops uphold this racial hierarchy, and all cops are pieces of shit I that should that put their jobs. I said that tonight. I didn't say that they were personally, individually racist. If there's a distinction that that matters. It does. It is. It's crazy to me how much nuance you're willing to drill out here to carve. Because this I have nuanced hole. positions, and it's difficult. Because reality is complicated. What do you want from me? But man? your response to mind waves when he makes these same arguments. Well, that sucks, man. Everyone's always gonna criticize you, man. That's just how it goes. Like, you're, what are you gonna do, man? LOL. Like, no, 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 no. I said if a content creator, I think I believe I said this, in this and if I didn't, uh, this is an oversight. I believe I said, hey, if another content creator calls you sexist. Contact the, contact them directly and be like, hey, this is not cool. If somebody's community, why is would you wait? You, why would you contact them directly when they're making these accusations publicly? Okay, I mean, like, uh, okay, so here's here's the way I'm operating, and Steve, you might have a different way of operating. Is largely on the left. I believe that we should help one another and show solidarity for one another and have each other's backs when we can. And so when one person on that on the left and i'm not the gatekeeper i'm not the person saying who is and is and isn't on the left says something about another content creator like for example x is sexist first of all i think doing that publicly is a dick move but you know what that's not the end of the conversation especially if there's merit to it so if they go to so if someone says mind waves his podcast is sexist only has white dudes he should approach them and be like hey i heard you said about this said this about me and it's and they should have a dialogue and if at the dialogue, Mind Waves feels like it's fucking bad faith, he should go out there and say, hey, this person's being bad faith against me. Here's what we said. And you know what? I know this concept of solidarity and friendship can be alien to some people. But this is the way I want to operate. You then know? why wouldn't you be, see. if that's the way you are, then why wouldn't you be less hostile to Mind Waves? Because he's a scab. How was he a scab? Because he broke trust. Because he broke trust. Why would you pretend? I, you, no, no, I don't like him. So why not just open with that? Why would you pretend to have this? First of all, you're lying right now. Because you knew going into that conversation he was a scab. If we're using this definition of scab. So why would you mm -hmm. entertain a whole conversation about him being sexist if you never plan on doing anything? Why, no, would, no, you, why, would, why no. would you say to him, like, oh, no, 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 oh no, no, like, okay, I'll give you a list question. of female content question. creators that you can invite on. This why is, would you even this, do this that? Is good, this is a good question. And honestly... uh. When I went to the conversation, I expected him to not apologize. And so I could write him off. I expected him not to admit that he admit fault. And I was actually surprised what he did so. Um, so I should have I should have been surprised that, that's, that he might do but that. But you're that still saying he's a scab. Move on my part. No, no, no. I know. I know. And... Just because he apologized doesn't mean the offense is wiped away in this case. Because what is does really he have to one. do? Like, I'm never going to trust him in a private conversation. That, we're not talking about whether you can trust him in a private yeah, no, conversation. No, no, no. Then why? Then why what? are you bringing it up? We're talking about no, him no, being no. sexist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is related because I'm a human being and I remember the offenses that one person commits against me. Jesus Christ! Forget, what a stupid, right? what a mind-numbingly stupid fucking argument. Because somebody it's not leaked, it is. Stupid, this is. You're saying because somebody leaked DMs, there's a good chance that they're sexist. No, 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 no. You're asking me what happened, and I'm telling you. So I went in the conversation. I was surprised. Then other people brought these concerns up to me. Other I, people? I asked, like who? Yeah. Like uh, Bad Bunny uh, is the no, no, only no, one Nicole. that's levied not a claim. Nicole. That it is the Nicole. only one. Okay, if you go to my chat, go read my chat from that night. You'll see plenty of content creators that were Yeah, people that had. dick ride your stupid little support club? Who the, I don't give a fuck about any what of is them. The okay, by the way, what's the support club? It's when Can you, you guys all run off and you have your little fucking conversations on stream that I get clipped over and over again where all four of you are fucking hanging out in your little chats talking about where fucking Why Izzy is and Alabral and Ben. I don't know, because every time club? we have a conversation, you guys all have to run off and fucking huddle with each other. Ben and the Surf did it. I've seen you do it with a couple people. I've seen um, Alabral do it with a few people. collaborating, <laughs> 
I'm sure you are. It's a very collaborative well, process. Apparently, well, the on, trauma that I inflict on you requires a lot of collaboration I mean, to overcome. Do I seem, do I seem traumatized? Well, here's you the seem okay. pretty traumatized right now, Mark. <laughs> You can give the little joker laugh all you want, but if we're going to pretend that you weren't uncomfortable <laughs> as fuck in a lot of this conversation, there's only a few oh. hundred people that you're fooling here, or however many hundreds of viewers you have right now, because nobody on this side is falling for it, okay? Okay, listen, I know you, I, listen, you've been on the platform before it was a platform. I hope your community is much bigger than mine, or that'd be a problem. Uh, and by the way, everyone, just in case you want to know, Mike from PA is the Twitter account. You can go follow me. Um... Uh, but by the way, but anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's not a support club. I mean, like, why are we I focusing? Know that wait, wait, you why are we focusing? Well, on... no, no, because this is one of these, one of the pivot, talking pivot, points. Pivot. That I love the pivot. This is a You're talking really good point. at it. No, we're having a free form conversation now. Oh, okay. This I is... thought we were talking about whether or not mind waves was a sexist, but okay, let's pivot to this one. Go ahead. Well, we've pivoted to like 20 different topics. So why not? All keep your going? pivots that I unwilling, for some reason, I follow you, but go ahead. I, I mean, I guess I, I'm just so alpha. In the stream that I could. I just mean, take that's you what you I screamed guess. at to assert your alpha ness. <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way, yeah. that was a. No one. You don't believe in alpha and beta, do you? Maybe you do. <laughs> of course not. But when there's a guy of screaming about how joke. alpha he is, it's when there's a, a guy that joke. unironically says, "Be a man," okay? Like I don't know if it's oh a fucking God. joke or it's not. A fucking jo uh, sure. Like okay. seriously, you yeah. really think I believe in PUA shit? Like, come on, man. I have no fucking idea what you believe in. It really <laughs> depends on who you're talking to at any point in time. I guess. But that's how you guys on the left work, I guess, right? It depends on the audience you're speaking to, the belief. That you'll have and by the way mm -hmm. izzy says that she has never been any of those uh of these quote groups and i think you should i, I mean izzy uh, you know if you want to talk to them directly you do that on your own time all i can say is i don't know what the support club shit means so you're saying that anytime that i talk about a conversation i had with someone else at the support club don't seems you do that like, all the fucking time? Seems like is, is, is Dan the landlord your support don't club? Don't I do that? And like, are all these fucking people your support club? Excuse me, but we're talking right now. If there, if you can make a lot of jokes about me, like it dodging, sounds like you have a huge uh, dodging a conversations, dodging conversations, you kiss your ass all day, and that's not a support club. You want to make that accusation? Do you want to go down the list of people on your side that are too scared to have a fucking conversation with any anymore? Like, are you really want to make that? claim against me that i only sit there and jerk myself off with people that agree with me i'll have a conversation with you for 24 hours straight okay i don't give so a shit about other people you, can, you can't make the claim okay that i run around with support groups all right it doesn't really you make have any a sense support group you have a, but it's fine you have friends it's okay to have friends my son that's what i'm saying okay so why do you need us what's with the support do you feel left out do you want to come on we can hang out that's it. Let me know I really just left out. I just want to make a big like, Minecraft world and have you guys all come in and play with me. That's actually what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't play Minecraft, but I might try it just for you. This is the but, greatest uh, tactic. Ever. So next time somebody asks, thank you. Hold on. Basic booty dude said, "Destiny, next time someone asks a tough question, just say I prefer free form conversations and you don't have to answer." Magic. That's a good one. Holy shit. I mean, I'm a I, man, I'm I guess I'm just an expert debater with all, all my debate tactics that I can just deploy. You know, oh, I I, I I recorded that I recorded that time when you uh, threw out a uh, um, I'm not going to listen to you gish gallop for five minutes after Mind Waves talks for literally 35 seconds and he makes one point and you call him a gish galloper. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, I mean, like, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. the, the support group. So those are the kind of things that they're funny tropes. I just want to understand what you're thinking. Is. So wait a minute. If somebody, sh if some streamer that's a, a 300 viewer Andy talks to another 300 viewer Andy, it's now a support group. No, the problem is that when you guys all get together and, and maybe, so like, I'm not very conspiratorial. I don't know if Mindwaves has had a little bit more of a conspiratorial bent. I don't think that these things are like planned, organized attacks. But when you guys are all together, spam reporting people, celebrating when people's shit gets I've banned. I've never done that. that that's great if you don't, but this show ain't about you, Mike. It's not just about you, okay? Your title is Conversation With Me. So why do I have to account with for other fucking people's behavior? Because I prefer free-flowing conversation. So right now we're talking about the people that <laughs> That you affiliate with okay when you've got people that mass spam report people's twitter accounts or other social media platforms or their twitch channels or they make attacks against them all and you all talk against or talk with each other on these platforms yeah it's pretty easy to get the impression like damn it seems like this is like a group of people that's pretty rallied when you guys are tweeting out like fake audio logs or fake logs about shit that like um with, with that fucking easy okay, did okay, okay, um okay, uh, tweeting out that shit about mind waves or whatever like yeah i mean it, it yeah on, it gets on, you get okay, the you okay, get the appearance okay. by so, that yeah so so 
okay, I hear, I hear what's saying. I mm-hmm. hear what you're saying. So, all right. You know, and everybody's clear, that me, Mike from PA, have never actually participated in any of that. I've never tweeted anybody's logs. Yeah, in the fact, same way that PewDiePie has never done any directly Nazi or fascist shit. 100%, I agree. So, not, okay, well, <laughs> so what you're saying is, you're not talking about me. You're talking about some uh, ephemeral other not an I'm ephemeral other. With. It's so crazy because I thought I was done with these conversations because I talked with them about irresponsible gamers so much. But you have a responsibility for the company that you keep and for the conversations that you have and for the but way your community is. be specific. I got. I, if I'm policing my people, sure. Be specific. Oh well, you don't think Asano was bad. I mean, like those comments. The, the the number of times people called Mind Waves a sexist or brought up white fragility or called him a racist in your chat, and you're like, well, I don't see anything being problematic. Or the amount of times that people in your community talk about like spam reporting others for for TOS shit that Alibrella has talked about or I mean like when Izzy is like tweeting out like fake logs or constantly calling mind waves like sexist and racist and bigoted and shit which she's even done in your chat tonight like all, like I mean I don't know but it seems like you really have nothing to say about any of this shit I mean uh, I, I mean like okay so if I'm responsible for the company I keep yep I have people who are critiquing critiquing some stream come other streamers for having problems with either personal sexism or structural sexism. That's the take you want to go with Mike on this one. So those are the, those are the bad people. Yep. Mark. Yeah. That's it. You, you got have, it. you have associated with people who have used racial slurs openly. You have associated people with blackface. I'm sorry. There are 14. I, I pulled that back. U- using N words. First of all, hold on, hold, hold on. on. Wait, 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 wait. If we're gonna right get, you're doing a gish gallop. Right-wingers. You are doing a gish gallop right, right now, just so in case you're not you aware. So a gish gallop things? is when you make repeated arguments over and over again that are all unsubstantiated in an attempt to build a greater narrative, even though the underlying okay, arguments so which are all one false. Of those were so which the blackface thing you're talking about was a fucking Nutella face mask that Emmy did when she was fucking 14. She doesn't defend it. She doesn't keep doing it. But that was a real thing. You can right now go and Google Nutella face mask and people fucking did that shit it wasn't a big fucking racist thing it was just some dumb shit that people okay, did for question, fucking question skincare for you. Go she, for it. What, was she ever racist um yeah she, i think she's well i don't know if she was racist but i know that she's made some jokes on like discord and shit that were unacceptable she's disavowed them she okay. hasn't she hasn't since you yourself said that you're not a fan of cancel culture i'm not either no 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 i'm not okay, i'm not so sure but 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 i'm using your standards right now my standard the- my standard is that okay. when i see bad behavior now i actively call it out that's why even though my subreddit is infested with fucking chapo incels and shit so wait, 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 i still buying, call it out buying, when i see people buying, when i see we're buying her story the person who posted in friend world and all this other shit which is literally alt-right to the to the max you realize that the whole point of that is that you can't tell that it's alt-right without being already involved in those communities right you do wait, you so do you know what crypto fasc- buying that she's that stupid do, wait what do you think crypto fascism is what do you think that means wait wait you actually think she was too stupid okay well fair enough i mean fair i guess enough. i'm stupid too because i didn't know that that shit was nazi shit for fucking six months anyways when people came into my chain and said honk honk i didn't know that meant fucking hail hitler the whole point of these things is to obfuscate their meanings but Mike. you went to, did you go to friend world did yeah i did i thought so i well i didn't did go you, to so i seen some <laughs> of the comments you actually think she's that stupid okay fine i mean that that's the reason you for realize you that not everybody has time. Jesus Christ. You realize it's like you don't you don't even realize what I don't know if you know what any of this shit is even meaning. What the fuck do you do online all day? I'm so confused <laughs> what your mission is. The whole point of places like Friend World is that they were relatively ambiguous, unless you spent a lot of time in those communities. I saw some Friend World comics and I didn't think there was anything bad about them. They seemed like cute fucking Peppo, Pepe the fucking frog shit. No, I don't think I mean, all of the it's not okay, like Okay, this is the argument you want to go down? Okay, fine. I mean like people people kind of highlighted that. If you read, if you read things like anti-racist, this is why uh, you don't. This is content. why you were wrong about Bernie, completely and utterly wrong. When you what gave your I massive spiel, about? the idea that he was the way forward and people actually supported him when he's just been losing more and more relevance. When fucking Booty Judge has passed him, what in are you talking Iowa. about? He's clearly in second nationally. He's not clearly. Booty Judge has a bump. You know who else had a bump? Kamala Harris, Elizabeth Warren. Talk to me in two months. Bernie Sanders is doing. Very How confident well do you feel position. about Bernie Sanders? How confident do you feel that he's doing pretty well? I would say that I'm very confident that Bernie Sanders could win this primary. How confident are you? I have n- what you want a percentage? Yeah. Uh, I'd say that Bernie Sanders is probably if if okay. Do you want my what odds I think I could get? Like, give me more specific. Yeah, because I want like, odds. I want a hundred per- bucks, a friendly bet of a hundred dollars. You wager a hundred. How much do you want me to wager against that? On Bernie um, Sanders making damn. it to the. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I would say that he's probably somewhere in the range of like 
forty percent right now to win. Forty um, percent to win. Mm -hmm. And that's that's me really giving you good odds, by the way. If I went on, if I went on, uh, like predict it, I'm sure I could get. He's at twenty percent or something. He's at fourteen. Well, those people are fucking stupid. What's uh, what's Yang at? <laughs> Yang is at eight. Yeah, those people are fucking stupid. <laughs> um, like, listen, nationally, he's at like what twenty percent. Sure. Uh, Biden so is I don't. I don't. Yeah. So I. I don't want to get into. Bernie's in good we can position in Iowa. This. Good position sure. in New Hampshire. There's been a couple good polls this week for Booty Gig. I don't really think Booty Edge Edge or whatever his fucking name is has a long term staying power. I could be wrong about that. I do think that when he gets roasted tomorrow in the debates and everyone comes after him, it'll mm -hmm. be interesting to see how he how he performs. We've got the the Iowa. Isn't caucus Ber is Bernie is in February. like a three way tie for second in Iowa, isn't he? How? How, what do you mean he's in a good position in Iowa? They were, I think, uh, there was just, just a poll this week where everybody was at twenty percent, and he was at, he was tied for first. I mean, and that's a that's a good that had, position being tied with three other candidates. That's a yeah because oh, yeah yeah because of the type because he overperformed his polls almost in every single election in twenty sixteen because of the type of people who vote for him <laughs> tend to be. For example, I'll give you an example in uh -huh. Michigan. He overperformed his polls by twenty one points. Okay. Because why? They underestimated the number of young people that were going to vote. They underestimated the number of mm -hmm. independents that were going to vote. And they underestimated the number of working people that were going to vote. Now, does that well, mean wait, he's wait. a lock to win? Sure. Okay, no, he might not of course win. I'm sorry. We, we, we pivoted. We pivoted. We pivoted again. I don't even know who's. Well, you said that one. I was wrong about Bernie, and honestly, mm -hmm. Bernie's yeah, better fuck, than wait, you why did we had we, a conversation. Uh, why did we bring this up? Fuck. Oh, you said something, and I and I pivoted to this because you now have no understanding of how like the average person like thinks. Was it over the N word stuff? Because Emmy wore a Nutella wait, wait, the face. Wait, average. Wait, wait, wait. The oh! average person thinks it's okay to use the N word in no, private. No, because you I don't think, think the so. average person can look at Friend World and immediately decipher that they're crypto fascist memes. But she didn't just look at it and immediately decipher. She participated in the community. She was using. Okay, she so here's posted. The full no, no. Here's the, the full context. What's the full she context? She was posting racist jokes. How many? She was. She. All the time. All the time? I think she posted two Friend World comics on Twitter. No, no, no. Wasn't there Discord law? Okay, feel free. Hey, yep. Emmy, of every, Emmy of fans, come out and show, post it to me. Maybe I'm wrong. But it's crypto for a reason. And I believe she was on the other side of the thing. That's my what other side. Other side of the what? She knew that she knew the dog whistles and she was making a community that was safe for fascists. Gotcha. That's she what she it. was doing. Okay. That's what she was doing. <laughs> And you can disagree with me. You can believe. What about somebody? You want to what about somebody like Bad Bunny that openly uses the word "sand" N word, or jokes about black people in their natural habitat? All right. So here's here's okay. This yep. is actually a really good question. Yeah, because it is. You, you're probably curious what I think about progr progress, redemption, mm -hmm. canceling people. If Emia came out tomorrow and said, "Hey, Mike, I did do those things. I was part of Friend World. I did make those racist jokes. That was blackface." I'm legitimately sorry. I didn't realize the harm I was causing and I've changed. And I'd like to go forward with a new perspective. And I want you to help hold me accountable. She literally has done this. What? Then that would be fine. No, I'm using your standards. Oh, cool. You're the well, one then, saying, you're oh, cool. attacking me. You're attacking me. Wait, wait. And I'm saying, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You're attacking me for hanging out with Bad Bunny when you got Emia and all, and, and all these other people hanging around you who've done far worse. Well, no. So, so Emia hasn't done far worse. Emia has and spread. By the way, does she use N word jokes in private, or is she a vetted person? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't make those types of jokes. Is she okay, got the all clear. Like, does she have the all clear? Is you can she, keep is trying to pivot away, but to pretend that Emia that used a Nutella face mask when she was fifteen and then posted a couple Friend World comics. That's the same level as Bad Bunny using a highly cognitive process accused me of white guilt for telling her that it was racist not to ever date or want to date black people. To pretend that Emia is the worst of the two people here that's pretty fucking rich mike one of these is a very well thought out process for why black people are disgusting the other is a person that posts stupid fucking comics on twitter okay so that's that's a nice fucking comparison but the second example that you brought up the first one was emmy and her nutella blackface the second one is hey, <coughs> hanging out with people that publicly say the n-word what is this a reference to i didn't dan say it on his stream 
I think that like two years ago, I think he used the oh, N word with okay. a soft so A. He did use it publicly. He did. Are use you going to let me finish? I think he. I think he. U- I think he used the N word with a soft A or whatever. Like let's ride N words or whatever when he was on a boat. It no, was no, no. D- didn't he also talk about how he's like racially like all sorts of like racialist science? Like we could pull the logs. We can. That was from four years ago. It was pretty clearly a fucking meme. I mean, he was a young man. How old was he back then? It's not about him being a young man. It was pretty oh, clearly okay. a fucking. He changed meme. all his positions. Sorry, now. it was two thousand and fifteen. <laughs> You, it's funny okay. because like listen, you, wait, wait, listen, no, 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 it's really well, interesting. No, 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 it's is, really we're, interesting. We're following your no, own standards. We're you not don't following my standards. standards. We're not following my standards. We're seeing how fucking deep you are dug into Nicole's pussy that you're willing to compromise every fucking belief you say that you have. That's what we're discovering right now. Because at the end of the all day, right, first of all, because at the hey, end of the day, head. because at the end of the day, 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 you of all people have no leg to stand on, motherfucker. You, you literally, know, like, Mike, you up. literally, first of all, I talk to women about politics all the fucking time on my stream. Firstly, secondly, I don't forget when I was on a podcast with three women when I'm trying to accuse the podcast owner of being a sexist. You clearly don't give a fuck about any of this, okay? So don't even fucking pretend that you do. I okay? never accused him of being a sexist. Second, you literally so did the understand. entire conversation. Secondly, <laughs> why would you, secondly, crazy. why would you hold my friends accountable for stupid jokes they've said, which understandably we could say are bad, oh, when Bad Bunny now. literally used Used, literally used a highly cognitive process to arrive at racist conclusions. You realize that one of these is far fucking worse than that. Dan people- is an example of doing that. He's done that too. You say it's jokes, but he literally did that. He said that he was superior because he has the Ashkenazi genes or whatever the fuck he it said. It was a literal like, fucking meme combo because of all the fucking alt writers that I debate. Oh, it was a meme combo now, yes. not a highly intellectual process. No, no, okay. So Dan is, is actually- a guy that shit posts in my chat. You guys masquerade as politics streamers. What the Do you understand fuck? the he difference? He streams all the time. He no, streams he, all the time. He streams like episode. He's a fucking... He, Twitch is not his yeah, job. He's a shit content creator. No, he's a not joke, a streamer. Yeah, Twitch is not Dan's job. It's a meme that he does sometimes for fun. I don't think he before he started streaming episodes Mike of like cops, he hadn't streamed in like three years. And doesn't he have ATAB? I see these two. So okay, here's the point, Destiny. Is you want to you have this kind of abusive mentality that you're gonna go after to ex friends. And I don't think that serves you very Going well. After ex friends? Yeah, you and honestly, like when you guys bring this up, if if these people who I'm associating with do this in front of me, then they're done. So if you have mo- if you have stuff mm-hmm. that's recent, let me know. Otherwise, the person coming forward. Growing, and I believe in progress. I don't believe in me too. People. That's why I don't if bring Candace up people. Fucking Owens. That's why you're out. the one. You're the one telling me that I'm hanging out with people in blackface or people that say the n word publicly. No, no, I'm using your standards of never forgiving. That's never not forgiving. my standard. My standard I gave you was policing your community. Where the fuck did you get this idea that I said you need to permanently cancel people for bad shit they've done in the past? I've never said this in my life. Okay, so why are you bringing up old shit? Because you're attacking my personal company when I tried to hold you accountable for what your company and what your chat are actively engaged in. Oh, okay. All right. So you want to hold me accountable, not hold yourself accountable. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that's an interesting little log wait, from Emia. Oh, that's would an interesting I, What one. would I hold myself accountable for for how your community treats wait, wait, okay, people? Wait, okay. So this is, this, is the, this is why this is a mind-bending conversation for me. Okay, go I'm for it. I'm supposed to be held accountable for chatters and random fucking people that probably don't even watch my stream calling Mindwave sexist. They're all just random fucking people. Do you have evidence that I've said go and call Mindwave sexist? You think that's what it requires for a person to be in charge of a community? I'm just, I want, I want this on the record, actually, because this is such an incredibly fucking stupid take. I want you to say you have to directly command your audience to go and do something harmful for you to implicitly uh, make uh, the bad. Like, and you just way, said, I really, way. I just want to hear that. I want to hear that. How would you do? What, what, what word would you describe uh, for a person who constructs things? Perhaps. Um, Wait, wait, wait. Don't pivot uh, from this. I want to hear you. I want to hear you say that. As an example. I want to hear you say that. So you're telling example. me you're telling uh, me that unless you personally or a person instruct- who attends to the to the rigging of a sailing ship. What word would you guys use to describe that? I want to know if you think hmm. that you have to personally direct an audience to do something in order for that to be like something that you should be held accountable for. Is that something you believe? No, of course. I mean, no, no, no. Okay. Then why no, are you asking me for an example of, of you? That's by the way, that's a violation of TOS. If somebody comes in 
If somebody comes in and Ooh, did you call out Izzy for violating I, did you call out Izzy for violating TOS? When what she violation told, of TOS took place? When she calling told, someone sexist is it a violation of TOS? When Izzy told all of her viewers to go to Mindwave stream and spam emotes? The brick emote is a, a oh my god. You don't think that was a, a you don't think that Stonewall. Oh my god. Dude, Who this can... is crazy. You guys have no principles. You really don't believe in anything. I do absolutely you? do. It's just whatever your friends, whatever your friends do, you'll make like any excuse possible to like be on their Are side. Are you really complaining about the brick the motherfucker thing? That's insane. Really? All right. Do you have any final I words mean, like, for chat? I'm, no, I'm no, legitimately no, okay. like, I'm so disappointed. It's actually crazy. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just confusing. Okay, okay. I mean, people uh, are tribal. I get it, I guess. But like, no, no, Jesus no, no. I thought Christ. about being tribal. It's insanely tri tribal. If I were to tell my audience to go and spam one of my emotes in somebody else's chat, you guys would be up is my ass. Is that actually a violation? Oh, my God. Is that actually a violation? Let's not, we don't have to go to the letter of the no, law. No, 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 no. I actually, Use no, no, your no, fucking not, brain. I don't like to, but, Use okay, your so fucking okay, brain. No, 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 no. Destiny, I'm asking you a serious question here. If you said to chat, Go over to Mike's stream and post the Destiny, Destiny God or whatever the fuck the one of your emotes is. Is that actually a problematic thing to do? So I mean, doesn't Twitch doesn't Twitch facilitate that with the rating mechanic? Or am I crazy here? I mean, I'm new to the platform. So please tell me. What do you think? I mean, I'd be like, thanks for the views. Okay. So if I spam, like, so if I spam somebody's chat with a bunch of viewers and they acted in a in a derogatory manner to them, I should just tell them, "Yo, dude, yo, okay, is just the thanks brick to me. thing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is the brick emails. thing derogatory? Now, now you're saying that it's derogatory. What's the derogatory? The bricks? I don't know, Mike. Talk me through it. What do you think? I don't. I want to hear your argument because maybe I'm just wrong. The with goal was this. obviously. And I'm very glib. I'm, sure. I'm very like don't take it seriously. So but maybe I'm wrong. It, like, that's great that you don't longer. take it seriously. But again, this show ain't about you, Mike. This this story, this particular thing, is not no, all about you. You're asking me to police my community. It is about me. No, it's not. It's about the impact on other people, right? You made that whole argument earlier. Remember that wonderful speech you gave about how it's all about the impact you have on other people, not your intentionality? So if I tell my viewers to go into the stream with somebody that I fucking hate and I tell them all to spam a certain emote, you think that maybe that's kind of harassing them? I mean, if I could, okay, I could Jesus see how. Jesus fucking Christ. I could see how if they do something that actually is harassment, then it is problematic. But just spamming an emote may... isn't. Is it? I'm literally a baby on the platform, guys. I haven't even been on here six months. Is this actually a problem? Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, you, I mean, you, like, you literally, you, like, yeah, streamers literally get banned over shit like this, but. Um... Okay, well, thanks for the tip. But, but I mean, like, it shouldn't, it shouldn't have to do with the TOS to see that you're trying to, like, cause harm to somebody. Like, that's the whole point of spamming or brigading somebody's shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, I mean, maybe I don't take Twitch seriously enough and I need to like where or I don't care about this shit. And everybody knows that I'm not the, the best uh, uh, chat reader myself, which is why I have I have mods and I don't and I'm not used to a platform where. Emote spam. Oh, something like a brick is going to be something that we should consider a serious attack. And require like action against now if it, i guess if there were like racial overtones or something i could see it being a problem but like i gotta tell you and by racial overtones it has being... to be like an officially filed slur that i can go down to the southern poverty law center's like offices and pull out of a filing cabinet no 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 i mean i i think there are are emotes that are used on this on this platform in a racist manner right mm -hmm. isn't that true that's what i've heard and if that's the I have never seen like, of... dude, there are so many conservative arguments here. Chat, it's so funny. Imagine being triggered by fucking pixels. <laughs> like, this is what people say about like cyberbullying and shit. Why do you care about transphobic comments? Just block them. Why do you care about people saying mean things to you on the internet? Wait, Just wait, ignore wait, wait. them. Okay, like, okay. Can I can I ask you a getting question? PT this yeah. Is, this is something about you that I, I, I wondered. Mm -hmm. Um, and and that is the the stream with um Ripley when you raided into it after you had that discussion with Alabro. Mm -hmm. Um about uh i don't even remember the topic it was something about trans issues yep and then you send them to you send them to ripley and i'm pretty sure your community is pretty anti-furry right you that'd be fair yeah they say, are right? yeah for sure so when you realize that the that the stream was a furry 
did you say like, hey guys, be nice. They're doing something really important. Did you say like, hey? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said should... that it was for like a trans thing. I said like, don't so shit please, on somebody for being free. Yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure I did. I have to go back and look at the actual host, but. Okay. So do you think you should be held responsible for putting your community, which you know to be hostile, into, into there? Into that community, um, a little bit. I don't. I don't think I would normally, even though I support the cause. I don't think I would normally host somebody like that just because of the liability of that happening. Do you know why I hosted that person? Uh, I mean, I think I think the reason that was was Alabrell said, "Hey, would Alabrell specifically that? asked me to as a sh- as a sign of solidarity for trans people." So normally yeah. I wouldn't have, but you did scoff and laugh at the furry, right? Um, I don't think I try. I really try not to. It's possible. I did. If I did, I shouldn't have, but I I really try not to, because I don't think you should make fun of anybody for sexual shit or whatever, but. Okay. So in other words, you are the one who you have done this too recently and you by your own standards have failed to live up to the anti brigading mentality, right? Like, (sighs) do you realize, first of all, okay. You're on a, this is a, get it, furry acceptance is really fucking far down the line of what you can push a chat towards, okay? That's one thing. Secondly, I will actually say that I push harder than most people on this platform to, like, have good views towards sex. It's something that I talk about relentlessly. I try not to use cuck as an insult. I've even told people that we should probably back off using virgin as an insult. I've really tried to cut that out. I talk about shit like cuckoldry and shit. What do you mean? Like, okay, I'll give you an example with, with your with your shit and me and nicole it's like yeah, i think you're me. defending her because it's, you guys fuck each other that I, yeah that's that isn't a sex negative thing that's literally the only explanation for your inexplicable behavior the idea that you would take one person claiming that somebody that's had women on his show is a sexist but isn't that, that sex simply, negative like you're, how is you're, it sex you're negative there's no problem that you guys are fucking it just sucks that your there's personal relationship with them is compromising your ability to think but i'll be fair here it's not just your relationship with her apparently your relationship with all your friends compromises your ability to think that's why you won't condemn izzy you haven't for spamming. established one thing i have you, the fact that you won't condemn izzy, izzy the, fa- the bricking the, the bricking fact that you won't izzy. condemn a friend for spamming an emote in a chat i know you do it if a conservative would the fact that you think that somebody accusing somebody else of being sexist just because they won't let them on a fucking podcast the fact that you would go out of your way to have an hour-long conversation over that the fact that you would defend somebody else for for making racial jokes whether it's yakubian that doesn't matter or gusano that doesn't matter the fact that you would feign uh, uh disinterest or not knowing anything about oh kool-aid i don't know if that's humble blah 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 i guarantee you if there were conservatives making this many attacks you would be on this shit yeah, in an okay, instant dude this? you'd have how a whole this? fucking research watch, stream about this shit watch the, how about yeah. we watch the ripley clip and we'll see if... the ripley clip yeah that's the the furry that you read oh how sure we watch yes. that and see and see if yeah, if, if I acted, if yeah, and like, you know what, and sure, and I totally admit, I might not have acted as well as I could, but yeah, we'll watch it, sure, why not, well, I'm ready when you are, let me know when you're ready. Wait, are you ready? All right, hold on, let me, uh, uh, do you want me to send it to you? Oh, somebody linked me a 48 second clip, I think I got this from your uh, chat. It, I think it's, I think it's the mm-hmm. same thing. Also, right, for the so. record, fuck Ripley, I will never host that piece of shit again, just for the record too. Why, um, why? Because fuck that person. Because they were incredibly fucking hostile the moment any of my people got there. Because apparently their moderators were doing fuck all to police any of the shit in the community. And they held me personally fucking responsible after I tried to do a fucking nice thing after my horrible fucking convo with Alibro. Fuck that Ripley piece of shit. I don't give a fuck about that person. Although, that's not an excuse for people to be sex negative regarding furries or to be transphobic. But I can still say that Ripley is a piece of shit motherfucker without hating on trans uh, trans people or furry people. Wait, wait, wait. Why? Because they held you uh, responsible for the- Not because they held me accountable or responsible, but just because they did it in the most dickish fucking manner are possible fuck that piece of shit but i'm ready to watch the clip as soon as you are the one that says i don't know this person all i have is they accused you of doing it why is that sure they're being incredibly combative saying that i hosted them or rated them in a way to be i sent like transphobic people after them that was incredibly fucking stupid but i but i'm ready as soon as soon as you're ready to watch this the 48 second clip how about this all right yeah let's do this three two one Garinos. oh wait hold on Fuck it. Quiet. Let me tell you that. Okay, Ripley Violet. I'm not gonna say. I don't. I don't know this person, but apparently they are doing a fundraiser for Trans Lifeline. So here you go. Good luck, guys. Okay. And look at the chat. Look at the chat. I'm still transphobic transgressions. Good luck, guys. Okay, this is my good deed for the day to make up for my transphobic transgressions. 
I don't I don't know if they're referring or not. I'm sorry. I love you all very much, okay? River and Capitano, Papino, 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 I will catch you next stream right now. To me. Okay, so, okay, unmuted. Pretty so irresponsible. The, wor the right? worst thing that I said here was I laughed and I said, I don't know if they're referring or not. I shouldn't have phrased it that way. That was dumb, sure. But that was nowhere near as bad as I thought that was going to be. What, what are we proving here? Don't you think that was irresponsible? I mean, you saw the reaction to your chat. Blah, 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 blah. You should be held accountable for the behavior of your community that you put. Really? So you what? You to be hostile. I mean, like, that's the standard that you want. And maybe that should be the standard that you're held to. And I think that's the position that you hold. So firstly, this isn't just my community, okay? This was off the back of a debate with Alibrel, meaning I had way more viewers than I normally had. So these are not my endemic destiny viewers, number one. Number two, the only reason that I hosted this piece of shit was because Alibrel asked me to because they were doing Okay, you keep fundraiser. calling them a piece of shit. Why? Because they were angry that they got brigaded by their, sh their, uh, their fundraiser for Trans Lifeline got shut down. They had to bring in dozens of moderators. Dozens of moderators? Turn on fucking sub only chat. Learn how to run a fucking stream. If you're going to try to do charity on Twitch, learn how the fuck the commands work in chat. No, you're not going to get a lot of fucking sympathy from me there, okay? When you're a literal fucking no name and you get a 6,000 viewer fucking host and your first thing is to run and attack me over it no fuck that shit dude i'm not gonna sit there and fucking with with my fucking tail tucked between my legs no pun intended and sit there and cry over the the behavior of my chat if people that i sent over there behaved in a bad manner well now you're asking me to cry over the behavior of other dude, people's chat stop you won't even cry over mike, the behavior of your own mike like, what did i just say at the start of this okay one i had a lot of fucking viewers because it was a conversation with alabrell okay so i was carrying a lot of extra viewers but two the double but standard. two no that's not a double standard okay two i don't know who said bad shit when they went over if you contact me with it not listen you can ask every single person in my chat you know what i do when people misbehave in other communities i tell them that if i find out you misbehave in someone else's chat i ban you from my twitch chat i ban you from my dgg chat and i ban you from my fucking discord that is a policy that i have i don't know any other streamer that does that that is literally an on the books policy that i have and i have mods that look at other fucking chats that ban people when people like rem tweet out that people make fun of him for being autistic or when people tweet out that this guy made transphobic comments i ban them from every fucking platform I have. So don't tell me that I don't hold my community accountable because I had people that were being anti-furry which, Jesus Christ, that's like the fucking hardest acceptance to push on Twitch. Because I was carrying a lot of viewers, and I decided to do a nice fucking raid on somebody doing a trans charity afterwards. What a ridiculous fucking assertion. That I should have the same level of accountability to that audience as you should to the core fucking audience you have, and to the actual people, the actual content creators that you associate with. All right, so I think fundamentally your point is they should have been ready for it, and it's not your problem. Because furry tr acceptance is hard. Like, that's, that's what I'm hearing. My point is that with any large raid, for a stream that's doing a trans fundraiser with a furry person, they know there are going to be problems. Now, I, I don't know what I can do to mitigate that. I could have just not hosted them. Do you think I should have done that? Should I have just said, sorry, Yellow Bro, fuck that person. I'm not going to host them because they're a fucking furry? Because what you're giving me right now I is the ninja... What you should have said is, I think you should have just done the speech you did to me. Like, hey, if I find out that anybody fucking goes in there and is a piece of shit, I'm going to ban you from my blah, blah. I'm going to ban you from this. I'm going to ban you from Discord. I generally do that, and people you know that. You should have done that speech. But the problem but is, the problem is, the problem is, the, the problem is, games the, the problem is, is that the community that I sent in there, those weren't even my fucking chatters. Most of them were people, like right now, if I were to host somebody after this stream, I got 8,000 views. I can't hold most of these people accountable. Most of these people don't watch me all the time. They don't give a fuck if they get banned from my Discord or whatever. Half these motherfuckers probably aren't even in it. If I were to host any, especially a fucking furry person not that there's anything wrong with that but we're on the extreme end of like acceptance it would be like me hosting somebody saying like hey guys what's up this is my 47th day trying cuckoldry like welcome to my trans fundraiser stream like holy shit like of course that chat's gonna be a fucking nightmare like i try my best like you should be too if you're hosting a charity have a fucking mod put it in sub only mode have a mod put it in follower only one day mode boom all the problems are solved like yeah if people in my if people that i sent over from my twitch chat were misbehaving that's really shitty and i'll ban them if i find out but damn what's the alternative if i gave a speech so why piece of shit for being angry about it what because he's like holding me personally fucking accountable when i was trying to do a nice thing for his fucking shitty ass charity stream or she I'm, i don't even know their pronouns i'm i really have no fucking idea i'll say they them to, to be ambiguous because i'm not sure but the fact that they were holding me accountable like i was doing some evil thing like i had some malintent when i hosted them was well, fucking I ridiculous like, i feel like i feel like the scoffing and the laughing and going i don't know kind of put that in the minds of your viewers maybe i'm over interpreting here that it was okay to bully and I, okay to be a piece of shit. Okay. You disagree with me? If you're going to take 
that like earlier when I questioned you about your community's behavior, you said, find me a clip of me sending people off to go harass somebody. And now the standard you're using for me is when I'm carrying several thousand extra viewers and I host somebody that I scoffed a little when I found they were a furry. That's the standard that you want to apply to me. And the standard for you is I need to find a clip of you explicitly sending people to harass other people. It'd be like, okay, I'll give you an example. It'd be like me going and lecturing, you know, uh, uh, hosting someone who doesn't have any viewers, for example, lecture fan, right? And and then I went, ah, oh, he's a right wing piece of shit. Have fun in there. Or I don't know what he is. Do I you think that's right what I said? It, the equivalent would be you being like, oh God, it's a conservative. Good luck, guys. That would be the equivalent. Don't don't you don't have to make it any worse than it was. I and told you everybody's that everybody's not... in my chat making uh, making fucking faces and going, oh my God, conservative, blah blah blah. And then I sent them in there with a with a smirk. Yeah, then maybe you might have a point about that being a problem. Okay. Um. I, so do you have any so other? I, do you have any other things you want to talk about? <clears throat> okay. So I don't know. We covered a lot. What 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 is that? What are the other memes that everybody needs? Okay. So oh, we didn't. Oh, I didn't confront you. Threw this in there during the million of thing. So wait, let me get this straight. No one is permitted to reform. And I'm not permitted to be friends with someone unless I'm unless I'm fucking them. I must be. But so you allow and the reason what why is I any of up, these arguments, what are you, you talking allow, about? You allow you allow like crumb bum and all sorts of other shit. Wait, what is crumb bum? What does that mean? Well, re I, I know you read every single post in your fucking Reddit. Wait, so I legit like, I don't know what what is crumb bum. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Oh my god. Can you just explain? That's the point. That's the point. People were saying that I was begging, but Mike is Mike is uh, simping and all those other things that you that you put in put in there. Almost a year, blah. What is what the fuck is about my behavior of? Like, oh, because you were up. simping Nicole Hardcore in that conversation with Mindways. Yeah, I think so. It could. When have been did I simp? When you sat there and tried to defend the fuck out of her and tried to say that Mindwaves was sexist for not allowing her on a fucking podcast. I literally never even said that. That's the thing that's crazy. Like you're you're again, you you continually mischaracterize things I've actually said, and then the shorthand becomes the narrative. You literally are saying over and over again, it, you keep trying to Peterson your way out of this. You keep saying, like, well, people are saying you're sexist. The only person saying that is Bad Bunny. That's it. No, there aren't this group. In fact, several female content creators that do politics came out in Mindwave's defense. Literally, the only person calling him sexist was Bad Bunny. I don't even think she called him sexist. I still haven't seen the clip. Of oh her my him god! Sexist. Wait, that clip where we said where she said that gender is the only variation. Well, he came up with like eight different fucking lies. He just said, "Oh been my like, god, I didn't want to invite, Mike, I, I, I didn't want to invite shit. you." Shit! What the fuck? He said, like, well, you're too big. You're hard to get in touch with. Well, you know. Bad, wait, so when Bad Bunny said that gender was the only variation, was that her way of saying that he said no because she was a woman? Or? She said the only variable was gender. And I'm not sure why I haven't been invited. So what do you think she's implying up, there? She was asking him in good faith. Oh, why? my God. And he came up with a bunch of bullshit excuses. Maybe he and was just. He got, maybe he, he just all... didn't want to say that he thought that she was a really bad match for the podcast. Okay, well he should have said that instead of like hiding his fucking true views. So because he hid that, that all. makes him a sexist. That's like the next best explanation. Literally, no one's called him a sexist. Bad Bunny that wasn't was implying that, was that he was a sexist. Because, okay. Because again, all right. recent, because at the time. <clears throat> He didn't have very many women or people of color. And he brought a lot of people on color to scream over them when they said it was problematic for white people to say He the didn't bring them on to scream over them. They came on because they specifically wanted that conversation. Stop victimizing them. I mean, it'd be they like were the aggressors. You're simping for mind waves right now. Like it's a totally sexist bullshit comment that you're making. If you I, think that if you think that yes, none of wait wait if you think that none of my arguments stand up on their own or have any merit, then I welcome you to challenge any of them. Your arguments have no merit. At the end of the I day, I don't give a fuck. You them. know how much I hate mind waves? I hate mind waves so much I tanked his viewer count from fourteen hundred to three hundred to have this conversation with you. You think I'm simping for for mind waves when I fucked his podcast up tonight? How, what the fuck kind of argument is that? He's barely ever fucking on my stream. Like I literally ditched his podcast tonight and tanked the viewer count to sit here and have this conversation with you. And I think that all of my arguments have a ton of merit on my own. With a, in fact, he almost he came on yesterday and he was borderline asking me not to have this conversation with you. Th that's how little consideration I have for what he thinks. And that's public. That's literally on stream. He came on your stream. I mean, he's like, hey, funny. 
Sure. He literally said, like, I don't know if I want to feel like you're coming on and having like a discussion about my personal beef with Mike. He literally came on. So, no, I don't think that I am simping for minorities. If you think I am, I welcome you to present the evidence. Holy fuck, though, your side does not look very good when you keep making these vague appeals to people accusing you of being sexist when all of it is about Bad Bunny. And then when you specifically call out Bad Bunny's name and say that him contacting Bad Bunny to be on the podcast was very suspicious because Nicole was questioning the timing of it. These two things are not comparable. I mean, ultimately, I, 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 so why are you so interested in this conversation if you don't give a shit about mind waves? Because it's I have a, very, a sizable portion very, of people. It's very interesting. Yeah. Very so, interesting. That, why do you care? Sure. So why the fuck do you care if somebody called mind wave sexist or implied <clears throat> it, which I didn't call him it? I'm. Sure. I guess I implied I'm glad it. that you asked. So I, my greater mission, the thing that I enjoy doing is I like oh, to have. God. Okay. Yeah, I like to have reasonable conversations about politics. I think that I've carved out a really cool spot on the internet for myself, where I am a reasonable person that tries to use like facts and logic to defend left leaning viewpoints. That's something that I very much enjoy doing, and I've spent a great deal of time doing it when i see a bunch of snaky motherfuckers like you sneaking into this arena putting okay a so shit in our argument five conversations making, we whoa, had whoa 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 you I didn't even let me finish in? you didn't what let me finish snaky in? this whole conversation today conversation? you were snaky in when i and have a conversation way? with you and it and I, and I can demonstrate to people hey look at how fucking horrible these people are and i do i have a great there's like a sizable chunk of people that email me saying like hey i used to be like really big onto like this bread tube stuff and shit and when you started talking to people like the serfs or michael brooks or Mark from CCP or, you know, Alibrel, like I start to realize that, wow, there's a lot of people that are uh, bullshit too, It's a right? central underscore committee, sure. twitch.tv. So like, yeah, central underscore something. committee or Mike underscore from PA or whatever from Twitter. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah when I have conversations like these, I just like to illustrate how insanely, how insanely dishonest you guys are when it comes to confronting any arguments. And I think I've done a decent job of that tonight. I think most I've people- I've literally not been dishonest <laughs> once. Okay, I've held you then in that case, you sure. me from calling him sexist. Sure, then I, then I might be the one that looks bad tonight. I, I guess at the end of the day, only I, history I, will decide. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, I mean, I, God, I hope, I hope that your fans that have been with you for ten years mm -hmm. are still. Yeah, I think they might be a little bit biased, don't you think? Sure, it's possible. And like in our conversations we had about politics, because this is not a conversation about politics. This is a conversation about some bullshit. History will definitely forget this. What was I snaky on? Um, I mean, the, the, the whole thing about the Hong Kongers willing to come out and being so insanely harsh and critical of Activision Blizzard, but then being very lukewarm and very tepid on something your I know about of the Hong then... you clearly don't so know wait, about wait, it. If why you is that snaky? Why is it snaky to wait? Come how can you American have corporation and not it, it, it's snaky for me to say I support their right to protest. I don't know enough about the domestic politics of Hong Kong to get out there and like bang the drum for the protest did you support the How right did you snaky? did you did you support the right of those high school kids that were like protesting out banging that fucking drum or whatever in front of those people the do you know what i'm talking about who was the name of that that fucking kid did, did you that say that wasn't this? a protest they were just harassing a guy oh my god but they have the right to do it i don't think there was any criminal <laughs> offense that wasn't you, a protest so what it's only a protest if you agree with it dude fuck me man give me give me a final word no, no, so i can no. get the I fuck mean, out what, of here but, dude but, but i'm losing my was, goddamn mind here dude i actually can't do this uh, well, I no, can't no, no, even no, no, fucking listen, do listen this, it. dude. I I didn't. I support. I I don't care that. Uh, You're that they so did that. fucking dishonest, man. It's but disgusting. But I don't support them. What do you mean? So would you, so if somebody were to like like come out and and and. What? <sighs> Why do I have to support their right to be dick? I I don't think they should be arrested, but I don't support them. Let's say that a company came out and punished an employee because he came out and he supported, he said that, hey, like, long live those white guys that were protesting, whatever, and, and a company punished him. Would you say that company is fucking up? Would you say, would you call that company out for harassing somebody or for firing somebody for no reason? No, it seems like you kind of need to know what the protest is about. So when you come out and you're super critical on Blizzard because they punished somebody that supported the Hong Kongers, but you don't even know what the oh, no, fuck no, no, the okay, Hong okay, Kongers okay, are okay. about, there's, what the fuck does very, that mean? Why the fuck are you supporting? Very, a very important distinction you're Go making. Go for it. Yeah, what's the distinction? I am 100% against state oppression of a protest. I am. And I'm against an American company policing political speech. I don't want that to happen. I don't want that to happen. Okay. But so when Google fired that, when Google fired that Michael uh Dore or whatever, what was it? Demore or whatever? The guy that made Okay, the... so are you able Okay, uh, okay, mm -hmm. I see where you're going with this. Are you mm -hmm. able to handle distinctions? Yeah, sure. I'm curious. Okay. I, I'm so just I'm wait, listen, all I'm trying to do right now is figure out what the fuck you believe. Oh, James Demore. Yeah. So were you okay yeah, with Google firing James Demore? James, yeah. So James the reason why they fired James Demore is because he opened them up to litigation for a hostile work environment. Okay. 
So it wasn't just that he was said, Hi, I'm a conservative and conservatives aren't safe. Mm -hmm. He was saying, I don't think women can code. I think me women are inferior to men at coding and it's a genetic thing. And he gave all these studies. If a woman reads that, she has a good case if Google doesn't do something disciplinarily to sue their fucking ass. What's wrong with suing them? Who cares? So because that opens Google up to a, a liability that's also oppressive to the world. A liability like, like losing access to the Chinese market, Mike, from CCP. I just, there were two parts to the sentence. You ignored the second half. You ignored the second half, which is something that you do. You like to cherry pick what you think is the weaker <laughs> argument. Okay. And you let no, no, the I'm other sorry. thing what go. Was the, what was the second half of that? It makes, it's a hostile work environment for women. And if you care about women in your fucking workplace and you uh -huh. want more representation and you believe in a progressive sure. value system, which, you know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, you don't want some guy pushing fucking. Okay, so there's two parts to this. Sure, pseudo so, Sure. So, firstly, why the fuck did you bring up the liability thing when you clearly don't care about it? Secondly, if you're gonna appeal to the progressive thing, you know what that means? That means you gotta know what James Damore was talking about. So, if the Hong Kongers, for instance, were a group of people that were yeah, running, yeah, a distinction between state oppression, which I'm a blanket against. You're blanket against state and oppression. A private against. You're blanket against state oppression. I'm blanket against. Mm -hmm. I know enough about the Hong Kongers to know that it isn't oh. a fascist movement. There we go. Okay, now we're getting closer because you're not against state oppression. If the state, for instance, wanted to come out and oppress neo-Nazis or something, you'd probably be against it. So now we're getting a little bit more why, fine. Why, so, do, you, why so, do you think that's something? Okay, by the way, yeah? do you think fascism has some sort of something to it in the marketplace of ideas? We should let what it do you mean? end. Like fascism, you know, it's it's got some good ideas. What what are the good ideas of fascism, do you think? Um, the good ideas of fascism is being able to mobilize under a single party allows you to address problems in an incredibly rapid manner, and you don't have to deal with political pressures internally while you deal with other countries. This is why China works so well as an authority. I thought you would defend fascism, but this is good. Keep I'm not going. defending what? fascism. I'm giving you some advantages of it. I'm sorry, Mike. Do you think that there are some political systems that are wholly good or wholly bad, you stupid fuck? Do you not realize that there are advantages to well, every political system? Well, I mean, system? I know that. I know that. I know, I know you don't like to blanket say things like slavery are bad, so let's go back to- What does that fascism? have to do with this well no no i think you're uncomfortable with saying things that I, no like you see bad. that's the difference between you and me mike when you ask me do you think there's any benefits to fascism i'm not going to squirm around like a gusano okay and sit here and pretend like well i don't think there's no i'll give you an Wait honest a fucking that's answer a racial slur. i know Mike. you love that man. anything to get off the argument that holy <laughs> shit you are squirming around a lot in so no i don't know why you can say i squirm if you ask me a question about a style of government on whether or not i think there are pros and cons to it i'll absolutely answer that question because i'm not a fucking coward mike so yeah well, there no, are no, no, you're no, not no, a wait, so i'm fascism, so i'm curious hold on whoa slavery. i, I never it. i never said i wasn't intrinsically against fascism i don't like the idea of a fascist government that's why i support the u.s over china i'm curious mike do you think there are any advantages to fascism or no no okay there so are no advantages there is to zero advantages you know why? To and, I'll and i'll explain to go you ahead, why go ahead and explain to me why because mike. it's it's inherently a suicidal ideology that's aggressive expansionist and eventually it finds itself in a position where it is fighting so many enemies that the, the polity is destroyed, which is the history of fascism in the world. That, that's why fascism doesn't, because if you look at Germany at mm -hmm. the end of fascism, it was a bombed out ruin occupied by enemies. If you look at Japan at mm -hmm. the end of fascism, it was a bombed out nuked ruin occupied by enemies. Wow. Fascism doesn't bring you shit in the real world. Like communism? So that, who gives a fuck about the Soviet states? I don't know. You're telling me that these states like the Soviets or China that were highly expansionist, highly imperialist, and all ended up bombed to shit and in ruins, although arguably China's By the way, by the way. Is, right? Oh, is, oh, that, oh, is that the is argument China you want to go with? Oh, wait, no, no. Is, China's, China not, bombed no, no. China's not bombed shit. They had a lot of internal revolt. Is China there. communist? <clears throat> is China communist? I need to know. Currently, China's no, they're not. No. What are they? Um, I, it's, they seem to me to be state capitalists is the way that I've heard them characterized. Okay, or an authoritarian capitalist. State, do you I don't think they know. They call themselves, themselves the capitalist? Chinese Communist Party or whatever. Some bullshit. So here's the... Okay, so... All right. So we're, we're stuffed with a very difficult conundrum. No, right? we're not. Wait, they what's difficult them, here? They call themselves communist. So... No, wait, what? Either what? either they're communist because they call themselves communist, right? Or And then they're very successful as far as, like, uh, measuring empirical results of the Wait, I'm sorry. The what, what do you think China is? Other people. Um, I would say... Well, that, that, by the way, this is irrelevant to the question. We're, we're talking about a hypothetical. Why, why do you now. think China is communist? Is North Korea uh, democratic? By the way, I don't. 
communist is a moneyless, stateless, classless society. So there's never been a communist country. Okay. Do you think they're socialist? Um, I don't think they're socialist. I don't think I don't believe. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't label them as socialist. But the point is that you are saying, co- "What about communism?" Literally using whataboutism when I we were talking about fascism. Well, because you just Way gave to me the pivot. Th- by the way, this I'm is not the pivoting. Smoothest you pivot. get it's not a pivot. pivot. I asked you if you would defend fascism in the marketplace idea. Let's bring it back to what we're actually talking. Whoa, about. whoa, 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 whoa! Is it's fascism not a, a defensible it, good position it. that we should have in the marketplace of ideas? And you listed a great number of po- what you perceive to be positive. You asked me I if there were any pros saying, to fascism. No, and you're, there are no pros account- to fascism. Oh my god, you're such an ideologue. You're such a fucking demagogue. You're so fucking scared of. Wandering outside of anything <laughs> that might upset your audience. I literally audience. challenged you. Oh my you god! With empirical evidence. Holy, with I, empirical evidence. You yeah, your your marker, your marker for saying this is bad is because it always fails. It ends up with a lot of fucking enemies, and it ends up in ruins. Guess what? Guess what? All the socialist countries ha- have gone that road. Like, what, that's your, that's really going to be your argument for why fascism is bad. All the socialist countries, all of them. It seems like a lot of them have. What's sure. Your definition of socialism. Um, I, mean, like, I, I guess it depends on. We have to go into how much of an economy do you nationalize. Um, I mean, it, it, is, is, is having 70% of your economy owned by the government socialist? That sounds like, pretty socialist. Much? I'd say like 50% okay, Norway is Norway socialist then. That's the number one HDI country. That's the best country in the world. I guess it's a socialist country because 70% of the wealth is owned by the government. 70% of the wealth Norway's or 70% of like, oh, oh, sure. Then no, then Norway might be socialist. Fuck, um, we got it. Norway is the, I guess socialism works now. What? Although, although you do know that there's like gotcha. a, another part of socialism. Too. Wait, what does it mean for a country to be socialist com- completely? I'm curious if you know. I mean, like completely. So now you've, you've shifted to a theoretical position from an empirical question. Theoretical is all socialism is, by the way, but go ahead. <laughs> Well, and th- and this is this is the frustration frustrating part because you could then I could I could just ask you this question to response to your question: Is there a capitalist country? You you don't actually know the answer. Um, should I answer for you? Or I guess for people in chat that want to know. So socialism implies that your mode of production has changed such that, such that you're not producing goods just for a profit motive, right? So this is why China would be st- considered like um, like state capitalist and not state socialist. Even if the government owns everything, if they still are producing things for profit, right? Even if the workers own the profit, that's still like a form of exploitation. Even if the workers themselves benefit off of it, right? So for a socialist country, you need to wait, have wait, some form of planning. Your definition of socialism is no profit. Yeah, you have to eliminate like the profit motive. That that's like an important part of like the the, the mode of production. There has to change. Holy shit! <clears throat> um. So what? Okay. So, so what else do you want to talk about? Like literally gone to brain dead level. Sure, if that's what you want to call. Brain I agree. Socialism level. is brain dead Jesus level shit. Christ. Fucking amen, Mike. So we were talking. Well, about- wait a minute. What party has been in charge of Sweden for like thirty fucking years? Uh, isn't it the Social Democrats or whatever? The Social Democrats. Now, what's their history? Do they have Marxists in there? Do they have democratic socialists in the Social Democratic Party of Sweden? I don't know the history of yes, the Social Yes, they Democrats. do. So I guess, I guess that means that those parties aren't actually a, dis- a disaster. Wait, the, the government world. only controls 35%. Of the total value of public listed companies on the Oslo Stock Exchange, you weren't even right about the seventy percent. You that's made it not, up to win That's a the stock argument. exchange. That's not all wealth, you stupid fucks. Why would all wealth matter? Just because the government owns a lot of wealth. What? What is? Seventy percent of all capital in Norway is owned by the government, not just stock exchange fucking shares, dipshits. What Holy do you think stock fuck. exchange shares represent? That's not all the entire That represents capital. capital. That's, that's, that's literally, capital, that's literally what capitalism is, is owning like equity in companies. Like that's capitalism. Equity in companies is not the only form of capital. <laughs> Holy shit. Get to Wikipedia, my dude. And then come back. <laughs> the 70% plus stat is being misrepresented. It's non-home wealth. What Mike is saying is a stat calculated by Matt Brunig, which misrepresents things. It's a non-home wealth, not all wealth. He is a liar. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> the literal... The literal... Holy shit. I can't... Thank God for the DGGers. Um, first off, the article is a bit disingenuous. Non-home wealth is a made-up statistic to inflate the government number. For instance, in the U.S., two-thirds of total wealth is household or non-profit. I'd imagine the same is pretty true of Norway. So right off the bat, you were talking about a breakdown of one-third of the wealth of the country or government versus business. All right, hold on. (sighs) 
right. Norway has a small financial sector and a huge it's oil not, sector owned uh, by the government. They own 58.6% mm -hmm. of the country's wealth, and it's 76% uh, of Norway's non-home wealth. So actually, like, the capital in the country's economy that's not tied up in housing. So I wouldn't look at wealth. I would look at, like— Norway has more national wealth. Na why do I care national about wealth national country, wealth? Because I asked you if 70% would be a, would be social. Not of like, the wealth of, like, companies being owned by the government. Theoretically, the U.S. could have— owned by the government now? Yes, Mike! <laughs> Capitalism means that private owners own a fucking yes, company. Private owners are the means of production and capital in this society. Yes. So, so we can agree that there's transitional states. We're not talking about transitional. Economy. We're not talking there about transitional states. Social, you're what? asking me if socialism works. Here's a, the, no, 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 no. And Here's the a question. platform Mike, that I Mike, I advise Mike, for. If the United States, if the second. United States printed five hundred trillion dollars and the and the Treasury held on to that, and the United States had ninety nine percent of the wealth, did we magically become socialist? Or would you say maybe we should look at the actual businesses and see what percentage of those are owned by either the government or the workers? Would you look at total wealth? That doesn't make any sense. You would look at like Lip a stock exchange. You would look at like a collection of companies owned by private wait, equity wait, wait, holders versus that the government. that much money would be would result in the wealth? Being transferred to the government, or would everybody who owned assets, physical assets, because there would be a tremendous hyperinflationary cycle that would took place if we just printed a hundred trillion dollars and put it in the treasury account? That would not mean that the wealth was owned by the government, because the transfer, the assets themselves would hyperinflate. It's possible. I know this is a very technical point, but it's important for people to understand. It's possible, but that's not always what happens. For because, instance, in because Venezuela, Norway people's stuff didn't hyperinflate. Their assets actually lost value as well. It really depends on what goes on, I guess, when you print that much money. On, you mean on denominated in uh, the, the <sighs> Venezuelan currency? That's not true. You don't think? All right, so you, wait, wait, wait. My, you my don't, point, wait, 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 wait. You don't think people's? No, no, you don't no, think this, the denomination of the Venezuelan per... currency like massively inflated? You don't think people to spend more actual like Venezuelan currency to buy stuff in yes, Venezuela? Yes, but so the value of the assets, like the loaf of bread, went up abs in an absolute number. The price at the store went up for the loaf of bread. That's what I'm talking about. The hyperinflation. Okay. And, um, okay, so ultimately, you're saying that socialism never works because you think that's an argument against the platform. I'm not I'm saying socialism for. never works. But it's not. You told me <laughs> that fascism doesn't work because it always ends up in ruins and makes a lot of enemies. And I said, that's strange. You can apply that same definition to a lot of socialist countries. So and it seemed like your argument or your definition for why fascism is always bad was a shitty argument. It wasn't shitty at all. I mean, the 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 most premier examples of fascism in history were suicidal regimes that were utterly crushed and defeated, and their people were way worse off at the and end. And the most premier Which examples not, of socialism not in case, history not the case for the USSR because the, the the citizens of the USSR at the end of the at the end of the USSR were much better than they were under czarist Russia. So even if you a want lot to of citizens example, around the world improved under massive industrialization. When you starve a fuck ton of the country and you only have a few people left, it's not that surprising that they get a bit healthier, okay? Well, That's 9 million people die every year in capitalism from starvation. You seem to be fine with that clanking Do you think that the year? 9 million people a year that die under capitalism is the same as some of the famines that occurred under the USSR, like the Holodomor? Yes, I would. I would say the Yemen famine right now is a okay. manufactured political That's cool. famine so we that got we the we got the with our direct tanky, capitalist nice. government we got the and military tanky, intervention. We got the tanky propaganda and everything Wait, wait, wait. You here. think wait, 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 tanky yes. propaganda? Wait, wait, wait. It's tanky <laughs> propaganda to say supporting Saudi Arabia and the Yemen famine? Wow. That I, I, need to tell, I need to tell the Democratic senator from Connecticut he's now a tanky. Okay. Uh, do you have anything I mean, to like, give me a fucking break. Like, dude. I come agree. On. Give me a fucking break. Fucking give amen, me a break, dude. dude. That that Holodomor is literally the same thing as capitalism every fucking year. Amen, brother. Holodomor was mm -hmm. a political famine of the Stalin regime, sort of like the Irish potato famine was a political famine by the British Empire, or the Yemen famine today is a political famine of the Americans and the and the Saudi Arabia. So yeah, they're bad. Political famines, or even the one in Somalia that happened in the 90s. I don't know if you're arguing that Somalia in the 90s so was. What, so what is your defense of, 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 of the Soviet Union here, that the U.S. does it too? No, no, you were just saying that the citizens of the USSR were far worse off 
at the end of the USSR than they were. I never the said they were far worse off. Wrong. I imagine and that fact, anybody going from the fact, from, when neoliberal capitalism came to Russia, life expectancy declined 15 years. It might have, but the the, the record keeping. Oh, that, okay. So is that capitalism failing? No, it's not what? about capitalism failing. The record keeping that the USSR did about their hospital shit was shoddy at best. The people that have tried to research the actual medical claims made like there were entire fucking cities that had like single fucking X-ray scanners. Okay, and that and that shit show of a fucking medical system. This weird defense of the USSR is like hospitalization or whatever. It had a two-tiered system worse than any fucking capitalist country you would ever fucking see in your entire send life. Send me the send me the studies that you, and I and if they don't say Heritage Foundation on the front cover, I, I don't know what to say other than you're probably lying straight up right now. Like we have the studies of Eastern Europe development that it was about seven to eight percent behind their Western European counterparts and the and the Eastern <clears throat> Bloc. Which I'm not defending these. There you go. You can go ahead and you can read through all of this and critique it oh, all I the fuck wait. you want. Okay, on stream later. Good luck. Okay, this guy digs okay. through a ton of studies. He quotes them all. You can go and read through them, and you can see if you disagree with his assertion at the end. All right. Okay. Can't wait. I can't wait to. I can't wait to do it. All right. Any final points? Or are we? Are we good to call this one? Can we? I mean, if we ever debate again, can we actually do an interesting topic rather than mind waves, fifis about being called sexist? Jesus fucking Christ! I think this topic demonstrates your intellectual veracity very well. So I enjoy these types of. Topics. I think it. I think it. I think it, it demonstrates your hypocrisy. <clears throat> okay. Cool. All right. Well, listen. I love you, buddy. It's been fun. Be careful. All right. Oh no, Bolivia! We should do Bolivia. We should talk about how that wasn't a fascist coup. <laughs> Um, I mean, it wasn't a coup by definition. The military didn't seize power. There wasn't a violent overthrow of the government, and the person okay, that okay, stepped okay. in was literally. So, when the military mm -hmm. demands the resignation, is there an implicit threat? Um, there might be, but there wasn't a seizure of power. The government still functions the way that it did before. All of the hierarchies. Uh, were okay, was any of the political parties banned by security forces um, from say, attending <clears throat> attending the legislature? Didn't they? Didn't Morales' people literally object to going? They claimed they so were banned, there, but they objected. They were like, well, we're not going to go in and vote when they voted for the interim president. I okay, don't think so the military literally question, stood outside you know and kept them is? from going Do you know what a quorum in. is? Do you know what a quorum <sighs> Why is? Why don't you tell us, Mike? A quorum is that you must have at least a majority of the elected members in present, physically present, in order to do any business. Mm -hmm. Or else it is democratically illegitimate. So if the majority party boycotts, there is no democratic legitimacy. You can't carry on with 20% of the delegates and pass laws and pretend like they're valid. Okay. Which is so why there's a hard right precedent. And by the way, the caretaker government that you guys said was going to happen, actually what they've gone in and done is they have attacked... Oh, wait, okay, never mind, never mind. Hold on, wait, I have to do more research this because I'm almost positive that everything you're saying is a fucking bold-faced lie because every historical quote you've ever given me so far has been. Um, like, I will for say example, that what? In like, here's the thing, you throw out an accusation, back Literally, it up. everything you just said about the USSR is health, the idea that the Holodomor is the same type of, like, famine planning as what happens every day under fucking capitalism, um, everything that you said, uh, the, the the weird positions that you take related to Blizzard and, and the Hong Kongers versus, like, Google what? and James Moore, whatever. Literally, <laughs> wait, 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 all of these things. In, what do you think you happened in Ireland? The 70, oh, the 70% the 70 normal. Norway shit, like almost every historical claim that you guys throw out true. is always it entirely of it, all had wealth, do, it had to do wealth. Nobody, can, we're not talking about wealth when we're talking about like the percentage of an economy. What percentage that's of the economy in Norway is government? It's not just wealth. We might be talking about like the what operation. What percentage of the government? What percentage of the economy okay, listen, is government? Mike, I love you. Like, this is Will, all if you want, easy. we can go. We can visit Bolivia. Okay, in in the future. Okay, I've read through the whole NIS report. It's, I've read it's through about a couple to have things, a fucking but we can civil war because of you fucking dipshits. Because of because, uh, because of, of our dipshits. Because hey, of the neoliberals maybe going maybe the maybe that. the ego maybe the ego uh, the egomaniac Morales when the people said hey you know don't run again maybe he should have listened to him and stepped the fuck down instead of pretending he was you the mean, only you one. You mean the guy who won sixty one percent of the electorate and then won again? Supposedly he, he won did. again. We're gonna ignore the you referendum. Again? You wanna ignore the referendum? Fifty one forty nine. Hey, ah, oh, so, so because it's a really small for margin, no, 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 it doesn't no, no, no. I have a question for you, Destiny. <laughs> no, no, listen, dude. Socialist is a very important question. Why? Very basic question. Why? Very basic question for you. Very basic. Very Go basic. for it. Basic. Yeah. So in two thousand, in Bush v. Gore, the United States Supreme Court stopped the recount in Florida. Yeah, that was really fucked up. Mm -hmm. So was that? Was that a coup? Was that a stolen election? I wouldn't would say it was a coup, but a stolen election? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That was ultra so, fucked so up. Yeah. We, so if the U.S. military had mm -hmm. said to Bush, 
Step down right now. Fucking A. I would have supported that shit like a motherfucker. Would that have been a Hell military yeah. coup or not? So okay. I so wouldn't know. I wouldn't say so. That so, Florida shit was fucking insane to me. I can't believe that fucking recount was stopped. The military should have fucking stepped in. Although it's kind of weird. I, I don't Wait, know the military should have stepped in. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Amen. They should have fucking deposed. Why is Do that you know insane? What happens? <laughs> but you know what happens when the military Dude, we literally that? had our democratic process, one of the most important institutions in the United States, undermined in our country. Of course somebody should have stepped in. That was insane. Do you, do you know why? Do you yeah. know why? Because the military is subservient to civilian control in the United States. And the properly constituted authority, a.k.a. the Supreme Court, they're the ones who get to decide what the U.S. Constitution means. Sort of like the Bolivian Constitutional Tribunal. They're the legitimate source of authority and legitimacy. Then why the even do a referendum, Mike? Then why do a referendum, Mike? They wanted to do a referendum. They didn't, and then they found. Uh, so what? <laughs> Referendums happen, and you so lose all the time. So what? Oh my god, dude, you're such a dishonest fucking snake. Who is that? It's dishonest. I'll see you later, Mike. I love you, buddy. I think you I might do not. It. I, I think can't you, do it. I think Jesus, fuck. Okay, Shh. I I should have gotten two hot chocolates. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh, I have such a headache from dealing with that guy. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. I think I did really good during like the first like three fourths, but it was too much. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it. Oh my God, dude. Oh shit, that's true. <laughs> oh no. We watched this on stream. Do you remember? So Izzy dipshit typed in chat, smart Jew survived the Holocaust. Unironically, Dan. Izzy Bear literally made a whole fucking cringe-ass YouTube video about how disaffected groups are allowed to use gallows humor, but we're not allowed to. Only people part of those groups. Dan is literally doing what she said they should do in her fucking YouTube video. Wait, do you, do you guys have a link to this? Oh, fuck. Does anybody have a link to that video? Oh, fuck. I'm unironically. Um, <clears throat> unironically, I have like a fucking headache. <sighs> you watch the whole thing in your VOD? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was this. Is a clue to the most serious parts of one's nature. Their words also reinforce the notion. That while gallows humor works very well inside minority communities, inside minority communities, as restorative reclamation, as restorative reclamation, exact opposite when repeated by those outside of their. So by Izzy's own fucking video, what a great fast forward I did there. By Izzy's own fucking video, Dan is totally allowed to make jokes like this. <laughs> oh my god. Qualitative analysis? Do you know what qualitative means? You're giving me a quantitative analysis and you're pretending it's qualitative. You're giving me like, well, here's two.